You know, it's annoying, but I genuinely think that Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4 is the greatest literary work I have ever produced. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's Saturday. It's Saturday at 7 o'clock. You're not outside. I'm not outside. We're inside. Let's play Morrowind. Welcome back to Vardenfell. Let's continue our adventures of Lusty, the Argonian maid, as she becomes the Nerevine. How is everyone? Hopefully you're having a good day. It does irritate me. It very it annoys me that I have written millions of words over my career as as a writer, as a as a YouTuber, as a Twitch streamer, as a theatre director, as an actor, as a teacher. I have put millions of words, either pen to paper or digital keyboard to you know writing program, and yet none of them were as powerful as those six that I just came up with on a whim. None of them were as good as just Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. That's it. That was the greatest thing I've ever done, without a doubt. Millions of words to create six of them. Oh, also, what is your business here? you be quiet, Orc. You guys might be noticing that the, the game is looking a little bit lighter. And you might be thinking, oh, maybe he's turned the gamma up in the game. No, I haven't, because for some reason, turning the gamma up in Morrowind, the game, OBS, the program that I'm using to record it, doesn't actually pick it up. So for some reason, even if you'd make the game brighter, the, the, the recording program doesn't care. But what I can do is just turn up the gamma in OBS, like in the actual recording studio. So you guys should be able to see Morrowind looking like a lot brighter. It looks like daytime. See, for me, it doesn't. For me, the game is actually quite dark. I could even cast Night Eye, and it should go even brighter for you. See, now I'm seeing what you were seeing, and you're seeing a pretty bright game, which I think looks good, and the green armor looks way better. Glass looks lovely now. And as always, we have got our spear, our sword and shield that we've, uh, we've found, the best shield in the game, and we've got this glass sword. We haven't fully maxed out the glass sword yet. So what's the plan for today? Plan for today? Pretty simple. We are going to be playing some Morrowind. We are going to be following the quest we haven't yet done. Uh, let's have a look at the quest list. I do need to get some kind of mod for this quest list because it is bad. Now, I need to level up. And unfortunately, I might need to level up using some of the rather cheesy level up techniques where you end up, you know, going from trainer to trainer to make sure that you're maxing out your allowed stat distribution points per all of that glass definitely not stolen Shh. look the glass was stolen from the sand itself all i did was take it from the person who made it into glass and wore it in a way in a way am i not returning it to its natural habitat, if you will, of being out in nature. I'm repurposing it. That's spot on. Repurposing it. You can fix your strength at the temple here. Oh, thank you, Kenneth. Thank you for reminding me. I totally forgot that I was weak. Uh, let me just cast Night Eye again, and then we pop over to the temple. Don't have enough magic. Where's the temple? Uh, there we go. The Nisus Temple. It's probably that big building that looks like a temple. And the reason I need to go there is because my strength has been permanently drained down to 45. I do not know how to fix it. But I'm guessing inside is going to be important. Uh, Mr. Hayes, have you covered the last... T-L-O-P-O. -O. What is that? What is that an acronym for? The last of... Puzz? I'm not sure. T-L-O-P-O. -O. You have to tell me what, uh, what game that is specifically. You're paying the armor and exposure. That's the way that all artists get paid, ultimately. Okay, so we're in this temple. I've got to fix my drained strength. Somewhere there will be a blessing that I can fix this at. Now, while I'm not using... Not using a wiki, I am kind of using you guys as, like, a, a de facto temporary... Oh, God, no, we're stuck. Oh, okay, we're free. Good job, Todd Howard. So you guys might need to tell me what to do. If I ask for advice, you're going to need to tell me what's going to happen. So I need to pray to some kind of god that gets my strength back, and I'm not sure which of these will restore my strength. So which of them can... You are Twitchopedia. That's what you are. Hey, Josh, you still play Runes of Magic. I haven't been able to play... 
I've not been able to play an MMO for fun in years. Um, it's all work now. Uh, prot. Prot. Okay, cool. Find some guy. One of the shrines should have restorative. I think any altar can restore any attribute. Oh, sweet. Any altar can restore any attribute. We just find one. Gotcha. Let's see what I can find. So we'll just do this one. This one is an altar. Oh, that's a shrine. Would you like to make a donation of 35 and receive a blessing? Yes. What blessing do you want? Um, cure disease, blight, poison, or the rock of Lothis? Cure disease, blight, or poison? I'm not... I'm none of those things. I'll have the rock of Lothis. Thanks. What's the rock of Lothis that I've now got? Apparently my willpower is slightly better than it was before. Do I have... Okay, so the rock of Lothis gave me more willpower. Upstairs is the altar. Thank you. See, I'm bad at this game without you guys here to help me. You are very much... You're, you're playing the game. Let's be real. You're playing the game. That's how this works. Okay, so I'm looking for an altar. That looks pretty altery. If I was an altar, this is what I would look like. Vivek Ash Mask. Value 500. Can I wear it? Can I take it? I kind of want it. I don't need it. But I want it. Shrine of the Mask. Oh, so is this like a shrine I can pray to? Here in Nisus, Vivek made a potion to cure a villager who had fallen ill but could not pay for a healing of the temple. Vivek promised the temple would always cure those who could not pay and left his sacred mask here as a sign of that promise. Interesting. So we've got a little, little history going on. Now, the Grey Pillar. You guys keep telling me that it's the Grey Pillar that I need to go to. If I was a Grey Pillar, where would I be? Um, it's going to be like a really obvious thing that I'm missing immediately. I mean, th that stone mask, that stone mask does look very much like a JoJo reference. It really does. Lazy Man Mode for Morrowind. Yes, Lazy Man Mode for Morrowind. That's what it is. What do we need to... That's for Cure Disease. Oh, so Cure Disease. Is that what I need to do? I Cure Disease and that will get my strength back from 45 to whatever the hell it should be. Let's have a look. Welcome everyone who remembered the poem. I'm glad you all remembered the poem. Makes me happy. Let's make a donation and cure disease. You are not afflicted with a common disease. Uh, what about getting Rilm's Grace? Oh, we've got another little little boost thing going on down here now. Rilm's Grace, endurance, five points. Oh, so can you just like get a load of them? How is he wearing a helmet? Because it's glass. And even though you're a beast race, you can still wear the glass helmet. It's a thing you're allowed to do. Right, you forgot to mark the stream room and recalled into Vivek somewhere. Trapped in a broom closet. Don't don't even joke about being trapped in Vivek, okay? It's a horrible place to even be. You need to restore attributes from altars. I do need to restore an attribute from an altar. Where is the altar? I've found the shrine, but I haven't found the altar. These things are little shrines, see? Look, shrine. But what I need is altar. And I don't know where that is. So I'm just walking around this temple until I spot what some people may consider an altar. This just looks like a big bunch of dead people in a circle. Aldrune Guild of Mages should have one. Fine, we'll go to Aldrune, the Guild of Mages. What's the fastest way to get there? We're in Nisus right now, so we can probably take a Silt Strider. Look at me remembering the, the fast travel. Look at me. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm becoming the Morrowind player. I'm becoming the true Nerevine. So we should be able to just pop over to a, to a Silt Strider. Grab that over to Aldrune. I'm, thank you. Thank you for being proud of me. I appreciate that. Your streams made me start a third playthrough of Morrowind. I apologize for nothing. You know, you know you wanted to. Let's be real, you didn't need- you just wanted an excuse. Where would you like you to just wanted a specific excuse, and I was just that excuse. You were like, alright, cool, that's what I need, I'm gonna do it now. You finished Morrowind again because of this stream. I hope you all don't think that I'm gonna be finishing this anytime soon. Because we haven't even started Blood Moon. We haven't even started the Tribunal expansion. But I feel that we should do those before we do the main quest because I think it'd just be quite fun to do the main quest with like the incredibly overpowered items and weapons that you get from them okay so I need to find an altar or a shrine 
that can restore my strength attribute. And I don't know where any of that is. So you guys might need to tell me. I'm in the Old Rune Guild of Ma Oh, nope, don't try and get in that door, that's locked. I'm in the Old Rune Guild of Mages. And if I look around, there may be a an altar around here somewhere. Downstairs by the school people. Gotcha. Oh, that looks pretty altarish. Oh, this dude looks Imperial Cult Altar. Will you make a donation? Yes. Restore attributes. Oh, beauty. You absolute beauty. Strength back up to 54. You are fantastic. Look at you. Finally caught you live. Took some time to realize how time works. Well, well done. I'm proud of you for understanding the constant, endless step of time. Good job. You can come and join all of us in the present. And the reason it's called the present is because you are here and you are a gift. That's, that's why that fucking five minutes. We've been streaming five minutes and we're already into really cheesy puns. It's, it's all downhill from here, guys. If you've, yeah, fantastic. If you're here right now, the stream has peaked, you can leave. Josh, that's deep. Oh, oh, if I had a pound every time she said that, I would be in debt. What What are we doing now? Uh, I probably need to make a levitate potion or a levitate spell that gets me further. Thank you for laughing at my self-referential humor. I appreciate that. Uh, great. I closed this window. Now we can get this over. That was it. That's all you came here for. Are we going for... Oh, oh, we were going for the Daedric Spear, weren't we? Okay, if you've never been to this stream before, what will happen is we will have five different goals on the go at any one time. And by the time the stream finishes, we will have completed none of them, but we will have done like three other things. That's pretty much how this stream works. But we were going for the Daedric Spear. Now, I wanted a self-levitate spell for, let's say like, what, 30 seconds? Let's do 30 seconds. And... I want to know how powerful I can make this. Because I've got a levitate spell that casts it for 30. Like 20 for 20 on self for 30 seconds. That's terrible. So cancel that, cancel that. Goodbye to you. My current levitate spell is, oh, 10 points for 30 seconds. So anything better than 10 points. The important part is you have fun in the process. We will have fun. We do have fun on this stream. We really do. So I need to do some more level kind of not glitching, not bugging, not cheating, but cheesing. We need level cheesing. Uh, I need to train my heavy armor 10 more times because that raises endurance. So what we need ideally is endurance, speed, and intelligence. So we can do heavy armor. May as well do conjuration. Heavy armor, conjuration, and then one of these ones that does speed. So, who trains Heavy Armor? I'm pretty sure Heavy Armor is trained in Balmora. So, we're going to do some training, and I've tried to explain the Morrowind level-up system before. I understand it, but explaining it is a bit... Oh, don't... I swear to God, Skelt. Skelt2092, I'm calling you out right now by name. Don't. We are not starting that right now, mate. We have been streaming for seven minutes. I expect at least a good three or four hours of fun before one of you remembers what happened last stream. I kind of hope that every time I stream, you guys, like, forget what happened last stream. Here's the energy that I want from you, okay? Here's the energy that I want. Have you ever seen those towels that are split in half, and the top half says, like, face, and the bottom half says, like, butt? And that reminds you that when you're using this towel, you clean your face with this part and you clean your butt with that part of the towel. And someone said to me, oh, that's a really funny joke, but what about, you know, what about just using a regular towel? And someone else said, yeah, that's true, because if you use a regular towel, the towel forgets by the next day. That's very true. That's what happens. The towel completely forgets what it's done. It's immediately hygienic again. I need you to have the energy of that towel and just forget everything that happened last stream. Don't remember it. Don't think about it. Don't look at it. Don't reference it. This stream is not just becoming a string of references. Right, who trains in heavy armor? Training. Heavy armor. Right. I need to train, I think... Oh, damn, I'm 8 out of 10 already. Um, thankfully, willpower's on 11. Strength is on 5. Heavy armor is endurance, so I should probably blitz this and do 5 strength and 5 agility. 
Right, I need five strength-based minor skills. Five blunt weapons. Yeah, you know what? Train me in blunt weapons. Teach me how to use the blunt. What's your not, not like that. All right, not not that way. I'm, I'm very, I'm fully, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not exactly gangster. Uh, sometimes people look at me and they think, oh my goodness, I bet he knows his way around the streets. I bet Josh is known in all the boroughs. I bet he's a little bit of a a bit of a bad boy. And this may come as a shock to you, dear viewer, but someone described me on YouTube as ASMR for middle-class gamers, and I thought, yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, I wasn't particularly happy with that, ASMR for, you know, slightly older middle-class gamers. Just because it's true doesn't mean that it's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, someone said to me, Josh... We don't watch your streams, we just put them on in the background and you are playing while we're doing other stuff. Some people are at work, some people are doing university work, some people are, you know, in the gym, some people are training, and I'm just there with you, you know, just hanging out. Like a little kind of middle-class British Ugwe from Kung Fu Panda, just encouraging you, reminding you that you can do well. Okay, so strength we've trained 11 times. Willpower has been trained 11 times. I now need to train something else up um, a couple of times. Agility, that could be good. So we need two agility from what I know. So if we go with two levels in... I actually have no agility in major or minor skills, which is really annoying. Sparrow, thank you very much for all of the gifted subs. That is incredibly kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having a lovely day. I am using you as a psychological torture help for my group of nerds. Good. That's what I'm here for. Now, uh, what are your group of nerds discussing? And we're, I'll weigh in on the conversation. I'll pretend I'm there. You can pretend I'm sat in the corner as well. It can be great. I'm watching on my phone whilst in bed. You have my full attention. Hey, whatever else you're doing, I'll take it. I'm flattered. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're having getting a good eight hours sleep. Hopefully you're staying hydrated. Uh, motivational speaker for gamers. Yeah. I'll take this. There's there's a lot of value in being this kind of older ASMR. And someone will say, hey, do you want to watch one of those YouTube videos where someone cuts kinetic sand? Or one of those YouTube videos where somebody... Don't. I'm not the only one that does this, but sometimes there'll be a YouTube short and it'll be, watch this guy mix two colours of paint with a little metal mixing tool. And I'm there like, I'm smarter than this. I'm more intelligent. You're not going to trap me, YouTube shorts. I'm not going to watch a random guy mix colours of paint. And then like four hours later, I'm there going, that'll, that'll make teal. Yeah, uh, that'll make moss. I can see what you've done there. Oh, oh, you're mixing all the flags together now, are you? I think that'll make, that'll make blood red. Oh, no. No, it just makes grey. It just makes a lot of grey. Gotcha. Anders, thank you for all of the gifted subs. Remarkably kind of you. Uh, I'm not going to try and explain how Morrowind's level up system works because it is annoyingly complicated. But we need to do five levels in agility. And I don't think I have anything that's governed by agility. Miscellaneous skills governed by agility. What have we got? I'm pretty sure that miscellaneous skills governed by agility, there's like two of them. So there's sneak, which nobody uses. Marksman, which we aren't using. And... I suppose light armor could work for it. Right, who trains in light armor? Who is the light armor trainer in in this game? I legit don't know. The Morag Tong. Oh, God, where do we find them? Oh, where are we going to find, like, a light armor trainer? Block athletics hand-to-hand. -hand. I'm not finding someone else. Where is the light armor trainer in Morrowind? Spear, athletics, none of that's How good. Are they, oh, don't say they're in Vivek. Don't. Oh, we're not doing it. Uh, the Lahu Council House in Balmora. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we can go to the Lahu Council House. That will work. That's much easier for me to do. We train up in light armor, and after training in light armor, we then go somewhere else. So where is the Lahu Council House? Uh, give me a... There's the... There's the Lahu Manor. Is it the manor we need or the council house? I think it's the manor. We'll try the manor, see what happens. Let's see what we've got. You must first join them in Vivek. Oh, this is, this is awful. I hate everything about this. This is terrible. But if it's the manor, we'll see if they let me in. I'll ask nicely. If you want something. 
I'll be on my best behavior. It's fine. We just got to wait until it's open. Hang on. Just do a totally normal thing of... Oh, it's... Bloody hell, it's foggy. Totally normal thing of just standing outside. Why is it locked? Can we not go in until we've already joined them? Do we have to go to Vivek? Vivek City time. Behind me. Pretty sure this isn't it. This wouldn't be the manor. Nope, that's not the manor. Unless that's like the back door. We've got to go in this way. It is really foggy in the game. It's not this building. You can't open this building. It's the other one behind you. Oh, the other one behind me. Oh, gotcha. The other behind. That's the Narano Manor. Good to be able to catch another stream. Well, if we hang out together, we'll be able to work out where all of the manors are in the game. Unless this is it. Behind Nah House Lalu. This might be the one. Oh, the Lahu Council House. Gotcha. Right, who trains in light armor? I need one of you guys to train me. Light armor, sweet. Let's get a couple of light armor training things going on, and then we can go and train in something that's major or minor. And after that, we can level up efficiently. So level is one more agility, and then we just get two levels in whatever we want. And now I think we should level up. We need two major or minor skills. What's the best thing to go for? Uh, lower down. Probably trade up in hand-to-hand. -hand. Uh, that way we can slowly gain even more levels over time. Or do we go with two and enchanting? Long blade might be good. Let's go back to the Fighters Guild and see if they want to handle my long blade. It's too too obvious. No, it was too obvious. It was too easy for me. It was too easy for you. I'm not. I'm not claiming ownership of that one. Look, I will fully intend my puns, but they need to be more difficult than that. That was too easy for everyone. Not happy. Hey, Josh, just popped in to tell you you are demoted to third monitor. Thank you for the content. I appreciate the update. You know? You see that right there? That's communication. That's good communication. That's what we need more of. Is training in spears still viable? Yeah, I could train in some spears. I need to train two things. Either long blade, spear, medium armor, speech craft. Two things about? from my major or minor skills. So, what do you train? Arm armorer I do need at some point, but... Not as much. You train in long blade. Yes. Handle my long blade and then we'll all be good. What's your yes, ma'am. Right. And now we rest. We have a little quick nap. You can't sleep in the Fighters Guild, can you? I tried and they got really angry at me. But you can sleep in the Majors Guild because the Majors are all about them Is midday there naps. You need? They're, they're totally okay with just having like a little bit of a bit of a midday nap thing going on. And I will go and get the Daedric Spear, don't worry. I will go and get the Daedric Spear. Was it the Mages Guild that were okay with me having a nap? Or were they angry as well? I'm going to quick save just in case. We've quick saved. Yeah, rest until healed. Sweet. You have ascended to level 7. You resolve to continue pushing yourself. Perhaps there's more to you than you thought. That is lovely. That is beautiful. Toaster says you're always on one of my four monitors, but I'm not sure I could quantify which is which. Second feels right, though. Thank you. Wherever you put me automatically becomes your second monitor. That's what it is. I feel that if I was going to get a sponsorship with a company, a company that makes monitors would be a good idea. Monitors and mugs very much seem to be like the kind of demographic that we're going for. Like, I use MSI monitors, and I'm not sponsored by them. They're just fine. And there's also Asus monitors. They're decent. But I feel I should definitely team up with some kind of monitor company and work with those guys. Josh is one of my browser bookmarks. Be wow, that is an honor. That is an absolute honor to be a browser bookmark. Right, we're going with strength willpower and agility because you can become massively overpowered in Morrowind very very quickly because of just how this works I think you do want to gain endurance really fast though because it affects how much health you gain per level so we really want to be pushing endurance so I kind of want to get yeah heavy armor needs to be trained up a few more times I don't want to become like god levels unkillable but we are approaching the levels where we're going to have to do Blood Moon and we're going to have to do Tribunal. So if you're watching this... Say your words. If you're watching this on the Josh Drive Replays channel, first of all, hello. Thank you for being one of the first people to use that channel. Appreciate it. But also you may be watching me just training uh, Heavy Armor for a few times. The way Morrowind's level up system works is once so you understand great. it, it is very easy. But explaining it is very difficult. 
I was often said, uh, often told as a teacher that you only truly understand something if you can explain it to a child. And I feel that I could probably explain this to a child, but the child would cry. Their questions would range from, why are you telling me this? To, when are you going to let me go? To, Josh, please, this game came out 22 years ago, I'm not going to play this. And obviously all of those responses would, uh, would be met with various levels of me telling them, shut up, stop, listen, this is very important, this is your heritage. Oh, it was 24 years ago. Damn. All right. Was it 24 or 22? It was a while ago. It was 22. It came out in 2002. Morrowind was released in 2002. How are we doing? Josh Naravar Strife Hayes. Don't give away the big twist. Don't give away the plot that we're the important person. Yeah, the level system in Morrowind makes adults cry once you understand how alchemy... Lo oh, God, alchemy. There's a reason that I've not used alchemy. Okay, look, I get that we can glitch this, we can make it silly, we can make it funny, but there is a simple reason that I have not used alchemy. I should probably level something to do with speed. Because we've done endurance, now I want to do speed. As in, I want to level speed, not, not, a, not a bad boy doing the drug. So only short blade is governed by speed, so we don't do that. Um, athletics I could just do instead. And maybe unarmored. Oh, hand to hand. Okay, so we do. We've done endurance. Then we do hand to hand. I probably want to go with like strength. Top of this. What is a good one that's going blunt weapon? Just do blunts. Let's do some blunts for a while with this dude. Let's do ten of these. It's important to do blunt weapons because one of the best weapons in the game you can get is a hammer. And I, I do want to end up using the hammer at some point. I'm going to use the Daedric Spear for, you know, most of the game. But when we start to get to Sunder and Keening, the two exceptionally powerful weapons, we will then use those. Now, Morrowind's level system only feels weird to us because I think most games don't encourage you to use training. But this game very much does. It's a game where you kind of need to train. And to me, from when I was playing, you know, newer RPGs, especially with Skyrim limiting what training to only... Go ahead. Only like five times per level or something, you kind of, you're disincentivized from doing it. But with Morrowind, you can pretty much just pay your way through levels, which is kind of what I'm doing now. But it's useful... There we go. Rest and meditate again. It's useful to be able to train that. Does Oblivion use the same system? I always saw, like, paying trainers in RPGs as yes, cheating. But when you think about it, how would you learn skills that you don't Is have? You would you pay the trainers. You'd find someone that knows what to do. You'd give them some money and they'd give you the skills. It's, it's very realistic. I don't think anyone's used the term realistic to describe Morrowind before. But here we are. You know, this is this is what we're doing and you very much want to be leveling up um, endurance early because the higher endurance you have the more hit points you gain per level and that is extremely important like you really really want to be gaining hit points per level that is without a doubt super bloody important so i probably want to be training you know what heavy weapon blunt and then hand to hand again is probably a good idea yeah so I've gone to, I've only got 75 HP. That is not a lot of hit points. But what I do like about Morrowind is it does deal with slightly lower numbers. Anyway, guys, tell me about you. So what's today's goal? Today's goal is we're going to do a bit more training, spending some of the uh, 61,000 gold that we made, leveling up in an efficient way to give me more health, more speed, and more strength, which is going to allow me to carry more loot. Then we're going to go and try and get the Daedric Spear. After getting the Daedric Spear, I've got a crazy idea. You know, it's a bit insane, it's a bit weird, but bear with me. We could probably try Blood Moon. We could probably actually do the expansion. So, do you just use money in this for leveling? No, you can, in fact, level using... by actually using the skill. But the way Morrowind works is you gain experience in the skill when you use it. But, let's say that your blunt weapon skill is really low. You gain experience when you hit enemies with a blunt weapon. But if your ex level's really low, your hit chance is really low. So you aren't going to hit enemies often, so you're not going to be able to level up anywhere near as fast with it. 
So you spend some money on training the skill to an acceptable level, and then you go and use it in the actual game and you kind of level it a lot faster. The level that you have in the skill does not dictate the damage you do. It dictates the, if it's a, a combat skill, the hit chance you have with that weapon, and if it's an armor skill, the percentage of armor you actually gain from wearing that type of armor. So if I have a, a light armor skill of 100 and a heavy armor skill of 1, and I put on heavy armor, I would actually gain less armor from it than if I was wearing light armor. It's, it's very interesting the way it works. So long blade is governed by strength. I could train long blade. Spear is governed by endurance. Let's train long blade because I am using a, a long blade right now. And that Oh no, that's already governed by strength. I need something governed by strength, endurance, and it's speed. So yeah, hand to hand works. Let's do hand to hand. Let's go and train this up instead. It's an interestingly complex system without a doubt. Yes, it, it is without a doubt. But I want strength because speed will let me move faster, and you can tell that I'm moving quite a bit quicker already, which is great. Strength lets me carry more stuff, and endurance gives me more health. But after doing this training session, we will go and do the actual game. I will need your help. Your help is... You're effectively the wiki. You're uh, Twitchipedia for me right now. So I'll need you to tell me where the heck this... Where the heck this Daedric Spear is. It's somewhere. I don't know where, but it is somewhere. But yeah, this is a training montage. If Visa edits this, stick on some kind of training montage music. We'll go crazy with that. I mean, you can't use the Rocky music because that would get us all, all copyright claimed. But I think he'd know, he'd know what to do with it. I trust Visa to make this into a training montage. The Spear is near Nisus. Okay, I trust you with that. Is it actually near Nisus? Or are you lying to me? I can do Finally caught a stream! Forgot what the poem was and been waiting since 4 o'clock today. That's that's on you for forgetting the poem. Thank you very much for gifting all the subs, by the way. Uh, Raven Rat, that's remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. We are going to... Uh, did you go for the good old-fashioned player ad item? I didn't, actually. Uh, what I did was raid a Daedric tomb by, by pure luck and then sell everything to the mud crab. But I haven't spawned in any items yet. There have, as of yet, been no items spawned in whatsoever. You have ascended to level 9. Everything you do is just a bit easier. More instinctive, more satisfying. It is as though you have had suddenly developed keen senses and instincts. Strength, speed, endurance. Okay, right, cool. I would say that we are stable where we are now. I don't need to go with anything else. I don't need to glitch out the training. We're at level 9. Level 9 is fine. Level 100 is maximum, but I think you could only normally get to level maybe, I think, 60 or 70 by playing the game legitimately. Finally caught the stream. Seems as comfy as your videos. I would say that we are, you know, pretty, pretty chill. You need 20 for Blood Moon. Do you need to be level 20 to do the Blood Moon expansion? Or is that just like a recommendation? Is it like, hey, you should probably be level 20 here? You need to be strong. Well, I mean, we've we've got... F Holy shit, we spent 11,000 gold leveling up. Okay, this is a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. I mean, we can do it again, but my god, we are burning gold way quicker than I'm earning it. Oh, it's 500 gold per training now. That's actually a lot more expensive than I thought it was. Okay, cool, hang on, no. We'll, we'll do one more level burning some gold to gain it. And then we will go and play the actual game. I'm training in heavy armor because it is a a thing I don't actually use. Lust T is more of a medium armor leather girl. However, when we get the ordinator armor, I, I will wear it. You know, let, let's be real. When we get the ordinator armor, we will straight up be using that because it's really good armor. One more into strength. Then this dude trains us to use the blunt. That... Not like that. Family-friendly stream. Pure Christian Minecraft server. Get your minds out of whatever gutter they may be in. Yeah, I mean, Lusty... I would the say other. the most fun era of the, the Lusty stream is definitely when we were between level kind of 6 to 9. That was the best. Uh, 6 to 9 Lusty, that was the best experience. Without a doubt. That's when the stream was good. We enjoyed that one. I didn't make that joke. Someone in chat made that joke, and I'm stealing it as if it's mine. See? If you made that joke, I want you to understand that I've... I'm... 
I'm doing what we call uh, a bomber guy here, which, okay, so you can teach nothing about that skill, where I'm just taking it and stealing it. It's full on plagiarism, without a doubt, as a proper streamer would. Yeah, just taking your joke and you know, relocating it as mine, it's fine. I need to train two strength things that are not governed by the actual level. Two strength things that are miscellaneous. So axe and blunt weapon. Who can teach me how to axe? I require an axe trainer. I actually don't know where an axe trainer would be. If I was an axe trainer, where would I be? There's a guy in Caldera too far away. What can you train me in? Block, spear, and athletics. You need something else that is governed by strength. What's block? What, uh, block is agility. Okay, so I need two more strength and then 10 of whatever the heck I'm going to use up here. I just need to know. This is Balmora. Yes, we're currently in. Cal is... So blunt weapons are back upstairs. I don't think we can do any more blunt weapons. We are maxed out on our blunt weapon skill, which is something higher. Blunt weapon is 54. But if you say axe is in yes. Caldera... Yeah, the strength is... Guys, we can't ever gain any more strength. It's at 69. We might need to stop there. I think just for the meme, we might need to stop. Oh, that's a real shame because I've been training strength now with the um with the blunt weapon. Okay, so we can never train strength. We have to stop. What about intelligence? We can get an intelligence thing. That means I need to train a miscellaneous skill governed by intelligence. So conjuration, al alchemy. We could start to break some alchemy stuff. In fact, it's security and alchemy are the only things that I've got. It might be time to begin breaking the alchemy. I think we should get every skill that we can to level 69 and then stop. That's what we should do. Conjuration would be good for Bound Spear, but Conjuration's already at 30. I suppose we, we're conjuring quite a lot of stuff, aren't we? Let's go level up some Conjuration in the Mage's Guild. Is there something you need? There is something I need. I need Conjuration training. 69's for all the skills, purely for the memes. I'd be up for that. That'd be quite funny. Can you train me in conjuration? You cannot. None of those are important. Where is the conjuration trainer? Nope. You don't know anything about conjuration at all. One of you guys? Nope. Is it you? It is. Fantastic. Okay, let's get conjuration up to a couple of levels. Were you addicted to this game? Oh, we all were. We all were. Todd Howard knows exactly what he's doing when he makes a game. I like how we all joke about it, but Todd was not the the most important aspect of Morrowind. In fact, when you look at the writing that Todd put into the game, it's not on par with the quality of the rest of the writing of the game. I mean, he was obviously the game lead, so he had a huge amount of influence in how the game ended up turning out. But I still think that he wasn't the full one. Okay, intelligence is done to 11. Now we need an actual progress toward the level. So we choose uh, enchanting. I am doing lots of enchanting. Athletics, long blade, spear. Who trains the spear? I'm not even wearing anything I'm skilled in. I'm wearing light armor and I'm skilled in medium armor. I suppose we train in armor because armor does fix things and I am going to need to fix things at some point. So we train in armor for the time being. Who trains the spear? Who is the spear trainer? Is it somebody in the basement? If it's in the basement, I can... I can take my spear down to the basement and they can teach me what to do. Oh, normally you have to go to a very specific club for this. Pay a lot of money. Put your phone in a little black bag when you walk in, but no pictures. I can teach nothing more. She does not know how to handle my spear. But... It's okay. This woman up here can teach me how to use a long blade. And that's just as good. Training in the long blade. Because the long blade is governed by... Oh, it's governed by strength, which I've... I can't level strength up now, because that would be... It would not be as funny. So I need to level up something that is... Intelligence, willpower, anything that's not strength, pretty much. So we can't do that. Speechcraft... 
Speechcraft means I can convince people of things. Unarmored is decent as well, but I'm going to be wearing armor all the time. I suppose armorer is probably a good choice because I'm going to need to repair some stuff eventually. Let's level up armorer because I am going to need to repair the heavy armor when I finally get it. And I think Lost T, she'd use a spear, but she'd definitely... Have something to say, Argonian? She'd definitely train up some heavy armor. Can somebody check? Is there actually a a level requirement to start Blood Moon? Or is it just a level suggestion? Because let's be real, the way that we've leveled up now, Go we are probably... What do you need? We're probably as powerful as like a level 20 character should be. It's a, It's like a heavy suggestion. Okay, so we could just start now. We could just start now. Let's level up intelligence, endurance, and... Oh, no. We've got to go into strength. Do we do it? Do we go into strength? Because currently strength is 69. Oh, no. If we get intelligence, that goes to 70. Oh. Do we trade into the nice? Because we've, we've got to do it. We, we've got to do it. Endurance is also 69. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've got two of the funny number. Maybe we should get personality to 69 and then stop. No, we've got to go for strength because we've got to carry some more stuff. But then we go. For the meme lasted so long. Guys, if you were here for the stream, rip meme. Rip meme. 10th of February, 2024, 7 p.m. to 10th of February, 2024, 7.40 the 69 memes happened and then finished. Much like an actual... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to go there. We are a family-friendly, decent, nice, happy, genuine stream. We're not going there. Rip meme. The meme is finished. We are no longer 69ing. I'm sorry for all of you. Uh, I think We've got some good stats, though, now. You know, th these are good stats. The only other thing we might need is, like, intelligence... Endurance you want really high though. Endurance is still 69 and I'm going to gain less health because of this. That I mean that meme did nearly last for about 69 minutes. Luck is pointless. I don't care about that at all. Intelligence possibly. I think now we just play the game and then we level up as we go and if I need to do some cheesy leveling up later on we do it then. But for now we've got what we need. Play the game. Okay, I've got enough carry weight, carry stuff. I've got some spells, 35,000 gold, armorer's hammer, which is decent. Might as well. Don't need to fix anything. Everything is good. Where do we get this Daedric Spear? Because the Daedric Spear is going to be the weapon that I use the most throughout the game, and I need to know where the hell to find it. Now, if I remember correctly, it was over by Nisus, wasn't it? Which is all the way up there. Or wasn't it like east of Nisus or something? Now, I think yes, Nisus, what do you want? don't tell me, but I think if we Mages Guild it to Aldruun and then Silt Strider to Nisus. Let me see if I can remember this. I'm, I'm learning. I am actually learning what to do in Morrowind. Look at me being all clever, paying attention. Learn. Go ahead. I'm listening. I, I can't go ahead, mate. You're literally... Thank you. There we go. Much better. Hello. Why not grab the bound spear? See, it's not about just grabbing a man's spear. It's about going into the wild and taking a man's spear. It's, it's much more rewarding in general. Let's pop over here and take the Silt Strider to Nisus. Travel Gnesis. Like oh, God, he's still playing Morrowind. Mate, we're going to be here a while, okay? A while. Okay, where's the spear? Somebody tell me where the spear is. East? East of Nisus? Nisus? N Eastus? East of Cold Cave map, people say. So, Cold Cave is south. It's over there. And if I just keep jumping, I'm going to gain athletic levels while playing. And that's, that's super efficient. Also, isn't it great that we are moving faster? This is the speed we play at now. This is the new speed. Oh, we're accurate with the sword as well. Beautiful. The hit chance is even better. You can see it from here. I'm... No, I can't see anything from here. 
And coal cave is down here. It's this it's that structure. Oh, there's a Daedric spear in there, is that? Are these the angry natchers? No, you seem cool. Yeah, Batty Natch, they're cool. I'm I'm cool with them. It's east of Nisus, but west of Loathing. That's a very specific game reference there. I appreciate it. Okay, so this big thing over here apparently has a Daedric Spear inside it. And I like Daedric Spears, so we're going to go and get it. In fact, I like Daedric Spears so much, I might even summon one and use it as my weapon now. When I can actually summon it without failing. There we go. The reason I want the Daedric Spear permanently is so I don't need to worry about summoning it repeatedly. Now, I don't know if this ruin is, like, meant to be part of the game, like, it's a, a quest, a story quest, or if it's just a, a thing that you're allowed to go into and explore. But let's go in. Let's find out what's in here. First of all, there's a dude on just... Yeah. Okay, what's in here? See what we get. Oh, goodness me, that's some graphics right there. These are the... Oh, the Propylion chambers this is a transport network that morrowind tried to make work that almost nobody ever used the propylion networks you access them you need to find an index to make them work and then you can travel from one to another but it just it never really caught on so in chat, you said that they're in the big building. So I went in the big building, and then you said the other big building. There is no other big building. There's just this one. This little bit here. Corpse. Corpse. Anything on you? Bone meal? You got any games on your phone? Nope, nothing there. Also, it's so dark in the game that I'm actually watching the Twitch stream now to play this. I've turned the gamma up for you guys, so you guys can see what's going on. But I, I can't. So we are... Very much. This has got like a Daggerfall essence to it. I might even need to cast Night Eye just so I can see what the hell's happening in this game. There we go. Now I can see what's going on. Got any anything cool in these barrels? Turn the gamma up for yourself. See, here's the thing with Morrowind. You can actually only turn the gamma up if you play on full screen. I'm playing in windowed mode. And when you turn the gamma up in windowed mode, it doesn't do anything. Like it just straight up doesn't help. It's a really weird thing. Did you say you got any games on your phone whenever... Yes. Saying, do you got any games on your phone whenever you start looting bodies in games now? It's going to be a thing. That's what we're doing from now on. As soon as someone starts... I can't see a thing. It's so dark in here. Uh, you guys can see... Hang on, can we... Can you equip the glass lantern? Is that a thing we can do? Let me see if that works. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, immersion, baby! Now we've equipped the lantern and I can stab things! <laughs> this is actually legitimately very impressive. I That makes me happy. It's not a great orb of light, but hey, diegetic lighting. I'll take it. This makes me happy. Okay, plate, plate, plate. Any games on your phone? Rusty key. Hell yeah, I'll take that. That could be for something important. You never know. Yeah, I will... <laughs> you got any games in your propulsion chamber? That is a Dramora Lord that just got wrecked. Get on my level, son! A Dro Club. Value 200. Daedra Heart. I'm taking you because you're good at making things. All right, we're, now we're gaming, guys. Now we're just slapping things around. That Dramora, you know what he didn't expect? Check his phone for games. Oh, sweet. He's got an old phone. It's still got Flappy Bird installed on it. Going to stick that on eBay right now. You don't expect to just be walking along doing your regular kind of, uh, you know, just checking your guard duty and then out of nowhere, some big lusty Argonian mage just starts slapping you around. I mean, I'm sure that you're happy that happened, but nobody expects it. You know, it's never, never an expected moment. You'd like that. I'm sure you would like that, but you've got to pay a lot of money for this Argonian maid. Is this just like a big square? Have I just done a big loop? Hang on, let me just have a look at the local map. Ah, right, I see where we are. Cool, then you go down there, and that's back to the start. All right, I see what we're doing now. Now we're gaming. The 
bottom level. Well, that's a... Oh, God, it's a clan fear. These things are much tougher. Back out the door. Uh, right, hang on. We bounce spear, summon the bounce spear, and then stab them with the bounce spear, because the bounce spear is way more powerful. <laughs> Sit down, lads. Check your phone for games. Give me your Daedra heart. I'm taking the Daedra heart because I'm convinced they're important. Like, I'm sure I remember using Daedra hearts to make things. Possibly potions. Don't forget about your ring of night eye. Oh, yeah, that's a thing, wasn't it? We got a, an actual ring that casts it for us. Where was that? It was a magic item, wasn't it? Ring of night eye. 20 points for 30 seconds on self. All right, so we just cast it immediately. There's no way we can fail it. And then we just re-equip the spear. Oh. Yeah, sit down, you. Oh, you have dropped a, a dwarven spear. 21 for the stab. However, we've got a bound spear, which is 40 for the stab. Way better. Your, however, how much is that valuable? It's worth 300. It's not, not worth it. Not even picking it up. Less than a thousand? I don't even get out of bed for less than a thousand gold. Stealing people's hearts? Yeah, spear skill is close to 68. Hang on, what's my spear skill right now? Because we can never change that once that's leveled up. Good point. 68. When that hits 69, we've got to stop using spears. <laughs> Why are you so handsome? It's a curse. Somebody has to bear this. I'm sorry. I do apologize. It's, it's not my, my bad, everybody. <laughs> Oh, do you remember last stream when I just sat and ate a load of crisps and everyone watched? That was a thing that happened. Well, I've got these little um, Hello Panda little... Because I, I shop at Costco, obviously. Uh, because Costco is the uh, the one true religion. And they were selling these massive boxes of little little Hello Pandas. So just we're just going to sit there and eat these now. You guys ready for the crunch? Amen, Kirkland. Yes. Our true saviour. The $1.50 hot dog. Without a doubt. Single-handedly feeding me. Without a doubt. That crunch is ASMR. This is gaming ASMR. Mmm. Morrowind came out in 2002. All praise to Costco. Hang on. Vid. First time chat. All capitals. If I ask, you answer, question mark. I'm going to be real, Vid. I'm very intimidated right now. I'm scared. I will answer. But the very first thing you've ever typed in this chat is basically an aggressive way of saying, if I ask you a question, will you give me the answer? I mean, I don't know. Depends what you're going to ask for. Let's find out. We're all waiting. I'm very excited. Why did you kill Terra? <laughs> it slighted me. <laughs> they nerfed the Lancer class, so I nerfed their game. That's what it was. I have a badge in my cooler now. Yes, yes you are. Is enchanting your helm with Night Eye something you can do? No, because I just worked out you can turn the gamma up instead, which works for you guys. Okay. Vid, would you be down for threesome? No, you don't, You haven't spelt threesome. You've put, would you be down for threesome? Threesome. Ah, yes. The classic Yorkshire farmer's game. Uh, good old round of threesome. That's when you throw the horseshoes over the big bale of hay, isn't it? I remember that. Many, many a childhood night spent enjoying a, uh, a good family-friendly game of threesome. I have no idea if it is that, by the way, but it makes me laugh to think it might be that. So we're going to keep going with it being that. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. Isn't that a flying cat in D&D? &D? Straight up. Straight up. How about a game of Thresum? Straight, yeah. Done. We'll make it happen. Have your people call my people. And by my people, it's just me. You know, there's, there's no team there. It's just me. I love it when sometimes uh, businesses contact me and they're like, you know, Josh, who can we speak to about this? Can we speak to your manager? Can we speak to your agent? And I'm like, if you find them, let me know. But until then, you can chat with me. And it's always, 
it's always very interesting and kind of humbling when they're like, oh, we, we, we needed to negotiate stuff. I'm like, okay, you, you can negotiate with me. I'm here. You talk to me. Stab the little scam in the face. Check his phone for games and then off we go. What's in this nice big room? Uh, nothing. Nothing down here. I would live here, by the way. Like, if, if this place were for rent in, in the real world, I would rent it. I would live here. Would you live here? I look very bright today. Thank you. I'm trying the new sauna setting on my uh, my ring light. I thought we'll give that a go. It's uh, The settings go like, you know, 1 to 10, and then beyond that, it's uh, suntan, sauna, and then toast. So I thought it'd be a... thought I'd give it a go. I actually did approach a couple of companies thinking about sponsorships, because I don't really take sponsorships from companies in general, because I don't want to sell you stuff that I don't use, but... There are a couple of companies that I legitimately actually use, and I thought that would be a decent sponsorship. Uh, the first one was Elgato, because I legit use Elgato ring lights and cameras. They're pretty good. But that'll be a thing for the future, if it ever comes to fruition. I would like it to, but it depends what uh, what they would get from it as well. I don't mind working with... Oh, God. It's a Frost Atronach. Sit down, son. Sit your ass down. Give me the games on your phone. Look at that face. That is the face of a man who just got stabbed. I can't believe the YouTube Clips channel man is streaming. This is where the clips are generated. This is where you get the red hot clips straight away. This is fresh from the clip oven. You're about to be... Why are there seven torches in that box? Who stocked, who stocked this box? Okay, so that's an, an ominous looking tunnel. We're going to go into it. Hot clips. Fresh hot clips. Hot clip singles are looking for you. That's what you want. The Frost Atronach has some very cool games on their phone. It's a shame more games don't have spears. It really is. Like, the spear has, for most of human history, just been the most popular, most effective weapon ever. And everyone else, all the games kind of went, nah. Nah, not doing that. Oh, by the way, the reason I'm carrying this shield around with me, this, um... Elidon's Ward, despite not using it, is the fact that it's got a spell built into it, and when you cast it, it just immediately recovers almost all your health. It is ridiculously powerful, and I will be using it forever. That's that's why that's there, just so you know. Okay, It's also worth 200,000 gold, and no one in the game has that much money. Now, I think... Oh, God! I resisted magic. Yes, good. Run at whatever the hell this is. It's a couple of clan fears and a Daedroth, which I have penetrated with my spear. So grab you, grab the Daedra heart. What it... Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Corpse. Stuck to the wall with a Daedric spear. Give me that spear. Oh, God. Hang on. Sit down, son. You are nothing. What are you carrying on you? A dro staff. Never going to use it. Don't need it. That. That's good. The question now is, do we enchant the spear with something? Is there a dagger? You said don't forget the dagger. There's a Daedric dagger, is there? I, I can't see anything. In the, hang on. I've got to look at the Twitch stream. Because... There's way more light. Oh, hello. There's a chest. Level 20, trapped. Not a problem. I know. Open door. However, I have no mana, so we must have a quick nap in this cave that is definitely safe. Let's unlock you with a spell. Do I have... I do. Apprentice's probe. Prepare to be probed. Hang on, we're just gonna... Yay, yeah, trapped us arm. Sweet, what's in here? Oh, Steel Shard Scythe. Long blade, two-handed, value quite high. Amulet of Locking. Lock, five points on touch. It's dumb, but that actually matters because enemies can't unlock doors. They can open them, but they can't unlock them. So if you're being chased by an enemy and you turn around, close the door and lock it, they just stand there and can't do anything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Common ring, fire... Some books, 25 gold, which I'll take all of. Spirit of the Daedra and some potions, which I do not need. Now, one of you guys mentioned that there was a dagger here as well, apparently. I am not 
Oh, hang on, is that it? Is it like all the way in the actual war? It is! Daedric Dagger! Value 10,000! Hell yeah! What's on the corpse, if anything? Oh, nothing. Sweet! So we just got a badass dagger that we can sell to the crab, and we got a Daedric Spear, which is now permanent. All right, guy, we're, we're cooking with gas now. We got the spit. What merchant has 10,000 gold? I know some guy. It turns out the skeleton's just glued there. Like, the spear and the dagger were just for decoration. They were just getting a bit crazy with the PVA. You know, they just, they had some silly glue. They had a, a kind of prisoner and they were like, guys, this is going to be really funny. Would you consider using the crab merchant as cheating? I hope not, because we've been using it a lot. It's a merchant in the game. We've used it. It's fine. We haven't fully explored this cave yet, though. What else is in this cave? We should see what else is in this cave. I'm just going to walk around, seeing what uh, what happens, what's kind of going on. Maybe we should run up this little ledge, do a bit of quick bit of jumping, spam the jump button, see what happens. Oh, uh, we can't. Come on, come on, come on. I believe in me. I believe in... Can we search that body? We can search that body. That's nothing good on it. Ah, uh, yes! No! Oh, god damn. Not a problem. Levitate. Hang on, I'm just going to cast... I have a quick nap until all my health's back and then levitate up here. Oh my god. I can cast levitate once before I have to nap again. There we go. So levitation just straight up lets you walk in the air for a bit. It's extremely powerful. All right, what you got? Dead body. Iron Wakazashi. Common, common, common. Journeyman's probe. Always worth taking. A stolen key. It's always worth having stolen keys just in case. You never know what they're going to be for. I will be using levitation quite extensively when I end up going through the great houses. And I don't know which great house I'm going to go for, but everyone's been telling me to go for Telvani. So I think we, I probably will end up doing House Telvani. Can you go in the lava? You can, but you die. Yeah, I'm probably going to go House Telvani because, let's be fair, it's just probably one of the coolest houses. No. Three days spent on the cave for that key. Just, yeah, just napping repeatedly and then floating. Obviously House Lalu. Some of you are saying Red Around. People say Redoran, I say Redoran, and this is because I am correct. Now, I can use Amulet of Shadows to Chameleon, then run at someone unseen. I imagine being that Dramora, you're just hanging out, and then a shadow stabs you. Oh yeah. We've got the shadow stuff going on. Value 360, not worth it, not enough. There's nothing else in this cave that's of value. Don't Look at the square lava. Morrowind spent all the budget on the water graphics. The lava got shafted. Ironic that a demon was jumped by a ghost. That's the way it goes in Morrowind. See, I know that you're all saying that I can't do Blood Moon until level 20, but from what I've seen, I think I could probably take on Blood Moon quite well. What the hell is that? What is this? That's a winged twilight. They are quite high level. Don't, don't be, be flying away. Now, some of you are probably upset I didn't capture their souls in soul capture, but I have a plan for soul capture. Worry not. There is a, there's a path up there. I'm going to float up there in a minute. There is a plan for soul capture. You can get a spell, summon Winged Twilight, or summon Golden Saint, something like that. You can then summon your own dude, soul capture them, and then put that in Soul Gem. Totally possible to do. So, let's see what games they've got on their phone. Void Salts, I'll, uh, I'll take all, might be worth us, but got them. So yes, you can actually summon your own dudes, and then just soul capture them. That works, that totally works. Uh, I'm trying to jump up here, but I've got... It just, it won't let me. I, I need to levitate again. I don't know if there's anything special in this room. Oh, there's a body. Dead hero. Where you going, you mate? Boots of the Apostle. 
levitate 30 to 40, 40 points for 30 seconds on self. We're taking those guys. Straight up. Throw staff, Imperial Chain Coist, Imperial, 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 Exclusive Restore Agility, potentially useful, and Gold. We'll steal you. Any of your armor, your armor is worthless, but thank you for your incredible boots. I can't put them on because beast races can't wear them, but I can still use their ability because their ability is a spell. That is locked, which I think we can straight away sort out. Unlock the chest. What we got in here? Silver Flame Axe. Axe 100, fire point, value 150. I'll take it, but I'm going to sell it. What is up there? That. The other question is, if I levitate, can I make it up there in 30 seconds? Let's find out. Let's... Magical Items. Okay. What's it called? It's called... Boots of the Apostle. Okay. Is that a constant effect? Can't be. Yeah, it's not a constant effect. Where... Do you have to put them on to be able to use them? It's cast when used. You can't use it. Can I not use the, the levitate effect because it's on boots? And because it's on boots and I can't wear boots, I can't use the effect. You... Oh, no. Oh, Todd Howard. You cheeky little Todd. Okay, fine. New plan. Uh, have a tactical nap. Get my levitate spell out. Now, I am worried about this because my levitate only works for 30 seconds. So I've got to... I'm running. I'm running as fast as I can straight up. I don't know what I'm going to face when I get to the top, but I'm running straight up. I have to get higher than the thing, then turn and go this way. Oh, hello. Hello, you. Right, we're up. Okay, quick save. We're up. There's some mushrooms. And there's a person. Surrounded by bones. Hey. So what do you want? Hey, how's it going? That's, uh... I'm so glad to see you. I'm a healer, and I have been making my way to Nisus from Aldrun when these two winged twilights snatched me from the road, bore me into the air, dragged me deep beneath the earth, and stranded me on this high pillar of rock. I prayed to Mara for divine intervention. You must have been sent to answer my prayers. You haven't got a divine intervention scroll, but I thought you were a servant of the Imperial cult. Surely the prudent and pious champion of the faith will carry divine intervention scrolls, both for personal use and for the aid of the less fortunate. Alas, I think you should get a divine intervention scroll and bring it back to me, so I can be rescued. Fine. 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 I'll find a, a, a divine intervention scroll somewhere. Uh, it'll be one somewhere. Why not? Why, why wouldn't there be? Of course there would be. What about... Oh, hang on. We've got some locked chests. Maybe, if the game is designed well, may... Empty. Fine. Thanks. Screw you, Todd. Tactical nap. Open this chest. Oh, it's locked level 60. That means I've got to use my skeleton key but better spell. And that takes literally all of my mana. Okay, skeleton key but better. Opens 100 points. I can cast it once and there's a 64% chance of it working. Failed. Tactical nap. Try again. Failed. Tactical nap. Try again. Oh, God. Oh, there's a, one of the... They've been taking their time, haven't they? They have been taking their... Oh, God. Sit down, you. Yeah. Didn't think about that, did you? Okay, so armor rating 37, armor rating 61. Your armor sucks. However, it's very valuable. So I am going to take it just to then sell it to a merchant. I will take your armor and I will sell it. Now, if you don't mind, I need to go back to sleeping until I can open this magical box. Beautiful. What's in here? Okay, Belt of Balnia's Soothing Balm. Restore health. Decent. I'll take it. Can I wear it? 
I can. What did that take away from me? Because I was wearing something else. I was wearing a different belt. Belt of Iron Will. Fortify Speed. I'll keep that. That's fine. Exquisite Amulet can be enchanted. That's pretty much uh, enchanting bait right there. Sell that ring. Ring of Transcendent Wisdom. This is some good stuff. Stumble Charm. Damage Agility. And some more stuff. Uh, you know what? I'll just take everything. That's fine. That's all mine now. Um, right. We need to find a scroll of divine intervention. Oh, there's more up the top. We haven't been all the way up yet. Hang on. Let's go a little bit higher and see what's up here. Once again, tactical nap. Also, how did that assassin get here? Could he fly as well? I'm slightly more scared of assassins that can also fly. Uh, there's nothing kind of over... The game won't let me walk on that bit. It also won't let me walk up here. There we go. Okay, there's there's nothing else. Oh, there might be. Hang on, I'm scared I'm going to fall. Let's, let's have a nap. And let's go... Is that, like... Is that just really bad graphical kerning? Or is there actually something up there? I want to have a nap and work out if there is actually something up there. I've got to kind of squeeze through this little, little gap. Squeeze up to here and look around. Oh, oh, there's... Oh yeah, there is. There's something up here. There's broken graphics. That's what's up here. There's the rest of the game world that nobody ever expected anyone to fly all the way up here. Despite the fact that you've got to fly up here to... Oh, there we go. Fall down. To get the thing. The best kind of graphics. You found a Daedra helmet in a place like this. Let's just cast the levitation spell and levitate downwards. All right. So what's... That's where she was. We levitate all the way down, and we need to find a Divine Intervention scroll. There will be one somewhere. Probably in this place. Like, if it was well made, there'll be a, a scroll in this place. Let's see if these guys have got any scrolls on them. We'll check all the boxes for scrolls, Divine Interventions. If not, we'll, uh, we'll find one eventually. Don't worry. They're very cheap. Maybe I should mark and recall to here. I'll mark here. Okay, I'll, I'll have a tactical nap, and then I'll mark here. Okay, cool, here is marked. Now we need to find a Divine Intervention scroll, and then come back. There is, but there are in other quests. Oh, okay, so it would just make so much sense to have the scrolls be here. Wait, did you finish robbing the other place? Yes, I did. We've got everything from that place. Don't you worry. Everything that was in that place is in my bank. We got it all. Can you use your amulet, your divine intervention? You can't. I've got to actually give her a scroll. But if I was a divine intervention scroll, where would I be? Did any of these have them on them? Like, were there... It would make so much sense to have them. You know what I can do? I can probably cast divine intervention. I've got an amulet. I'll cast the amulet. That'll take me back, and then I'll buy something from here. Because this must be... An Imperial cult somewhere. Where would sell them? Imperial altars have people that sell them. Right, so let's find an Imperial altar now. If I was a Divine Intervention scroll, you'd be a lot less interesting to watch stream. You say that. You don't know how interesting they are. Right. Um, I need... Oh, these won't talk to me because I'm out of uniform. Oh, no! God damn it! You're all going to say it now. Okay, avoid the Imperial Legion. Straight up. Straight up avoid the Imperial Legion. We don't go there. We don't talk to them. We don't look at them. We don't mention them. We just... I don't like this. Um, The Mage's Guild. There was a... There was an Imperial cult altar in the Mage's Guild in Aldrune. You've got... Don't say it. There was a uniform in the cave. Oh, we could have taken it. We could have straight up taken the uniform from the cave. Let's travel back to Old Rune. 
Remember how I said at the start of this stream, we always start the stream with like four or five objectives and we complete none of them. But we do lots of other stuff. This is what we do right now. We're doing all of the other stuff. I will end up enchanting this spear, by the way. The spear will become enchanted at some point. Yo, I need a divine intervention scroll. Who sells them? New channel redeem point. Where's your uniform? Not doing it. Can't make me. Yo, why do none of you sell these things? Let's hear it. There's like, one watching you. I can tell. Okay, I'm going to need somebody in chat to actually genuinely help me work out where the hell you get a divine intervention scroll from. Barter. Do you sell them? No, you don't. Major's supply chest. It's not going to be that easy. It's not going to be anywhere near that easy. Like, I'll open it just to humor you. I'll even... I'll even teleport back to Balmora if I need to. But... Move, please. Just... May I help you? You... I'm... I'm trying to... I'm really trying here. <laughs> trying to just... Hang on, just scooching. There we go. Gotcha. Never a problem. Major supply guild chest. Oh, divine intervention scroll. Yeah, I'll take that. What else we got? Um, nah, nothing else is needed. Cool, we've got it. Now we recall. So much to remember. Now we recall. Now we recall. Now we have a nap. But we can't have a nap in the Mages Guild because apparently they don't let you. And we can't even nap out here because it's illegal. So we walk far enough. Now we walk far enough away from the city to legally be allowed to have a nap. Recall would work if you were in uniform. <laughs> I don't like how witty that was. You have officially become too witty for this chat. Go to Doug Doug's chat. He will accept you now. You you graduate from this chat and you're allowed to go there instead. How is resting here illegal? Like, there's nothing else here. Why can I not recall? There we go. Finally. Right, now levitate. Tactical nap. Levitate back up. I hope this is in the stories in the future, that the adults are telling their children. And then the Nerevarine went into a cave and slept for a week while a woman was in danger and required a scroll. I very much think this is the story, the true story of the Nerevarine. Hey, found it. Have you brought a divine intervention scroll? Yes, I have. Give divine intervention scroll. Woe is me. I prayed for aid. I received a cruel rebuff. It is enough to make one wonder about the gods. Hang on, I kept give. I literally, I didn't click keep. Oh shit, did I click keep? Give. It's fine. Just, just kidding. Just a joke. Psych. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. At last, you have found the divine intervention scroll. Give me the scroll and I'm free. Bless you and your endeavors. Farewell and good fortune. But before I go, please let me at least give you a gift. All I have is this lucky change of clothes I've carried with me on my travels. I never wear them. I just keep them as a good luck charm. Perhaps you can wear them in remembrance of me and in token of your generosity to a stranger. Mara's skirt and Mara's blouse has been added to your inventory. Thanks for rescuing me. Here's my clothes. Okay, Mara's blouse. Constant effect. Resist magicka. Mara's skirt. Constant effect, fortify health. Doesn't that refill your health? Like, if we equip this shirt, which we can because shirts don't, don't count as armor, and we equip this skirt, beautiful. Okay, so we're wearing... What were we wearing before? Nothing. Sweet. It's fortify. Okay, so fortify health means I've now got slightly more health, but I have a constant effect of resist magicka, 10%. So 10% chance to just not, not be spelled. Fantastic. Oh, that was decent. 
I'll also take that. It increases health. You can die from that. Oh, okay. You look like a gremlin wearing... Wear, but where's your uniform? Now, here is an important thing. There is a thing in Morrowind where you can actually resist your own spells. Because if I save now and try and cast Levitate to get down, my resist magic... You failed casting the spell. Tactical nap. Cool, it worked. There is a chance that when your resist magic is high enough, you will just straight up resist literally everything, including beneficial effects that you try to cast on yourself. That is a thing as well. Is it only negative effects? I thought you could resist positives as well. There was a... In the original, you could resist positives. Can you use chameleon or other to be able to teleport when it's forbidden? I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll have a look. You can resist the blind effect from the boots of blinding speed. That's very true. All right, so let's just have a look what we've done. We've got the Daedric Spear. We've leveled up a couple of times. The Draymora, for some reason, has come back. We are so good at spearing things. Just excellent at spearing things. I didn't realize they respawned, to be honest. I did not realize they respawned. What makes the Elder Scrolls 3 so replayable? I think how dumb it is. And dumb as in, you can do stuff that makes total sense, but is also stupid. I also resisted magic just then. Sit down, Daedroth. Get on the floor. Oh, oh you've got a big axe, okay. Don't swing the axe at me, please. Sit down, your shield can't protect you from being stabbed. A value 750, I'll take it. Sell that to a, a merchant at some point. I didn't realize these guys respawned, to be honest. I thought they would just uh, kind of stay dead. Okay, we've got the spear. We have leveled up a couple of times and done, I'd say, pretty well with it. We're level 10 already. Is it worth trying to do Blood Moon? Should we do... Because I think we should do the expansions before we do the main quests. Without a doubt. I need a little fortify strength. Do it, do it, do it. Let's give it a go. Okay, let's see. How hard can Blood Moon be? Like, really? It's not that difficult. We should be able to do this. And you start Blood Moon by traveling to... There's a place... Cool, I think it is? Yeah, you got to go to Cool. North, good morning, good, good evening, good night, whatever the time is for you, welcome. Let's go to cool. You've got to go to cool to start Blood Moon, I think. I'm pretty sure. We could even start Tribunal, and that would get us that really badass heavy armor. You could just jump over to Soul's Time. <laughs> Be true, and ignore all... All... <laughs> if we did Tribunal, we'd have to fight the Ebon Armor guy. That's the only problem. That is the big problem there. Okay, so the Tribunal quest, that is closer to our level. It does also get us the real badass heavy armor. Just magic him. He's really hard to kill, but we could find out. Let's... How do we start Tribunal? Because that will prevent people attacking me. The Dark Brotherhood attacks. A guard told me the attackers were like the Dark Brotherhood, and he suggests I speak with Apelles Matthias in Ebonheart. You know what? I am tired of being attacked in the night time. So maybe I should speak to Apelles Matthias in Ebonheart. If I was Ebonheart, where would I be? Close to Vivek, you say? So we travel to... We go to Aldruin, and then I take the Mage's Guild to Vivek, unless you take me to Ebonheart. I don't think you do. No, you don't. Right, south centre of map. We'll go to Vivek and walk. It's fine. You take a boat from Vivek. Okay, yeah, we'll go to Ebonheart. Because I am tired of being attacked in my sleep. Nobody likes to be stabbed in their sleep. You shouldn't be here. I will sort your quest out after we have gone to do the tribunal thing. Excuse. Excuse. Training excuse. For the right price. Oh, hang on. Who enchants? I just want to know how much it will cost. Who enchants? Because I want to see what it would cost to enchant this spear. With something cool. Training 
for the right I don't want to try and enchant it myself because there's a chance it would fail. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we talk Who about? Who does enchanting? Oh, I know that the Balmora mage, she does enchanting. It, it's a it's incredibly expensive, that is true. So maybe we should travel to Vivek, and then we should take a boat from Vivek. Now, where the heck is the Speak boat traveler. to Ebonheart? You guys might need to help me out with this a little bit. Is this the worst MMO of all time? Yes, because it's only one player. Although I'm pretty sure... Enchanting, there we go, cool. Right, enchanting. Item, Deodric Spear. Soul. I have got a a Grand Soul Gem with Winged Twilight, which is just the most powerful soul thing you could possibly get. What do we want to add on to this? I have just realized that I have got absolutely no combat magic effects at all. So we could make a spear that casts light on stab. Re recall on strike. Bound spear. Duration like a minute. We are we really gonna make a Deodric spear that has the innate ability to summon a Deodric spear? I think this sounds like a terrible idea. Like a really awful idea. I'm not even gonna consider it. I'm gonna No. We're gonna think about this more before we do terrible things like that. Okay. I'm a busy gal, so if you could hurry this up. She is literally always there every single time. You, have you considered more spear? This spear is actually two spear per spear. Isn't there a bug where if you cast something like um, summon helmet on a helmet and then put it on, it, it ends up bugging out slightly? I'm sure there is. Right, Ebonheart. If I was Ebonheart, where would I be? Is that another place you can walk to? Or have you got to actually get a boat there? Spears of the Church. Uh, so you can walk to Ebonheart. Boat outside near the Silt Strider. That doesn't make it easier because Vivek's bloody huge. Where's the Silt Strider? Off the Halalu Canton Bridge to the west. Oh, thank God you're here. The Halalu Canton. Okay, the Halalu Canton is... I don't even know anymore. But if I spot the silt strider... There's a boat! Hang on. This is probably safe. Is my athletics good enough to survive a fall from the top of a, of a Vivek canton? No. But watch me. Parkour. Totally safe. Don't even know what people are worried about. Parkour. And parkour. This is how you travel in Morrowind. This is the only way to do it. This is the 100% objectively correct way to travel in Morrowind. Ebonheart is southwest of Vivek. Well, I've found this boat. This boat to me looks like it should go to Ebonheart. Yo, where do you go? Uh, you go to Ebonheart, travel? Ebonheart. Off we pop. Here we are. Where is it? Oh, it's it's there. I, I thought it was like a lot further away than it currently is. That is a badass statue. Just straight up. Ian? Sup, Ian? Greetings, Citizen Lusty. I'm Ian. Can I help you? Is your first visit to Ebonheart? It is. Ebonheart is the Imperial headquarters for the Vardenfell district and a busy seaport. Duke Vadim Dren is the district's ruler and Emperor's representative. The Duke lives in Castle Ebonheart. The district council chambers and the Hawk Moth Legion garrison are also at Castle Ebonheart. The East Empire Company buildings and docks are outside the castle, facing Vivek to the east. I need to speak to someone in particular. Uh, none of those people. Who was the guy that I should chat to in the thing? It said, didn't it? It was... I should speak to Apalius Matius. Apalius Matius? That's not the friendliest name ever. All right, Apalius Matius McFrenderson. 
Hello, streamer. I'd like one dry bagel and half a cup of sugar water. Yeah, sweet. No problem. We can do that at all. That's totally fine. Least imperial sounding name. Apelius Matius. Uh, officer. Yo. Um, specific place. No, I require to know where Apelius Matius may be. But you don't seem to want to... Nobody seems to want to tell me. If I was a Pallius and a Matius. I don't know if I like this. Well, then we can stop. See? That's respect right there. If I was a Pallius and... Give me your hat. With an outfit like that, you must be doing very well for yourself. Can I help you? No. No, but I really want your hat. Well, what is this about? Straight up. Once I've done everything I need to do, I am returning to this... I am killing everyone and taking your hat. You are Pallius Metius. You're up. Oh, I swear to God. You're making it very difficult to like you. <laughs> Has that hat got any games on it? All right. We're looking around for... Just need to know where Apalius Matius is. You say he's outside. If we, we can check if he's outside, we can look around and find him. Maybe these people. I'm listening. You guys might need to be the uh, the Twitch the Twitchopedia for this one. He's in the main building. It's this castles. Every building looks like the main building. Guessing you mean the massive castle over in the distance. Fairly sure he's on a bridge somewhere. Right, so we've had he's outside, he's in the main building, and he's on a bridge. Apalius! What's this about the Dark Brotherhood? You say you've been attacked by them. The fact that you're standing here seems to suggest otherwise. Perhaps you have been attacked. That's bad business. I don't know who it is that wants you dead, and I don't want to know. Dark Brotherhood activity here on Vardenfell has been almost unheard of, but I know they have a large contingent on the mainland. Yes, in Mournhold itself, actually. If you're feeling particularly suicidal, you can check it out for yourself. Of course, it's not easy to get there these days, because of the blight. Boats from Vardenfell are turned away immediately. There is one way you might get there, though. Speak with Asin Rain about transport to Mournhold. She might be able to help you out. She's a mage who arrived in Vardenfell the same time I did. Special appointment to Duke Dren himself. Nice woman, powerful mage. You'll find her in the Grand Council Chambers in Ebenhart. Yes, transport to Mournhold. We speak to Asian Rain in the Grand Council Chambers. Right, let's go and find them. The Grand Council Chambers. If I was a Grand Council Chamber, where would I be? Now I can see one of you in the chat has already typed City of Light, City of Magic. I played this as a kid. I finished this as a kid. I do not remember almost anything about Tribunal or Blood Moon, but I do remember that goddamn soundbite of the Ordinators, of you walking past and them going, City of Light. City of Magic. That's what I remember. All the time. That's all I remember. That was it. Wrong way. Wrong way. When we find it, I swear to God, if you guys start spamming it, I'm going to cry. Core memory unlocked. If I was a big council chamber, where would I... Don't I have anything that fortifies speed? I must have a fortify speed thing on me somewhere. 99% sure that I do. Fortify speed. There we go. Belt of Iron Will. Right. Zoomies engaged. Don't I do the Tangent Tavern anymore? It's difficult to find time to be able to record a podcast and make enough videos and stream. It's Skyrim Mission. Okay. Skyrim was in Morrowind. Who knew? I'm a busy guy, so if you could hurry Who knew? Up. You have one more bridge to get there. Let's go this way. See what else happens. 
We need to find the... Ah, maybe they're over here in the big building. Where's your uniform? Shut up. I swear to Jesus. I swear to Vivek. I will end you. Right, the Grand Council Chambers are here. Right, who are we talking to? Some kind of wizard lady. Hey, you, Asin Rain. Greetings, friend. What may I do for you? Uh, I would like you to teleport me to Mournhold, please. Um, you wish to go to the mainland? That's highly irregular. I'm sure you've heard that they're restricting travel to Mournhold. They've been a bit worried about the blight. What's your reason for wanting to go to the city? Uh, I, I fear I've been marked by the Dark Brotherhood, and I wish to investigate them. Oh my, I can see why you'd want to get that cleared up. It's dangerous business, though I can't say I'd be happy to send you off on that sort of fool's errand. If you're sure, though, I suppose I can oblige you. If you need to return to Vardenfell, speak with Effie Tay in the Royal Palace. Take care, friend. These people are not to be taken lightly. I'll send you there when we finish speaking. Off we go. Here we are. In Mournhold. I remember this lagging my laptop out when I used to play it. My sister, welcome. Thank you for welcoming me. Uh, I do not seek transport to Vardenfell. I do, however, need to find the Dark Brotherhood. So... I guess we're starting the Tribunal expansion today. This is what we are d The Tribunal are not known for hiring the best and brightest. <laughs> Almalexia knows and sees, but he does not. Justice never sleeps. Hey, I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Move along. This is the first, actually, um, quadruple A game. Forget, forget Skull and Bones. It's no longer about uh, quadruple A. No, no, this is qu quintuple. Quintuple A game. Walking straight into the wall. Lulls you into a false sense of security. Then attacks you. Hmm. Five A's. Ubisoft will wish they could make that. Right, Dark Brotherhood, tell me about it. I don't know why he'd want to go looking for those demons. Some say they live in the sewers beneath the Great Bazaar. You'll find the Great Bazaar in the eastern section of town. All right, sweet. Off to the Great Bazaar we go. What's up here? Is this the Royal Palace Throne Room? The Throne Room? Let's pop in and say hi. Hey. How's it going? Adira Denny Ferrano. Alright, guys, how we how we doing? We're all having a good day. Long live the king. Long live the king indeed. What's up, Carrod? Can I uh Ha <laughs> ha! Fools. Now I'm the the king. The woman king. He looks you over slowly and deliberately. Excuse me. All right, cool. Guess you guys aren't bothered. Hey, Carrot, how's it going? Carrot says nothing. Cool, you guys, uh... There's no one on the throne, by the way. I am going to become your lizard overlord. Let's see out here. Helseth's chambers. Don't know who Helseth is, but we might need to... He's the strong and silent type. Might need to chat to them at some point. I feel that we're, we're quite high up, as in, like, we're on the second or third floor... And I probably need to go down a little bit. Emperor, King, and Let's just pop down here. See how we get out. Ah, there we go. There's a door. The courtyard. Lovely stuff. Hello, you you look I was just thinking. You look very out of place, mate. What's going on? If you're looking for someone to watch your back, I'm available to hire. Calvus. I love you, mate, but I'm good right now. We don't need a mercenary yet. Now, we do want to leave, was it east of Royal Palace Jail, Plaza Brindisi Dorum? What's over here? Hey. Good for the Empire, good for all, eh, citizen? Yeah, totally agree. It's west, it's west. Let's go south. Oh, look at this big plaza. Look at this. This, to me, feels very mid-2000s video gamey. There's just that 
it almost feels like a quake map. There's just that ambience to it, isn't there? That straight up ambience of there's just a big open space going on. Lovely skybox. Hey, how you doing, man? She's a hard woman, all right. Who's a hard woman? Who are you talking about? I'm intrigued. There's a story here. Tell me about the story. What is this statue going on up here? Let's have a look. Hey, what's uh, Almalexia and Merun's Dagon? So I'm assuming that that angry-looking woman there is Almalexia, and that dead-looking demon is Merun's Dagon. So maybe Almalexia killed Merun's Dagon. So we should all worship Almalexia. She must be great. A high. Justice never sleeps. Okay, that armor is badass. Go about your business. Yo, um, where do we get to the Great Bazaar? Eastern section of town. What can you tell me about the Dark Brotherhood? That's a touchy subject. I'm not comfortable talking about it with somebody I don't trust. Well, what if I were to give you a shiny ten gold coin? You do not understand these things. Well, guess who's ten coins poorer? You. Idiot. Fool. This is getting ridiculous. The clips can't keep up with this kind of consistency. You will be putting out two or three clips a day, and you will like it. That's pretty sure he took your ten coins. Oh no, now I've only got 36,000 coins left. Oh no. What will happen now? Before we leave this area, I remember something. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember a guy who asks you for money. City of light. City of magic. He said it. He said the thing. Where's the dude that asks you for money? Is it that guy in the corner? Is that the guy? Let's, because he's standing just hanging out, no clothes, and gnawed by himself. Okay. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? Forstarg the Sweltering. What are you looking at? No, I'm not paralyzed, and I've never even met a witch, much less been asked to escort one anywhere. Why am I naked? That is a reference to the quest you have to do in the previous game. Why am I naked? Because it's too damn hot here. You people think that every time you see a naked Nord barbarian, he's been tricked by some witch. So narrow minded. Well, leave me alone. I. You just. I told you I don't need any help. I'm just trying to cool off a bit. I've never even seen a witch. You people and your stereotypes. I told you. Okay, and you keep talking to him and he just keeps... You want to have a... No, he'll say nothing more to you. But he definitely hasn't been tricked by a witch. 100%. Will this playthrough be uploaded onto YouTube to be rewatched? Yes. So there is a... Another YouTube channel called Josh Drive Replays. Josh Drive Hayes is the MMORPG channel. Josh Drive Plays is the Retro Review channel. Josh Drive Says is the Clip channel. And Josh Drive Replays is the um, complete full uploaded VODs channel. Right, so you guys said that the temple had a... Um, the dude in it. Where's the dude? Because I want to give the dude the money, obviously. You give the dude the money... And then he attacks you, and it's an incredibly hard fight. The temple is north twice. Okay, cool. We're going north twice. And what's the OnlyFans channel? That will probably be Josh Drive Lays when it ends up being made. And then after that, when I create a payment portal, it'll be Josh Drive Pays. Um, and, okay, so, Guy, can I... I'll be real with you. I'm, I'm needing to create pitch deck, if you will, to talk to... There he is. We know as our boy. I need to create a pitch deck to send to companies when they ask for, like, sponsorships and working together and business relationships and stuff. And every streamer needs to have, or YouTuber, needs to have a, a kind of code of conduct of what they will and won't do. And you need to be really specific and really serious and really businessy when you write that. But I'm that's not the vibe. So I am thinking about giving them a piece of paper that says... The Josh Strife weighs on it. 
And if they don't conform to these ways, we just don't work with them. I'm going to do that. That's my plan. And if someone looks at me and goes, this is silly, it's not the kind of company I want to work with anyway. I am in a very, very privileged position because you guys directly support me enough that I don't need to do anything with companies if I don't want to. Which, as a content creator, is just the most amazing position to be in. Like, you have no idea the joy I get from telling Raid Shadow Legends to go away. Like, the joy. I mean, the amount they're offering, I could have bought a car. But it's so much funnier just to say no. And I swear, the emails, we've watched your content and we love your stuff. Don't fucking lie to me, Raid. If you'd watched five minutes of my content, you'd know that I hate you and everything you stand for. But, all right, go off. <laughs> Why not? Hey. Hey, Gaynor. Be important. How's it going? Gaynor, I, just, I, I feel compelled to talk to you. Okay, so if you've never played um, Tribunal, which is the Morrowind expansion before, this guy is a trap. I remember this. He asks you for money. And if you give him money, he asks you for more, and then more, and then more, and then more, and then more. Eventually, he asks you for a million coins. Even if you say yes, he says no one has that sort of money, and then he runs away. The next time you see him, he is wearing some of the best armor in the game. He has got the best, most powerful static buffs. He has got an incredibly powerful sword. He's super quick, and he attacks you. He will kill you unless you are fully prepared to fight him. So let's start that process now. Hello again. Hello there, Argonian. Before you take another step, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gaynor, and I'm, well, I'm an entrepreneur of sorts. I was wondering if I'd ask, ask a small favor of you. I'm glad you asked. As you may have noticed, I'm not looking my best at the moment. I'm a little, shall we say, down on my luck, which is not something I'm used to, let me tell you. At any rate, I'm looking for a little starting capital to get things rolling here in Mournhold. I've recently arrived myself as well, and I thought you might be able to help out. Think you could part ways with, say, 50 gold? Sure. Here you are. Splendid. I really do appreciate it. And I must say, you're quite the generous soul. In fact, as long as we're talking and getting along so well, do you think maybe you could spot me another hundred? I'm quite sure that I can pay you back in just a few days' time. I've always had excellent luck when it comes to these sort of things. So what do you say? Um, yeah, yeah, hundreds fine, mate. Not a problem at all. You really are something, Lusty. I can... You are something, Lusty. I can see we're going to get along famously. Okay, I'll be upfront with you. If I could have another thousand or so, I can really make it here. I just know it. You've been so good to me so far. It's clear that you've got the money to... A little more help, that's all I ask for. You know what? I've got like 30k on me. A thousand is not a problem. Here you go. Oh, wow. You have no idea what this means to me, Lusty. I've never had this much gold in my life. Well, heck, you've just got money to burn, don't you? I bet you could spare another 10,000 gold. Couldn't you? Come on. I know you've got it. Let's have it. Do we... Do we give this dude 10,000 gold? You know what? He seems like a reasonable fella. He seems like he's got his head screwed on, he's focused, he's lucky, he knows what he's going to do. You know what? Yeah, here you are. I don't even know what to say. I'll never be able to truly pay you back for this. You've restored my faith in the world, Lusty. And boy, are you ever rich. I bet you've got a million gold. In fact, I bet you've got ten million. You must be the richest Argonian ever. You should give me a million, don't you think? Then we can both be millionaires. Now, I don't have a million gold. I don't think you can actually carry a million gold. But you can still say, sure, here it is. Or you can say, not a chance. Do we say, sure, here it is, or not a chance? Now, here's interesting. Even if you have a million gold on you, you still can't give it to him. Like, you can console in a million gold to yourself. But his response is guaranteed. So we'll say, sure. We'll imagine that we've got a million gold on us and say, sure, and you would get this response anyway. Do 
you really think I'm that stupid? No one walks around with a million gold on them. That's ludicrous. I won't stand for this kind of patronizing. I will not be mocked. You'll see, Lusty. You'll all see. I'll get you. Right. We have now set into motion a series of events that we will come to regret heavily. We'll see in a couple of days' time. Okay, so we don't need to be at the temple anymore. We now need to go to the Mournhold Great Bazaar, which was over this way, I think. Basically, we have just created a super boss in the game that is almost not meant to be killed. Yeah. That should be Morrowind's tagline. Which one? I mean, you can kill him on the spot. We can kill him, but you know what? What if we just wait and see what happens? That's God's reach. We don't need to be in God's reach. I think the the place we want is to the east. Let's just fortify my speed with a belt. Um, why would a player do that? This makes no game design sense. What do you mean? Why would a player give him all that gold? Because that's just... You might, might want to do it. What's this way? This is... That's the gates you... Can you leave? The gates cannot be opened. Seems like they're not doing the one job they've got, but okay. Let's go this way. He is, I think, the hardest fight in the game. Without a doubt. As they're expecting a reward. Well, if you kill him, you can take his stuff. It's just very difficult to kill him. Ah, this is the Great Bazaar. Here we go. Now, we've been told that the... The Dark Brotherhood seem to operate in the sewers. So before we go around, let's do a bit of shopping, shall we? Because, yeah, sometimes RPGs just let you do stuff and they let you make mistakes. And I've got, I want that armor. Look at that armor. That's gorgeous. Never that's what I want it. You have questions. Oh, there's a play going. This is a, like a play, like a theater thing going on. I wonder when the play will start. I don't know. I wonder when the play will start. I wonder when the play will start. You know, I'll find out for you guys. I'll go and ask. Hey, when's the play going to start? Hi, Argonian. You probably want to talk to Merrin backstage. He's in charge of our little troop here. Ah, right, not a problem. There's... It's never easy. Done. <laughs> hey, Merwin, you've got like an audience going on, mate. And as a fellow theatre goer, I think you should perform for them. Greetings, Argonian. I'm Meron Orthalas, founder of the Mournhold Players. I'm pretty sure you came here to watch our production of The Horror of Castle Zia. Well, I'm very sorry to inform you that we won't be putting on the show today. The troupe has its own drama to worry about at the moment. What's, what's happening, mate? Yes, well, uh, wouldn't you know, the very day we're supposed to debut our show, our lead actor, Travis Belleth, came down with the Collywobbles. It's, it's going around, that is, mate. It's going around. You, you can't move for cases of the Collywobs. We've all been there. We can't find anyone to take over his part. I would do it, but my expertise is desperately needed backstage. So now I've just got to stand up here and try to drive people away from our heavily promoted production. I just wish we could find someone who looks like Tarvus. Hmm. Wait a minute. Argonian, you know, you kind of look a little like Tarvis. I think this might work. What do you say, Argonian? Would you like to take on the part of Clavides, captain of the Imperial Guard, in our production? Well, guys, finally, my time has come. It's incredible that Tarvis looks like a female Argonian running around, but who knew? Okay, you know what? Guys, look. This is the thing that every actor hopes for. Every actor hopes that they will be walking down the street one day and some big casting director will come up to them and go, you are the next Marvel superhero and just throw them into a production. That happens. It's happened to me right now. We can do it. I would love to help you. Fantastic. Here, take a copy of the script. As you can see, people are starting to gather, so we need to get the show started. I'm sure you already know the cast of Horror Zer quite well, don't you? Of course you do. There's no need to make a lengthy rehearsal. Review the script for the next two minutes, then talk to me again. Make sure you come back within two minutes, as our play requires exact timing to pull off correctly. Right. We literally have two minutes to read the script. The Horror 
of Castle Zur. Okay, a one act play by Balath Cool. I see. Dramatis Personae. Actors. Uh, Clavid, Captain of the Imperial Guards, Cyrodiilic. I'm not Cyrodiilic, mate. I'm an Harkonian, but okay. Late evening, the play opens in the interior of the great entrance hall of a castle in Scath Aund. I'm going to just quickly save the game to make sure that we don't uh, randomly miss it, because you can miss the timing of this. Replete with fine furnishings and tapestries, torches provide the only illumination. In the centre of the foyer is a great iron door, the main entrance to the castle. The staircase up to the landing above is the next deck this door. On stage left is the door to the library, which is currently closed. On stage right is a huge suit of armour, 20 feet tall, nearly touching the ceiling of the room. Though no one can be seen, there is the sound of a woman singing coming from the library door. A loud thumping knock on the iron front door stops the woman singing. The door to the library opens and Anara, Anna Ara, a common looking maid comes out and hurries, hurries to open the front door. Clavides, a handsome man in imperial garb, stands there. This is that Friends episode. A handsome man enters. Anara, good evening to you, Seregio. Clavides, good evening. Is your master at home? No, Seregio, it's only me here. My master, Sidora Kenna, Telvani Hradov Zia, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Possibly. Would you mind if I came in? Not at all, Seregio. Please, may I offer you some flynn? Clavides comes into the hall and looks around. No, thank you. What's your name? Anara, Sergio. Anara? When did your master... We, we're out of time. We've had two minutes. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Good job. You're right on time. Let's get this show on the road. It's fine. We can wing it. We can improv it. I'm in the headspace. I'm in the mindset. I know what this dude wants. I know, I know where he's come from. I know where he's going. Here we go. Let's do this. When do I go on? Get out there now. Okay. I'm here. Good evening to you, Sir Joe. Good evening. Hello. I've come to borrow some sugar. Now, <laughs> I remember this quest, but I don't remember how to do it. You can get all of the lines wrong if you want to. Hello. Good evening. Is your master home? No, Sir Joe. It's only me here. My master, Sadura Kenna Talvani Hordolf Seer, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Um, uh, possibly. Would you mind if I came in? See, I'm, I'm working, I'm acting properly. Not at all, Sir Joe. Please, may I offer you some flint? Um, no, thank you. Uh, well, what's your name? Anara, Sir Joe. Fuck. Um, I, I don't, ooh, I don't like that name very much. More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sir Joe. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Ooh, do you know an Ashlander named Asher Dan? No, Sir Joe, I know no one by that name. Uh, oh, he's dead. He said Castle and Zia. Vec, that's strange. I suppose it's possible that my master knew this man, but being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Telvani, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sir Joe, I don't think they would be friends. Oh, well... Did... could I look in the library? Please, Sir Joe, go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal Imperial subjects. I... No, you're not. You're Telvani. Oh, oh God! What the hell? Ah! Actually, I'm... I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm straight. I'm gonna die. That dude was like, I hate this show. I'm dead. The most recent save game is quick save. <sighs> You'll be fine. Relax. I'm gonna get stabbed. Right. Justice never sleeps. Okay, cool. Let's do this. You're on time. Go out there. 
We've got this, guys. All right. Worry not. I'm here. I will, however... I'm going to summon my spear before any of this happens. Now I'm going to talk to you. W w what's going on? I'm Good I'm acting. You, Sir Joe. Hello. This is a very realistic theater experience, by the way. Uh, if you get the lines wrong, the audience attack you. Good evening. Is your master home? No, Sir Joe. It's only me here. My master, Sadura Kena Talvani Hordalf Seer, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, possibly. Would you mind if I come in? Not at all, Sir Joe. Please, may I offer you some flint? Uh, no, thank you. What's your name? Anara, Sir Joe. Anara. When did your master leave for Scathander? More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sir Joe. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Do you know an Ashlander called Sol Karifa? No, Sir Joe. I know no one by that name. He's dead. He knew your master. Vec? That's strange. I Made suppose a mistake. it's possible that my master knew this man. But being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Telvani, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sir Joe, I don't think they would be friends. Did your master have any interest in the... No, can I look in the library? Please, Sir Joe, go wherever Welcome, you everyone want. who's joined, by the way. Nothing to hide. We are loyal Imperial subjects. So if you, you're new to the uh, stream, welcome. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. You're asking about mods. I am only using a graphical extender mod. I have not changed how the mechanics work. I have not changed how the where the items are placed, how the level up system works. It's literally just a, a graphical extender to allow me to play the game in widescreen and to allow me to uh, extend the view distance quite substantially. That's pretty much it. I don't see how you claim that being Telvani. Dude, help! You're a guard! Just, the ordinator's like, that play, this is a very realistic play. This play, my god. It's almost like they're using real weapons. Okay, sit down. What do you have on you? A, a Deodric Wacky Zashi. 48,000 value. Yes, please. Attack me more. God damn. Quick save. Okay, right. What the hell was that? Oh my, what's going on? Why did he attack you? Maybe you should talk to Meron. I will. Exit. Dun 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 dun. Not bad for an amateur. Always. Always be professional on stage. Yo, what the hell? Oh my, yes, I saw what happened, Lusty. I hope you can forgive us, but we knew that an assassin would attack sooner or later. Yeah, you see, our lead actor, Tarvis, recently had a somewhat indecent tryst with the daughter of a Talvani diplomat. Uh, the diplomat caught him in the act and vowed revenge. Since Tarvis changes residences frequently, we knew an attack would come during his performance, when the diplomat could be sure of Tarvis's location. Uh, hopefully, since you were able to dispatch the would-be assassin, uh, the diplomat won't try again. Uh, I know that the services of the Morag Tong are expensive. I apologize for using you in this manner, Lusty, but I hope you understand it was necessary. Uh, I do intend to pay you in full. Let's see. During the play, you only made two mistakes, which is impressive, Lusty, but your acting skills could definitely use some improvement. Fuck you. Here, take this gold and this amulet that will improve your acting abilities whenever you need it. Thank you again, and I... Hope you can forgive us. The journal has been updated. You have gained gold in an amulet of verbosity. <laughs> what is the amulet? I'm personally offended. Like, I'm very old Todd. Todd Howard, my goodness. Apply. If this was Pokemon, I'd need Burn Heal by now. Amulet of plus one to acting. <laughs> what does it do? Hang on, let's just see what it does. Amulet of verbosity. Cast when used. Fortify speech craft. That's actually really good. Can't, yeah, that's that's decent. It's got 190 charges. It costs one to use. That is excellent. 
That's a really good amulet. Oh, sweet. Amulet of first monitor content. It's not quite that good, but that's just like... What I love is that is just a random little quest in the middle of, uh, of Tribunal. That is not, it's not even important. It doesn't matter. That doesn't tie into the main fly in any way. You can just do that. Hey, what you got for sale? You got some, some resin? You got a barter? How much money you got on you? Sell a gold. 800. Sorry. I... I need someone with slightly more gold than that. I seem to remember there being a shop over here with way more gold. I'll thank you to be brief, sir. I think it was... Greetings. Are you in the market for trained scribs and rats? Uh, no, I, 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 I want none of that. I would pay you to not give me that. The clothier. The pawnbroker. The trader. So I have a very distinct childhood memory. I think the sewers are over here. I remember... I remember using the sewers, sleeping to be attacked by the Dark Brotherhood, and then taking all of their armor and running over here to sell the armor in one of these shops but I don't remember exactly which shop. Probably the armory. That would make sense. Let's see if it's all coming back to me now. Hey, how's it going? I'm listening. Uh, barter. Seller gold, 10,000. There we go. So, seller with 10,000 gold. Now, the reason that people use the mud crab instead of this seller is because the mud crab always gives you the fairest price for an item, whereas she doesn't. I did, however, discover something interesting about the bartering system when I was reading up on the wiki. Let's say that you put an item up for sale and they offer you 10 gold and you're able to negotiate it up to 12 gold. That is a 20% increase. And the experience that you gain in Mercantile is actually proportional to the percentage increase you gain, not the net gain of the sale. So if, you know, if they offer you, you know, 10,000 and you negotiate it up to 10,020, not as much as just doing everything else. Right, let's go for... Let's sell. And if I have the Daedric Dagger, they would offer me 4,303. That is not a lot. So what if instead I say, hey, hang on, no. I've got an amulet. I can use the amulet. Let's use the Amulet of Verbosity, Speechcraft. You guys ready? Here we go. Now talk to her, and now sell it. First time catching a stream, your dulcet tones mumbling. Sweet nerd things is soothing. Thank you. I do try to do sweet nerd things as much as I can. Get your stamina back. Oh, man. If I had a pound every time someone said that to me, I'd be able to afford more energy drinks. Daedric Dagger. 4,312. 4, See, they're already, already offering more. The ring just passing looks... Yeah, looks maxing. That's what we're doing right now. Speechcraft is for persuasion rolls. Mercantile is for everything else. I will try and put the money up. Offer. Boom. Boom. What if we persuade and admire? Oh, I'd take that as a compliment. What if we admire you again? Oh, that's nice to hear. Their persuasion is currently at 69 out of 100. What if we quick save the game? What's good for the Empire is good for business, citizen. Admire you again. Oh, you honor me, Lost Teeth. Thank you. I'm going to keep admiring you. My goodness, a rare thing indeed. Adm oh, I think you're being clever, Lost Teeth, but I know what you're up to. You know what, 78's fine. Let's go to bartering. Because once you get their persuasion a bit higher, they give you better prices in the shop. Right. Dark Brotherhood pauldrons. Don't need these. Seller gold, 5,000. I don't really need to actually negotiate up a lot. I'm just selling the, the kind of junk to you that I don't need. Like, I'm never going to cast a poison spell. Or I don't buy that item. Okay, fine. Um, what if you offer me... 1,700. We'll go up a little bit. Offer. Sweet! Right, we made some money, and we got rid of some items in our inventory, and I think we're doing good. 
Right, we're doing very good. Hey, Mr. Guard. Dark Brotherhood. I'm not... Oh, hey, why don't you tell me about the Dark Brotherhood? You don't want to talk about it. What about rumours? You heard anyone talking about the plague or anything? I thought I overheard a pair of priests talking quietly about something like the Red Plague, but they, they shut up when I tried to get closer to them. No idea what you're on about. I'm sure it will not come back in any important way. Hey, uh, you, have you seen the Dark Brotherhood anywhere? Latest rumours? Have you heard? A terribly powerful and evil wizard, something rather velas, I think they said, has taken up residence nearby. At the bar the other night, they were talking of the strange lights and sinister laughter late at night. I'd be on my toes if I were you. I'd bet this wizard will try to make a display of his power soon. This is all sounding very kind of intense. Yo, Live in peace here, strange. Melrin, you, you know anything about the... No, you don't. I can't ask you about anything. Okay, let's go and explore the sewers. We've been told that the Dark Brotherhood might be in the sewers. So we can pop over to the sewers and have a quick check. Why is it that in fantasy, sewers are always absolutely bloody massive? Like, is this is this how big sewers are? I've never been into a sewer in real life. I don't know how big they are. There's a dude up there, though. Dude just kind of hanging out. What's this way? Oh, hang on. Oh, we could go, we could go sewer diving in the piss water. I'm sure this is totally safe. Just have a quick uh, quick swim under here. Oh, let me just use uh, water breathing for a second. 120 points on self. Now we can water breathe. What is this? Potion of slow falling and a corpse. Potion, <laughs> potion of water breathing on a corpse. That right there, that's emergent storytelling. Perfect. It's a beautiful bit of emergent storytelling. I also can't see anything else down here that's important. No kind of items or or whatnot. Just that. I mean, to be fair, I can't see anything down here, so... Let me just cast Night Eye if I can. Beautiful. Anything secret and or important. I think it's just that. You just find a corpse that's got... Uh, Obviously a bit of a funny... It's weird, though, that there's a structure down there. Like, that would imply there is something built down there. But I don't like that as, a, as an insinuation. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Hello there, Arnia. Have you seen the Dark Brotherhood down here? Anya does not know you. Anya has nothing to say to you. Alright. Well, you know what? Have a good day. Enjoy your evening. I'm going to go and search for the Dark Brotherhood. Heal myself. Oh, yeah, good point. Should probably use my uh, incredible shield to... There we go. Max back out to health. Right. Let's just go and have a quick jaunt around the sewers, shall we? See what's going on. What's over here? Uh, Old Mournhold Palace Sewers. Oh, the Palace Sewers. Now, they're probably safe. There's probably nothing bad in the palace. We'll go and check there later, but that's a ghost. Can you even hurt ghosts with Daedric weapons? You... Yes! Sit down, son. You can hurt ghosts with Daedric weapons. The Ghost of the Sewer. The Piss Phantom. That's... Imagine dying and having to haunt a sewer. You'd feel bad about it. Silver and Daedric can hurt them. By the gods, hello Josh. Welcome to Mournhold. City of light. City of magic. God. I used to be an actor. I was the lead actor, you know, in the Castle of Zur. Performed in the center of Mournhold to an audience of three, and one of them tried to kill me because they thought I was the guy that banged a Telvanni daughter. Tell me, does this look like the face of lust to you? Oh, hello, skeleton. Okay, you guys are way more powerful than I'm used to, so. And you're blocking, you little cheeky. You cheeky so and so. What do you got? 
silver war axe with a decent value onto it. And, oh, another skeleton. Sit down, Mr. Skelly Bob. Verily, the fact that Josh has never won an Oscar is an insult. It is. It really is. Oh, hello. Are you a Bone Lord? God damn. Who are you? What were you? You were a Bone Lord. Bone Meal and a Common Soul Gem. I'll take a Common Soul Gem. Oh, that's some kind of temple thing going on. Can you get up there? I... I feel that I want to levitate up there. Hang on. There might be nothing, but I just... I have a feeling that there should be something if we levitate up here. Oh, God, I was right. Okay. We got a potion of water breathing. Adamantium boots. Value 7,000. Adamantium mace. Blunt weapon. Okay, so that's medium armor, and I think I'm good with medium armor. So, that's decent. Adamantium is good. Armor rating 60. Medium. Can I wear these? Ah, beast racers cannot wear boots. Adamantium mace, though. Blunt weapon. Value 1,000. How's it look? Ah, it looks pretty cool. Bit of a swingy with the mace. But we did go and get the Daedric Spear for a reason. So we'll stick with the Spear for the time being. That's pretty badass. But isn't it cool that we saw what looks like a ledge, discovered it, went up, found some cool stuff. Now we're still looking for the Dark Brotherhood. They're meant to be down in the sewers somewhere, so we just keep looking around till we find them. Because I am fed up of being attacked repeatedly. If I was a Dark Brotherhood agent, where would I be? I, memories of this are coming back to me, but it's been so long. So long. Is that... That's a door. It's a door under the water. The old Mournhold Palace Sewers. I still don't think we need to go to the Palace Sewers yet. I will if we explore all of these sewers and there's nothing there. Let's see what else we've got. Now, memories of this are... I'm unlocking childhood memories of playing on a laptop that could not run this game at all. But my god, I tried, you know? I really tried to run it. I like how you can use a little door there as a, as a ramp. It's a nice bit of a thematic design. Oh! What is Old Mournhold Manor District? Well, maybe we should pop over and see the Old Mournhold Manor... So is Old Mournhold, like, fully underground? So the city is clearly built on top of... Let me get the amulet of Night Eye. Sure, there was a Night Eye amulet. That was the one. It's clearly built on top of another older city. Your journal has been updated. I have found the Dark Brotherhood's hideout in the ruins of Old Mournhold. All right. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, you. Pop on over. Let me stab you. You are way stronger than the previous dude. Scarily stronger than the last dude. I mean, you died. Dark Brotherhood Operator. Oh, he's an operator. A Viper Blade. Value 4,100. I'll take it. In fact, hang on. This, this is all actually quite... If I take all these items, my, my weight doesn't go up that much because these are quite light and these are valuable. So I think we take this. Now, I understand that Tribunal was designed to be done after the main quest. However... We're not doing that, because nobody remembers that, uh, actually, these games have main quests. I will, however, use my ward to keep myself alive. Right, we are slowly sneaking into the Dark Brotherhood's headquarters. 
I want to go up there. But until I can go up there, I've got to sneak around this way. What is that? That is... That is weirdly smooth. Like a drill or something. On a fresh game, it's annoying to not start it because of the constant attacks by the Dark Brotherhood. That is true, isn't it? It's up there. Is there stuff over there? I can't quite see whether there is or isn't, but I'm always, always wary of stuff being above. Like, I want to, I want to levitate over there. Did I get a, I didn't get an item with levitate on it. I should make an item with levitate on it. That's what I should do. I'm actually very annoyed that I haven't got an item with levitate, but we will come back to that. We will definitely come back to that and find out what is or is not up there. Because it feels like there should be something up there. Oh, oh, okay. Problem, 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 problem. Right. Okay, let's, let's just do our best. Oh, you're way weaker. Oh my god, it's loads of you. I have you. Okay, we are resisting magic, which is good, because the magic is uh, poison. And we took out four of them? You, however, are an operator. Now, the reason I'm not spam-clicking light attacks is because it's actually much better to do a few focused heavy attacks than it is anything else. Use the shield to refill my health. Your wounds are great. You want to hold the stab just for a bit, just for a little bit. Tib, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I'm going to take everything from these guys and then just sell loads of it. So, yeah, they're only carrying 19 worth of stuff. So... If I were to drop, say, I can probably mark and re- You're over encumbered, damn it. Gotta drop seven worth of stuff. Right, what do I have that's worth seven? I could probably just use the armor's hammers. Get ready for the dings! Hope you're all enjoying the dings. I'm gonna fix these things before anything else. Okay, armor's hammer's been used up. Did that drop... It did drop some weight. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is... I can't rest... Oh, God, I can't rest. That's a real annoying problem. Okay, so maybe I can run back. I need to mark and recall to here. This is my new favorite thing. You cannot rest here. Because I am in the Dark Brotherhood's kind of base. Interesting fact. Morrowind actually managed to do a... You can't rest here trick on a couple of the maps by having an inaccessible map connected to it that was filled with enemies. Specific... Oh, good, I couldn't hear. So, like, there'd be another, like, a skeleton just there behind the wall that you can't get to, which prevented you from resting, which I thought was quite a clever way to do. So I'm going to mark here. Okay. We mark here. Right. And now we need to recall somewhere else. What's the fastest way to get back... To where we were at. If I cast on civvy intervention, or do we just run all the way back? Do I just use my my kind of where's my belt? Belt that fortifies speed. There we go. Alright, fortify some speed. Do we run back? Or do I cast on civvy intervention? I think intervention's probably faster, isn't it? Let's do on civvy and see what happens. That takes me to Oh, it takes me to the center here. And where? is the oh god this is the temple this is actually the map that i don't want to be on because of gaynor i clicked again by mistake i don't want to be on this map because there's a chance that gaynor will find me i don't know how long it takes him to get the items but we do not want to approach him Okay, so this is the Royal Palace Courtyard. I think from here we go south again. And then we go to the shop. This is I'm this is not an efficient way of gaining money. At all. But we are gonna do it. 
So God's Reach was over there, and the Great Bazaar was that way. Cool. He is my biggest fan. Do you owe him to give him money once? Yes. Once you've given him the money once, then it kind of, uh, you've set the events into motion, if you will. You, you've set it, you've sorted it. It won't go from there. It might have been quicker just to run all the way back through the sewers. I will not be um, doing this every time. I will not be running the money back from killing the Dark Brotherhood to selling it to the armorer every time, because you just don't need to. What I can do, though, is do it for this time because I'm down to 32k coins. I showed up late to the stream. What's going on? Welcome. So what's going on is... Greetings, fair citizen of Mournhold. I am the great, renowned, respected, and feared wizard, Ovis Velas. In the coming weeks, you shall see more and more of me as I bring this city to its knees. But for the moment, allow me to demonstrate my power on one of your hapless countrymen. You there. Yes, you, ugly Argonian. Prepare yourself to feel my wrath. What? Attack the guard. Hit the guard with this stupid spell. Hit the guard. Hit the guard. Okay, I've quick saved, so we're now pretty much locked into this. Or oh, you can make them lead their shots. Yo. Yo. Yo! Sit down. Sit, sit down. What? Today, Ovis Velas magically appeared before me, announced he was going to put a, on a display of his power, then attacked me. Oddly enough, he went down far too easily and scarcely harmed me. I wonder what this could mean. You know, give me your stuff. Common robe, a worn key. I'm taking this. This is my key now. You did nothing! Old, city of light. City of magic. You did literally nothing to stop that. You're useless. My faith in the Ordinators is waning. And I never thought I'd say that. My faith in the Ordinators is waning. Okay, you got 4,000 gold, so I'm just going to put 4,000 gold worth of stuff up for you to buy. Left pauldron, right pauldron. Oh, it's because you're different armor ratings. Gotcha. Okay, give me some more stuff. Appreciate that. He was ordinating a smoke break. He was he was doing nothing. I'm going to stand here and stare at you for 24 hours while your stock recharges. Sweet. Just stared at you completely. Now, buy all this junk off me. That's great. 3,000. Uh, what else do you want? Silver dagger. Do you want some adamantium boots? Yeah, you can have those. What about these glass daggers? I don't need them. You can have them. Oh, sweet. You actually give me a lot of money for that. Go up for you. Never gave this game a chance because these streams are giving it a go. Look, it's it's not the easiest game. Good for the Empire is good for business, citizen. It's very much not the easiest game to get into. You kind of need a primer to start it. But it's kind of like Dark Souls in that aspect. You know, once you understand what you're doing, very good. Silver Dagger, Silver Flame Axe, Wild Viper Blade. The Boots of the Apostle, they're worth 55,000 gold, but I can't use them, which is really annoying. Like, I've got to sell them. Total Sold, Seller Max. I can't, you can't equip them. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Isn't that an artifact that I will be able to give to the Mournhold Museum? Is this Vanilla Morrowind? This is Vanilla Morrowind with the expansion pack of Blood Moon. No, sorry, Tribunal. We're playing Tribunal right now. Do I need the Adamantium Mace? It's worth a thousand. I'm never going to use it. Have that. What about the Cruel Viper Bolt Ring? You don't buy that. I don't want to sell the Wakizashi or the Longsword. They're both cool things. How about you offer me 2,800? There we go. Beautiful stuff. And I've got all of my carry capacity back. And I can cast Recall. See you later, nerd. It actually worked. I'm really glad that worked. You can use Levitate without wearing them. You can't. I tried to cast Levitate. It will not let you levitate. It will not let you use the item unless you could equip it. I tried it. I did not sell the boots. See, the boots are there. Boots of the Apostle. But look, magic items... Boots of the Apostle are not in the magic item list. 
because I can't use them. I can't wear them. Super annoying. Oh. It's very irritating. I would love to be able to use them, but you can't levitate in Mourn Hold anyway. Well, you should be able to levitate up there, which is what I'm going to try and do now, actually. Hang on, because I think there's something up there. Yeah, levitation magic. Up we go. Later, nerds. What is up here? That is just water. There is nothing up here. What's here? Ah, give me your secrets. I'm going to be honest, that is a disappointing amount of secrets. That is... No secrets at all. Okay, cool. Josh, will you ever appear in movies? I would love to see a live-action lusty Argonian maid. You have no idea my range. I would... Oh, I would be very, very good in that role. Just saying straight up. And that's not even me being arrogant. I think I could do it. I think I could do it. Okay, so we've got two... Dark Brotherhood Assassin. Three? No, just two. Two over there. You're an apprentice. You probably should have uh, trained a bit longer before attacking people. The Viper Blade is worth 35, but the Shoulder Pauldrons are worth 500. So I'm tempted to just take the Shoulder Pauldrons because they're worth way more money and they don't weigh anywhere near as much. The weight six, value a thousand. Weight 1, value 500. So, pound for pound, the shoulder pauldrons and the main body is the best thing to take. Without a doubt. What is that? That, that looks like an anime cat face. I'm sorry, I know this is like a really serious, dark, evil place, but that straight up looks like an uwu face. It does. I cannot take the dark bro uwu the hud seriously anymore. I know that doesn't work, but I'm going to stick with it. The dark brew with other... other. It's hard to say, but I'm going with that. Open the door to Old Mournhold, Moral Manor. Yeah, what's in here? What's in the cat? A rat. A rat that is now... Two rats. Oh, assassins! He's running into my blades, guys. This is not the way you do it. I'm going to take your bodies. That's all I need. This is my calling card now. Just steal the bodies. I thought there were more of you. Okay. The Iron Viper Blade is not worth anywhere near as much. What's back here? Amulet, amulet, amulet. Amulet, crates, amulet. Anything hidden back here? Any special items on the floor? In this basket? No, nothing there, nothing good. Why do you guys want me dead? Why are you sending people after me? What's going on? What's happening? Old metal door. God, imagine being the guard, the door just opens and you get stabbed to death. I'd feel upset. You know, I'd, I'd feel slighted. If that, I'm too lusty. I was too lusty for the Brotherhood. They couldn't handle the lust. Can we have a, you cannot rest here, enemies are nearby. Let's have a quick nap in the old hammock. Was he just guarding his own bedroom? Was that what he was doing? Standing there, making sure nobody comes in. No girls allowed. Special little sign on his door. That's what he had. What's in here? You in great. Die. <laughs> okay, you two were both hanging out in this bedroom, and you know what? No hate. No hate. We don't. You were both dressed fully in black and leather, hanging out in an underground room. We do not kink shame. You guys do whatever you want to do in this room. You have a good time. Ah, this wasn't a bedroom. Oh, it was! Two bedrolls! Two. You guys, you don't need to lie to us, okay? You don't need to lie. If you only need one, that's fine. 
He was just hanging out in his room and you walked in and stabbed him with a spear. I can see why you think it looks like that. I know why you think that's what I did, but that's not actually entirely what I did. Also, this building is massive for the fact that it's... On the outside, it looks like quite a small building. Like, it looks like a little cat building, but actually it's very deep. There's a a way that goes up there to another old Mournhold building, and there's a cave this way. I'm going to go and explore the cave. See what's going on over here. See what we've got. Maybe it's... Maybe it's nothing? Maybe it's... Something. Okay, cool. So we've got nothing over here. We've got a... Just a cave-in, to be fair. Fully blocked. Can't go that way at all. Totally blocked. Maybe it was Maybelline. No, I was in fact born with it. Let's see what's over here. I've not... I can cast Levitate once. But... Oh, another building. Oh, Moral Manor North. Oh, you're approaching me. Can't stab you from over there. Let's just steal their bodies again to sell them, because they are worth a decent amount for what they actually are. Stab the old little rat. It's You'd think they'd give up trying to kill me at this point. I've I've stabbed a lot of them. Like... A lot of them are definitely dead now. The reason, by the way, that these bodies are the same item but taking up different inventory slots is because they're all at slightly different conditions. Uh, the conditions is like the, the durability, if you will. Oh, hello you. Let's just take you. Nothing on the rat. Anything down here? We've got a couple of uh, buildings we can go into. Metal door. Hey. Oh, you're different. You don't have a helmet on. And you're using a bow. And you're really powerful. I have made a bad choice. Let's... Can I even get my... Eidolon's ward out? You resisted magic. Oh, god damn it. Okay. That guy is super tough. Right. Where are we? Oh, yeah. It was over here, wasn't it? So in here is an incredibly tough dude. I think you resisted your heal. I might have res I think I resisted his arrow, whatever that was. But what I am going to do is go with Bound Spear. The reason that I'm bounding a spear, even though I'm using a Daedric Spear, is because a Bound Spear also gives you an extra 10 points of Fortify in that skill. So you'll see that Spear is now 71. This means it's way more likely to hit. So what we can do is bind it, and I'll be much more likely to land hits. And it's much more likely that a landed hit will stagger him. I will, however, have to keep using my shield. To heal. God damn! Okay, this dude is tough. Right. Right, how do we get past this guy? How do we do it? What about the lover's kiss? Paralyze the target. New plan. It's gonna kiss you. Target resisted magic, god damn it. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't get me hang on, if I just stand if I just stand here, I can block the door. Oh no, he he figured out movement. Alright, what if? What if? 
You're not involved in this rap. Quick save. We've quick saved at this state. Oh, God damn it. What? What if I were to use this corner to just gently cheese you? Oh, no, I'm about to die. We can do this. I'm going to have to focus on this for a second. Okay, I can't do that there. Or there. Or there. Or there. Okay. We're going to Dark Souls this. <laughs> that was a very accurate Dark Soulsing. How do we win? Come on. How do we... W okay, I'm out of fatigue. Yeah, uh, my fatigue is low. What if I would... Hang on a tick. I've got... I've got the... The special go invisible thing. Where's that? Where's my little... Okay, shield. We've now shielded. Where was my special... Chameleon? The Amulet of Shadows. We are now invisible. We have shielded. We have shadowed. I resisted his magic. Lock him in. Stand by the door. Can I hit him through the door? No. Quick save the game. Let's use my Eidolon's Ward to heal back up. And let's continue. Okay, he paralyzes you. Can you... You can not. Oh, you can. You can stab him through the door. Oh my god, his speed! That's... Jeez, what? Oh, he's fortified speed on himself. I need to run away from this. I cannot win this fight. I'm using my own shield to... Quick, go in there. Oh, safe. Okay. Ooh, oh, no, not safe at all. Not safe whatsoever. So many more enemies. Right, we need to kill that dude. That is a genuinely tough fight. And I don't know if we are ready. What is attacking me? Oh, enemies are. That makes sense. Oh, God, you're so tough. Hang on. We can do this. I need to use the shield. Isn't it a great thing we picked up that shield? Can you imagine trying to do the game without that overpowered shield? I don't think we can do it. Sit down. Oh, okay. Cool. Right. Let's, uh, let's take some stuff. As usual, the glass blades are worth money, so we take those. And the bodies are worth money, so we take those as well. Glass blades, very valuable. Money, very valuable. Quick save. And now we see if the other dude has respawned. He may have respawned, he may not. He may still be there. He might be on low health still. I want to... Can I have a nap? I can't have a tactical nap. Okay, so his health doesn't come back. But mine... Mine does, so I can just hang out here, refill, switch the spear. What spells have I got that will help? Uh, what spells have I got? Drain luck on target. Could work. Levitate, bound spear, bound longbow, mark, recall... I think Bound Spear is the only thing that I can really do that would be useful here. Do we have a Restore Fatigue Potion? Let's find out. So, we'll do that. What potions have I got on me, if anything? Amulet. 
potions. Restore agility, slow falling, water breathing. That's it. That's all I've got. Nothing else is going to be uh, useful. I suppose I could do shield on south. Restore fatigue. Scroll of the Argent Glow. Restore health, restore magicka. If I cast this, this is kind of all or nothing, so we'll find out. I'm going to cast that. Go back to this. Quick save. Go in. And we'll see. Because I'm now refilling my health consistently and my fatigue. So my accuracy is way better. But I have had to use an ex... No. Tell my liege I... I have failed. Dandrus Vools. We take him down with our most powerful scrolls. Adamantium Jink Blade of Wounds. Paralyze for 10 seconds. Poison 10 points for 10 seconds. That is bloody powerful. I want it. Dire Viper Arrow. Poison. A Dark Brotherhood Contract and a Dark Brotherhood Cuirass. Let's go with the Contract. What does that say? The bearer of this document, under special dispensation of the Night Mother, who has entered in a contract in perpetuity with H, is given special dispensation to execute Lus T, an Argonian recently residing on the island of Vardenfell. In accordance with all laws and traditions, the aforementioned personage will be executed in the name of H in the most expedient manner possible. All services of the Dark Brotherhood are at disposal of the bearer of this binding and non-disputable document. Who is H? H from Steps? He has fallen. Why would he want me dead? What have I done to annoy H from Steps? I love the idea that he just left the band and started to become a Dark Brotherhood agent. That's what he's done. Now, you were in here. What else is in here? I don't need that. What is that? Empty vial? I don't need that. Is there anything valuable in here? Anything important that I should know about? You keeping any little secrets, little tricks? I'm going to sleep in your bed, and you can't stop me. Yeah, had a little nap. What do you think about that? Right, I found a Dark Brotherhood contract. I should report my findings to a guard immediately. Yeah, because they've been so bloody useful up to this point, haven't they? They've just been top-notch. Incredibly fast. I just feel so safe when they're around. Right, what's in here? Oh, enemies. Imagine how foolish you'd feel, just screaming at someone and they stab you to death immediately. Hello, you. I have you. You have not had me yet. Trust me, you would not be able to handle that. Oh, we can probably levitate up there, see what's going on. What is over here? This is... Oh. Oh, god damn, this is way bigger. Okay. This is... This is quite intense. Can't rest. Enemies are nearby. Could I instead levitate up there? Let's find out. Levitate. Up we go. Oh yeah. What's up here? Who knows? It's over here. Hey! Imagine you're just walking along and someone levitates up to you. Your blade was magical. Iron Viper Blade. I don't need any of that. I know that I don't need to be in the Dark Brotherhood base right now, but I kind of want to kill them just for vindication. Rats! How can you hit me? I have good armor. Give me your tiny blade, because that is worth a lot of money. Okay, so the rats have been taken care of. We've got a contract from the Dark Brotherhood for us. And we seem to be in some kind of 
underground city. Can't see if there is anything else valuable or important back here, but I'm having a look. Not that I can see, but what is over here? We levitated up to this bit, so I don't think we should be here yet, but it's always nice. Oh, I can rest until heal. Sweet. It's always good when you can rest because it tells me there are no enemies super close by. Oh, it's, uh, this is very temple-y. Very, very religious. Anything up that I can go to? No. Anything down that I can go to? I've probably, like, sequence broke. I remember being here. We've been here before. I'm sure we've been here before, but we must not have been because that is an adamantium helmet. And now I'm over-encumbered and I'm going to drown unless I drop something. So how much is the adamantium helmet worth? 5,000. I am one kilogram over my weight. I'm going to leave the 36 lessons of Vivek at the bottom of this lake. So we found an adamantium helm. I'm betting that there's an adamantium full armor set all down here, if you know where to look. Because we've already got the boots and the... Yeah, we got the boots and we got the mace, didn't we? But I can't wear the boots because I'm an Argonian and I'm not going to use the mace because it's not my weapon. But can I wear the helm? I can! Okay. So the helmet has an armor rating of 105 and the glass helm has an armor rating of 66. But you'll notice... Okay, yeah, that's actually quite good because my medium armor is 45 and my light armor is 40. So actually, that's a good upgrade. There is not a full adamantium set to find, but you can get most of one. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I'll I'll take the adamantium helm, stick that on, and it's it's not ugly. It works. We have an adamantium helmet, and I bet you that's a better thing to enchant anyway. Sweet. So we hadn't been down here before. This was in fact where we were meant to go. Now I will likely end up wearing the ordinator armor when I get the ordinator armor. But as far as a secret cool helmet goes, I'll take a secret cool helmet. And I'm guessing this is the only way you were meant to have got to that place as well, because we had to levitate to get to it. Ah, we're doing good. We're doing very good. Now, that was where I came from, so I've got to drop back down. And can we have a nap? We can! Sweet. Which means levitation is go. But before we levitate, let's just have a quick check of what's under the water, shall we? Now, regular viewers will know that I absolutely hate deep water, but I hate it because I'm terrified of giant underwater sea creatures. I don't think Morrowind has any giant underwater sea creatures. So I'm just going to swim around under here, see what we get. Like, if a giant eel just appears from around the side, I will scream. Just straight up. I'll hate it. You can never be 100% sure that there's not a giant underwater sea creature somewhere, can you? You can never, never fully know. And that's what scares me about it. And that's what I do not like. But what about around here? There's got to be, like, uh, some secret item somewhere. There it is. I knew there'd be something. What have we got? We've got a corpse. You've got a potion of water breathing because of the irony and a small chest with 403 coins. You got any items? Any games on your phone? No, nope, what's in this box? Oh, silverware. Silver, 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 silver. Lots of silverware stuff. I thought you'd have an item on you, like uh, a weapon or something. Thought there'd be another adamantium thing down here. But I guess not. Okay, cool. This is... Uh, that's pretty much everything from under here. I don't think that... Is that something? Hang on. What is that? That is, that is a bit of the texture. Ignore me. That was just a texture thing. 
if you if you levitate, there's some stuff. Oh, don't you worry. We are levitating. I'm going to check every single one of those ledges. Even though I can only carry one kilogram of stuff more, I will be checking every single bit. In fact, what I should probably do is mark here and then recall to here. That's probably a thing I should do in a second. Yeah, I'll mark here. We will arm um, intervention back to the shop. We'll sell things. We'll get a lot of gold. This is the fourth six-hour stream. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm probably going to do six-hour streams until Morrowind is done. Six hours on Saturday and six hours on Sunday. That, to me, works. But we have been streaming for three hours, and in a six-hour stream, I will need a bit of a break to grab a bite to eat, grab a drink, and stretch my legs. So we're going to mark here. Then I'm going to take a ten-minute break in real life, and then we're going to carry on. So mark... Failed. Mark. Failed. Sleep. Mark. Succeeded. We will then cast Arm Civi into... Where would Divine Intervention take me? Just out of curiosity. Oh, that would take me back to here. Okay. And I need to go to the Brindisi place, which is this way. Okay, cool. We're going to take a 10 minute break, grab a cup of tea, grab a bite to eat, make a really quick snack, and then we shall carry on. So, I'll put a 10 minute timer on screen, and I will see you lovely people in 10 minutes time. You went to get some water and now I'm gone. I'm not gone, I'm just staring at the chat, making you wait for me. It's a very, it's a powerful thing, I enjoy doing it. City of light, city of magic. for the Empire, good for all, eh, citizen?
Sorry, I just thought it would be really funny to do. Okay, back to Morrowind. Everyone stop, stop being silly. This is not a silly stream. Sora, thank you for sorting that out, mate. I see you, I see you doing your mod, your mod stuff right there. Appreciate it. Oh, man. You were so close. You were, you were close, were you? Oh, shit, we can do more than that. Hang on. Never leave someone hanging. Wait, no, we can do two. I'm going to combine a Hello Panda with a chip. Get ready for crunch. Okay. It's like a little tiny panda on a raft. Mmm. You got biscuit, you got crisp, you got chocolate. Mmm. God damn. Josh, you're going to get banned from Twitch. Hey. Hey. If Twitch can't handle the neutron style. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to eat on Twitch. It's fine. If they try and ban me, I'll just I'll just do it in a bikini in a hot tub. That's okay. That's probably fine. There we go. That's how you work it out. I'll just react to me doing it in a bikini in a hot tub. They're fine with that. They sell chocolate-covered crisps. That would be quite nice. Have you ever had those Pringles that are just chocolate? You know, the weird Pringle curve chain. But that, but in stacks. They're quite nice. But they're very Moorish. That's the problem. They're really Moorish. Like, you want so much more of them. That's a 9 out of 10 crunch. I can tell you've been practicing. That's not good enough. 9 out of 10 is nowhere near high enough. We can do way higher. Have I ever tried Warhammer Online? Many, many, many years ago. But nowhere near a recent enough that my opinion would be valid. Oh, they're the mint ones. Yeah, Paddy, you know. You know the chocolates I'm on about. They're good stuff. Right, I'm going to sell... Oh, no, not repair. I'm going to sell stuff to her. Right. I'm going to keep that Jink Blade of Wounds because that seems really good. Like, really powerful. I want to keep that. I'm going to use that. It's a short blade. I'm going to use it. Uh, the Daedric Wakiza Sheet, we keep that as well. The Glass Longsword, I'm probably never going to use. So we can get rid of you. The Viper Blades, also not useful. Seller Max offer. Okay, so she gives us... The Empire is good for business, citizen. She gives us 10,000 gold. We sit and wait and do nothing. Then we barter and sell two more Viper Blades. And... That's... Yeah, one more. Then we go up to, like, a bit more to increase Mercantile. And then we sit and wait for 24 hours again. This is how it's possible to get really rich really quickly. I watch your YouTube videos. Glad I can finally see you on Twitch. Well, welcome. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. You join us as we are playing Morrowind, a 22-year-old RPG. One of my favorite games, without a doubt. One of my absolute favorite games. Now, these things are worth a thousand each, but she isn't going to offer me a thousand each for them, which is very irritating. So, oh, 7,000. Let's see if she'll offer me a tad more than that. Let's go to, like... There we go. Then she's back to 2,000 gold, so we stick on the pauldrons. She only gives you a couple for these. Now, the glass helmet I am going to keep, purely for sentimental reasons. Let's see if we'll uh, offer that. Sweet! In, got our mercantile skill up a little bit just there. And I don't think there's anything else we need to sell to her. We, we're going to keep these blades. Ah, oh, boots of the apostle. 55,000 gold, but no one has more than 10,000. You may as well sell it. Even when you start, you can loot some high-level sword. Okay, yeah, that's true. So the cool thing about Morrowind is there are no levels, as in level requirements on items. That is a Daedric Spear. It is the best spear, well, second best spear in the game. What determines what you can and can't you know, be effective with are your skills with specific things. So if you give me the best axe in the game, I will be terrible with it because my axe skill is 12. But if you give me a pretty good spear, I'll be really good with it because my spear skill is 62. The thing with Morrowind is you can actually equip whatever the hell you want, you can use whatever the hell you want, but until you have trained with it and are skilled with it, you will be useless at it. The museum gives 27k for those boots. Oh, sweet. We'll go to the museum then because we are back up to 76,000 gold, which I think is decent. So, right, I've got my spear. I have got 
I think everything else. Ah, ordinator. I need to sleep to I need to sleep to you. You said sleep. I need to speak to you. You know, we can discuss the sleep thing later, but I need to speak to you. Yo, Dark Brotherhood, mate, I found this note on me. Oh, yeah, you... Hang on, I've got to sell stuff and then recall, haven't I? I've got to recall back to the whole place. We were in the middle of looting things. Right, what am I going to sell that I'm never going to need? What do I not... I'm, I'm not using the steel bolts. I don't need them. I can sell them. Um... I probably don't need all these books, but you've got to sell those to to a general trader. You can't sell them to this la lovely lady here. Yeah, well, I'll sell you that for the time being. However. Damn. Okay, cool. There we go. Where is the museum? Is the museum in Mournhold? Yeah, so the mods I'm running are widescreen and render distance. That's pretty much it. Widescreen and render distance, that's all we've got going on. Now I need to recall because I marked the place. We recall, we're back here. We have a quick tactical nap. We get our levitation on and we're about to do some looting. Right, let's get looting, boys. Levitate, up we go. Levitate 10 points for 30 seconds. Now, levitation in Morrowind, remember, the higher the point value, the faster you can move while levitating. That's pretty much all it is. It's just movement speed while levitating. So if you, you know, levitate for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, as long as the levitation number is higher, you can move quicker. I, uh, I now need to wait until... There we go. I'll have a nap again. I'll cast it again, and up we go again. I'm levitating 10 points for 30 seconds. I think I need to make a better levitation spell, or, more importantly, I need to put levitation onto an item. That's what I should do. I should stick levitation onto an item so I'm guaranteed to always be able to cast a spell. Right, we have levitated to the temple at the top here. What are we going to find? That's the question. Right, we're going to find a bit of a broken bed. We're going to fi find... I thought there was a pauldron just then. That's a, uh, that's a pipe. There's nothing out here. We're going to find... So that's interesting. So that's some kind of uh, metal pattern. And that is a door to nowhere. Have I missed something? Or have I not levitated high enough? Sleep. Levitation. Up we go. One more. To the top. And then we just drop down from here. You've got to kind of levitate above where you want to be and then look down. It's a tad awkward, but that's how it works. Okay, nothing I can see over here. There's no items or secrets there. Right. That takes us to here, and I don't think there's anything here. There is not. So maybe we levitated a tad too high. So what I'll do is I'll drop down. Oh, I'll hurt myself. I'll have a nap. Tactical nap. Is that an item? Oh, oh, hang on. Adamantium axe. There we go. I knew there'd be something. There's always something. Adamantium axe. We don't need it, but we've got it. What's its stats? Actually, the chop is 1 to 60, value 5,000. Whereas the Daedric Spear, value 20,000, but the thrust is 6 to 40. So actually, that... That is better. I, You can potentially hit higher with the axe than you can with the spear. Let's just cast... There we go. Levitate again. And now we'll float down a couple of points, see what we can see. There might be some secret hidden items around the place, so if you guys can spot anything that you think I'm missing, do shout up. Do say, hey, I think you missed this. That's an important thing. You should grab it. But 
I think the adamantium axe was the main reason we wanted to be here. I'm 90% sure that is the item from here. Yeah, there's there's nothing else here, which is... If it was a rune axe, that would have been great, but I don't think I've got 40 axe skills, so I can't use that yet. Axe skills only on 30. Yeah, runescape joke. Right. Okay, cool. We've We've got everything we need from here. I now need to actually go back to... May as well use Divine Intervention. And then go and tell a guard. Right, we're back here. I need to tell a guard that the Dark Brotherhood is making attempts on my life. Yo! Gotta talk to you, mate. Okay, straight up. Dark Brotherhood. You believe you killed their leader? I wouldn't count on that. You probably ought to speak to Tyus Tenius Delashian about it. All right, where's Tenius Delashian, mate? He's the captain of the guard. You'll find him in the throne room. Justice never sleeps. Okay, Tenius Delashian. Yo, man. Guess who I've killed. Guess. Go on. Do it. Give it a guess. Lord Gore, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Let's go chat to Tenius. Reception area? Do you have to go through the reception area? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the, the lovely lady that sends us back to Morrowind if we want to go back to Morrowind. Where is Tenius Delashian? He's in the throne room. Pop inside. Yo, Tenius. Tenius, my bro. Got some news for you, mate. King's health to you, Sarah. And to you as well, Sarah. I'm the captain of King Helseth's royal guard. Is this an official matter? Or is there something else you want to talk about? I may have killed the Dark Brotherhood leader. You wish to know who sent the assassins to kill you in your sleep? A reasonable desire. I won't deny my knowledge of it, but I believe it's more important you now speak about an official matter. Okay, you game, you really want me to click official matter, don't you? I'll click it. Lusty. Yes, I know your name. I'm Tenius Delician, captain of King Helseth's royal guard. I have influence with King Helseth, and King Helseth is known for rewarding his friends. I have an official matter you might be able to help with. Uh, mate, Helseth begins with the letter H. I know this because I understand how the alphabet and writing works. This note says that someone under the name of H wanted to kill me. So, uh, King Helseth, mate. He's trying to assassinate me. I won't pretend I don't know about this. Of course, I'll deny it publicly, but don't take it personally. You appeared to present a threat to King Helseth. Perhaps mistakes were made, but you can prove they were mistakes if you can prove your loyalty to King Helseth. Are you interested in helping me with my problem? Um... Mate, you, mate, you've just tried to have me killed. You've just, you know, okay, fine. You know what? How about this? How about, no, I'm not interested. I don't care. I see. Then we haven't much to talk about. Goodbye. Right. Official matter. King Helseth tried to have me killed. Tell me more, guys. We're going to destroy the organization from the inside. The phone call is coming from inside the house. We're going to slowly sneak into the organization. Find Helseth, give him a piece of my mind, or spear. There are rumours among the people about King Lathan's death. Rumours that Athan Lathan did not die a natural death. There's no truth to them, of course. Speak to the people about King Lathan's death. You are not known to them as my representative, and they may be more candid with you. Let me know if you find the source of these rumours. Did King Lathan die a natural death? That's a silly question. I don't like silly questions. You know what, fine. I'll be your little, little spy bitch. Little... I'll do it for you. Mr. Armoured Man. Mr. Stupid Nipple Armour Man. Look at you. You look at Knock-Off Action Man. Oh, you've got a ponytail as well. God, I hate you even more. Okay. Fine. But one day I will come back here, and I will crush you. He's just a silly little boy. That's all he is. 
Right, Tinius de Lethian, Helseth's captain of the guard, wants to know the source of the rumours about King Lathan's death. I'll have to speak to people and see what they know about King Lathan's death. I'll start here. Diradeni Ferrano. Uh, yo, King Lathan's dead? You know about it? He was an old man. He wasn't going to live forever. Well, no king lives forever, my son. What a beautiful integration of World of Warcraft lore we got there. Yo, King Lathan. What'd you know about him? He died. He was an old man. He wasn't going to... Oh, is that the company line? Oh, no. Have we all been given the company line that we must talk about? What do you think about him? He was an old man. He was... Right, look, I get it. He was an old man. He's not going to live forever. Who... He's not. He's just not. Good evening. Wanted to say love your YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hope you read this. I read everything, Flo. Every single message. I'm not even playing the game. Someone's playing it for me. I'm just sitting here drinking tea, pretending I know what's going on. I hate video games. Has anyone seen that video? I think it was um, it was either a Carl Jobs or a Summoning Salt video where there was like a speedrunner who was not even playing the game. He was just holding a controller, pressing buttons at the wrong time. That's what it was. All right, let's talk to this dude. Hey, uh, King Lathan's dead. You hear about that? King's dead. Long live the king. Good to see you again, friend. I was just doing a little writing. Are you the voice of the Emperor? Like, are you the... You're the voice of Caius Cassades. All right, so I'm going to go to the, uh, the plaza. See what's going on in the old plaza. Go and chat to some people. Maybe the naked Nord knows about it. Let's use my fortify run belt of iron will to chat to the naked Nord. That is Caius. It's just Caius. Hey. Hey, naked Nord. How's it going, my brother? What do you think about the king? I'm not paralyzed. I know you're not paralyzed, mate. Can I persuade you? No? You, okay, so you can't... You can't do anything to talk to him at all. He's just... He's not bothered about you. He's just standing there being naked. And, hey, that's his God-given right. Hi, Josh. Love the streams. Hope you read this. I read that in my mind. My brain did the noise. Is it accompanied with the same kind of cartoon-style jaw drop onto the floor, eyes popping out of the head? That's, that's what it should be accompanied with. If it isn't, I would be disappointed. You could lo I wish I could loiter in town naked. The thing is, you can once. Like, you can do most things once. It's trying to do them repeatedly. That's when it gets you know, more challenging. Hey, maybe we should talk to the theatre people that we helped out. Or the Ordinator. You like me, don't you? Yo, uh, what about the King Lathan? King's dead. Long live the king. What more do you want me to say? I want someone to tell me the truth. Yo. Not bad for an amateur. You tried to have me assassinated. Tell me about the king. King's dead. Long live the king. Is everyone afraid of the king or something? Like, are you guys all... What do you think about the, the king? I'm just asking around. Everyone's like, you have questions. yo. What an incredible performance. Thank you. I appreciate that. Nobody seems to care about the, the king. No one has... I want your armor oh, thank you. so it's much. Great, it is the what, some of the best armor in almost any fantasy game. I love it. Yo, pardon me. I'm not feeling very talkative right now. Totally understandable. Not a problem at all. I'll leave you alone to it. This was the last game from Bethesda that felt like a truly good game at its core. So that was a comment I'm reading from the chat, not my personal opinion. Although I am very, you know, heavily inclined to agree. I liked Fallout New Vegas. I thought New Vegas was good. Three was decent. I think this is one of the last games that you can mess up in, which I like. What's this Yo, regarding? Uh, King Lathan? Just Who on now. earth has any opinions on King Lathan? The Clothier. Yo, what are your opinions don't on the I King? Know, don't take too much time. He'd been ill. He was old. He had no sons or daughters. Helseth is Lathan's great nephew. Baron Zyre is Lathan's niece. Queen Baron Zyre renounced her claim to the throne, so according to imperial custom, the crown goes to Prince Helseth. Hang on, why would Queen Baron Zyre renounce her claim to the throne? 
It's so good to have the lady living among us again. All the Dunmer certainly seem to love her, and I can see why. A sharp woman she is. But what about Helseth? He's the king of Morrowind. Became our king not long after his mother, Baron Zaya, arrived in Mournhold. So... So Baron Zaya renounced her claim to the throne. Why? Let's try and work out why. Yo, Baron Zaya, a fine woman. We're lucky to have her back in Mournhold. I know that a lot has been written about her, but don't believe everything you read. The woman's beauty is only equaled by her grace and wisdom. Shame she didn't pass that on to her son. Uh, okay, so... What do you think about Helseth? Helseth is our king. Long yes. live the king. I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe Helseth's rise to power... You have a question. Especially over his... They say he died of old age. Maybe so. Dunmer live a long time, but they also know how to keep their mouths shut. Hey, what about Helseth? What about Baron Zaya? It's good she's back among our people. I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe Baron Zaya isn't keeping her mouth shut out of want or desire to, but out of being forced to. What do you guys think of Helseth and Latham's death? Do Looking to forward to seeing Baron Zaya. I've read the books, but never played Morrowind. Oh. What? Well, hello there. Aren't you a tasty dish? You must be new to Mournhold. I'd have recognized that beautiful face otherwise. Fons Baron at your service, my lady. A man who loves beautiful women. Yes, indeed. A great lover by all accounts. Feel free to ask around. The ladies here will all agree. I'm quite sure. But let's not waste any more time. Shall we skip the formalities and just head back to my manor? Your choices are not a chance or sorry you're not my type. Why do you do this to me, game? Todd? Todd, don't give me a choice and then not let me say yes. Sorry. You're not my type. Not your type. <laughs> Take another look, baby. I'm every woman's type. No, eh? Well, do you have any cute friends? I'm on the market. Looking for a good time. A companion. Something like that. No. Script no law. <laughs> Dialogue topic MS matchmake fonds was not found. Compiled script not saved. Continue running executable. Compile and run was found in topic women. Well, I suppose that figures. You know what they say about the cute ones. They was of ugly friends anyway. But uh, uh, let me know if you should happen to run into any cute girls, will you? I'm sure they'll be anxious to find out what you're going to miss out on. Continue running executable. Yes. Goodbye. Well, well. <laughs> oh, Todd. Oh, Todd, you've done it again. It's beautiful. It just works. Oh, women do be complicated. True Bethesda immersion. Straight up. Straight up immersion. I don't even know if that was meant to happen or not. Like, if it was like a little in-joke for it. The missing executable was yes. Yeah, it should have been there. Is that like a little meta in-joke for it? It's got to be a meta in-joke. They can't have just straight up missed that. Oh. Have you heard the rumors about Helseth? I have not heard the rumors about Helseth. Tell me. Tell me the rumors about Helseth. He's the king of Morrowind. He became our king not after Baron Zaya arrived. It's good to have the lady back. What about latest rumours? Deldris Andron has no idea what's going on behind her back, and I'm not sure. And I'm sure not going to tell her. Oh, okay, so someone's having some things going on behind their back. Yeah, I think it might legitimately just be a bug. Like, straight up just an actual bug. I'll report it so Todd can fix it in the next patch. I don't know if Todd follows me on Twitter, but if I tweet at him, I'm What's sure we can probably get him to uh, business, citizen. get him to understand. King Helseth is our new king, son of Queen Baron Zaya. I'd like to know what happened to King Athan Lathan and his younger protege, Talon Vandas. It all seems a bit suspect to me. Well, hang on. So, the king had a young protege, Talon Vandas. 
He was a very popular figure here in Mournholt, with most pe people at least. King Latham thought of the boy as a son, and was grooming him for the throne. Fortunately, he met with an accident soon after Helseth arrived in Morrowind. A really a shame. Okay, so Talon Vandas. What about Baron Zaya? We were all very excited for her to return to Mournhold. Of course, she brought her son with her. Still, it's wonderful to have a woman with such charm and grace in the palace again. Right, so has Helseth killed Talon Vandas? What do you think about King Helseth? He's our new king. What about Lathan's death? Right, we're learning more. We are learning more. King Lathan died, but he did have a male protege that he was getting ready for the throne. But they met with an accident very quickly. Have you thought about greasing some palms? I haven't, Kitsune. I'm not giving money across. I don't need to give money across. This better be important. Yo, Ugleb. I don't believe I've seen an Argonian with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? Yeah, what do you know about King Lathan's death? He was an old man, and now Helseth is the king. What do you think about Helseth? What about Baron Zaya? And hey, what do you know about Talon Vandas? He was a good man. Would have made a fine king too. Shame what happened. What if I give you a hundred gold coins to be nice to me and ask you again? Now that was a man who would have made a leader to our people. King Lathan knew what he was doing when he began grooming the boy for the throne. Of course, that all changed when Helseth arrived. Do you think he killed him? I would like to know what happened to King Athan Lathan. Seems a bit odd that the old man died so soon after Helseth arrived in Mournhold. And what about Talon Vandas, the nephew? Everyone assumed he'd be next in line. Mate, what do you think about the death? And what about Helseth? Okay. So, it seems that everyone is feeling a little bit... Uh, a little bit slighted by this. What? Who do we talk to next? We we definitely talk to someone and then we try and yeah, you're right, grease a few palms, you know, give a give a few coins. I mean, let's be fair, we're up to seventy six thousand gold. We can do it. Maybe hey, do you like me? Persuasion. Here's a hundred gold. And again. Sweet. Tell me about King Helseth. Tell me about Talon Vandas. Same thing. Tell me about Baron Zaya. Same thing. Tell me about King Lathan's death. Right. The palace said he died of old age. I'm not sure that's what they'd say over at Lathan Manor. Right, where's Lathan Manor? Um, specific place. Where is Lathan Manor? Right, looks like we're going to... I mean, he is packing. That guy. He really is. And it's cold. So, very scary. Lathan Manor. Lathan Manor. Where would that be? Right, let's go and try and find out. Let me use my belt of speedy boy. Then we go find out. Is it awkward to ask for a refund on a bribe? No, that's just tax relief. That's pretty much what that is. The government do it all the time. It's totally fine. Let's go see if we can find Lathan Manor. Maybe he's wearing a codpiece. He wasn't. That's the scary thing about it. He absolutely wasn't. So I can't talk to you guys because you won't like me. No problem for Lusty. I mean, we she prefers it. It's straight up easier for me to deal with. Let's find Lathan Manor. That statue... Oh, by the way, if you've not played um, Morrowind before, that is a really cool statue of Almalexia, one of the tribunal goddesses. Killing Merun's Dagon, a pretty bad boy. Almalexia, good. Merun's Dagon, bad. And it is as simple as that. Do not question it. The Tribunal, from what I understand, are a collection of individuals who are given godlike power. They so far consist of Almalexia, Vivek, and Sothasil. I mean, double check me to make sure I'm right on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. There might be a few more of them. To question would be heresy. Yeah, you can't question it. She didn't kill him properly, though. I oh, know she's... I don't think Almalexia would have made a mistake. 
I think Almalexia is pretty... She's skillful. She knows what she's doing. Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil. Individuals with the power of gods. Now, that dude mentioned that maybe the mana... So that's a vacant mana. Interesting. Ignatius Flassus house. wonder if the vacant mana was meant for you to have as a player-owned house. Because I don't think that... I thought this was vacant. Um, sorry, didn't mean to... Didn't mean to, didn't mean to interrupt. You've no business being here, Argonian. I suggest you turn around, go out the way you came in, and forget you ever saw us. Okay, but first, what do you know about King Lathan's death? They say he died of old age. What do you think about Baron Zaya? It's certainly good she's back. What do you think about the new King Helseth? He's our king. And what about Talon Vandas, the boy that was going to be king? He was a good man. Anyone who met you can tell you that. He would have made a fine king too. Ah, what if I give you some gold? Is that all you think I'm worth? Alright, okay, cool. I'm going to just scooch on is past you here. Talk to Yo, hey, how's it going? Dovor is in charge. Talk to him. Yes. Look, I'm not in charge. Talk to Dovor. We should talk. Okay, right. Dovor. Buddy. Friend. Pal. Compadre. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to use an amulet of verbosity, which fortifies my speechcraft. On me. I'm then going to save the game and talk to you. And I'm going to admire you. I'm busy that day. Sorry. I'm going to intimidate you. And how do you plan on doing that? I'm going to give you a thousand gold. Very well, Lusty. I'll see what can be done. And now you're going to tell me about Helseth. And King Lathan's death. And Talon Vandas. King Lathan knew what he was doing. Oh, I see. That's the same thing you've given me. Can I have that gold back, please? You've no business being here. I don't recall inviting you to discuss the issue. You can't be trusted. Keep walking, Argonian. You know what? Okay, this is a purely vacant manor. There is nothing here. I have no need of anything in this manor at all. Everything is fine. I'm a thousand gold down. Oh, I want a thousand gold back. Ooh, made a mistake there. I will be coming back and taking that from you at some point. Where is the manor? Fenondas Manor? Let's see if we can find it. Velus Manor. Lock level 100. Well, if only I had a level 100 open lock spell that I could cast. If only... That means that there's two things we can do. Either there's a key for it, or we can just open it. Yo, tell me. Greetings, I am Tedra Anduz. Are you a, an acquaintance of Galena Sadri? I am not sorry. Uh, can I give you some gold? Thanks, and again, thanks. Can you tell me about Helseth? Okay, can you tell me about King Lathan's death? May his spirit rest among his ancestors. But he was king in name only. The Dunmer do not and never have submitted to the kings. What about Talon? Okay, yes, I'm seeing all of these these bad things. What about Baron Zaya? Yep, we're all excited to have her back. That's all great. Maybe we should go and talk to Baron Zaya in the actual palace. Maybe she's there. Go and have a chat. Good old Bazzy Z, as I think she calls herself. We need to get into this manor. I don't know how, but we've got to get into this manor. If only I had a key for the door. If only I had a key for the door. What keys do I have? Key, key, key. Don't think I've got... When I mean, I've got keys, I can try. A worn key used to open the lock. Where did we get the worn key from? Like, I happened to have one on me. Did we find it in a... 
It was from... It was from the random mage. The one that attacked me earlier. And that's him. What do you want? Um, hey. What do you think about King Lathan's death? They say he died of old age. Have some money. Well, Lusty, if you insist. All right, cool. What about Helseth? What about Talon? Okay, what about Baron Zaya? Right, so the mage... How nice you can stop by. The mage attacked me, did absolutely no damage to me. Let's have a look, see if I can find it. Ovis Velas magically appeared before me, announced he was going to put on a display of his power, then attacked me. He went down far too easily and scarcely harmed me. He was trying to give me the key. He needed to give me the key, but he needed to cause a scene. So Ovis Velas appeared before me. You're Gavis Velas. Where's Ovis Velas? Attacked me and expected me to loot his body. He wanted this to happen. Okay, so Ovis Velas needed to give me the key to this manor so I would find something in this manor, possibly. Let's let's just butter you up a little bit more, mate, because I think you probably have more answers than you realise. Oh, nice. I need you to by. be a bit more nicer to me. Let's just give you another hundred gold. Right. Yo, tell me about Helseth. Same things. Tell me about King Lathan's death. Tell me about Talon Vandas. Tell me about Baron Zaya. Okay, that's just the same thing. You're, you're, you're giving me nothing new there. But there's got to be a reason that you wanted me in this building. There's got... The Progress of Truth is a banned book, by the way, in this game. So these guys are clearly doing something that's a little bit sneaky. I've got to find something that's going to explain the mystery that's going on here. Right, let's have a quick look around the place, shall we? I can open these chests in a second because I've got all of the spells needed to do it. Yeah, I think you skipped a flag. Really? I've I've got the the thing. Lilith, welcome to the stream. I've got the Onducey's open door. Which can unlock these things. Expensive ring, expensive shirts, magical potions, nothing specific. Nothing in the closet. Nothing in the drawers. Damn. Don't have enough magic to cast the spell. Um, that's a problem. Can I use a lockpick? Don't know if I have the skill to do this. Damn it, too complex. Um, a journeyman's lockpick. Maybe that's easier. Again, lock too complex. Anything better than a journeyman's lockpick? Don't think so. Cool. So, can't use a journeyman's lockpick. I need my... Spear back on in case I have to fight anything. The only thing I can think of is speaking to the dude downstairs when you've got like a hundred approval. But there is definitely... I oh, got nice. the key from the mage to be in here. Can I talk to Baron Zaya? Remember where this is on the map. It is just there. Okay, cool. Let's go speak to Baron Zaya. Who are you? Thrud. Hello, nice lady. You see Dilborn? Dilborn, my friend. Dilborn gone three days now. Thrud, sad. Do we immediately drop everything and help Dil help Thrud find Dilborn? Like, I don't even care about Baron Zaya anymore. Gone. Thrud, you don't need to be sad, mate. Tell me about Dilborn. Dilborn, big and mighty wizard. Dilborn, read books to Thrud. 
All the words. Big words, too. Maybe three times. Now Dilborn gone. No one read books to Thrud. Thrud sad. Thrud miss friend Dilborn. You help Thrud find Dilborn? Yeah, immediately. Thrud happy. Happy Argonian. Find Dilborn now, yes? Thrud see Dilborn go down in sewers near here. Dilborn go to sewers lots to meet friends. Dilborn says most times Dilborn back soon and happy happy, but Dilborn not back soon now. We need to go sewers. Find Dilborn. Thrud, I will go to the ends of the earth for you and we will... I will die for you. Straight up. Right. We need to go to the sewers now. I don't even care about Baron Zaya, Helseth, King Lathan's death, his son. None of it matters. All that matters right now is finding Dilborn. Thrud is now the main quest. He is actually John Morrowind himself. Let's go down here, go to the sewers. Thrud is way more important. Into the sewers we go. Residential sewers. Any other NPC, that would be scary. But when you spawn in, and you see Thrud's glowing eyes in front of you. You feel a sense of safety. Personal space, Thrud. Oh no, all, all space is Thrud's space. A giant hammer. Right, anything? Oh, sweet. Who puts gold in crates? Who puts gold in, like, barrels randomly? I want them. All right, Thrud. You're with me, mate. Let's do this. Now be careful, because these sewers are dangerous. But we are... Who is that? It's a goblin. We are going to find your friend. Thrud, mate, I need you to be careful. Oh, no! Ooh, Thrud, I'm so sorry. I stabbed you by mistake. Entirely my bad. Will not happen again. Now, goblins in Morrowind are actually really powerful. And what's amazing is, look, the goblin buckler only weighs five pounds... But it's a thousand gold value, so you really want to take these. Goblin Club, weight 25, value 3,000. That's decent. I'm going to take the Soul Gem. I don't need that. All right, Thrud, I apologize, but you... Oh, goodness me. This is too easy. Thrud, don't you worry. You are a fighter. My man. Thrud is just wrecking these goblins. Love it. You should have picked an easier opponent. Is he just running at goblins now? Give in. You're dead already. I'll tell you what I liked about this as well was the fact that what the hell? There you go. You know in other games, if you accidentally hit your own allies, they're like, I'm gonna fight you now. In Morrowind, they're like, I get it. That's an entire it's a mistake. You didn't mean to. Nobody means to. Totally okay. Don't worry about it. They they forgive you. Not immediately, you know. Not all the time, but mostly they do just forgive you, which I appreciate. Yo, Thrud, who we after, man? Dilborn. Dilborn. Go sewers now. Dilborn, go down there. Okay, so we're in the sewers. Looking for Dilborn. Guys, keep your eyes open for Dilborn. And if anyone sees Dilborn, shout up. I need to heal myself because I, I forgot that I am not Thrud. God damn, these... This is too easy. I am looting some goblins. Goblins... Look at that goblin sword. That's one of the best swords in the game. 10 to 35. That's a... I mean, my, my Daedric Waki... A goblin sword has a higher hit than a Daedric Wakizashi. I didn't realize that. I did not realize that a goblin sword has a higher minimum and maximum than a Daedric Wakizashi. That's insane. That's absolutely ridiculous. It's because we're in Thrud's presence. It's because he made it happen. He he wished it be so and it were. <laughs> Goblins in this game ain't fucking around. They're like, all right, we're going to win. What is that? You've got red eyes. I... God damn. Th diseased Durzog. Oh, I've contracted Rotbone. Alright, so... Uh, 
I'm ill now. Rot bone. I need to see what this does. Drain fatigue, three points. All right, cool. So does rot bone just constantly do that? Right, I might have... Uh, that might be bad. Finally caught you live. Been an enjoy of your content for a year or two. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Yes, it's... Unfortunately, it is Ligma. That's what we have caught. It is a more infectious form of Ligma, known as the Bofa form. Nothing on you there. Thrud, I'm going to be real with you, mate. I think if your friend... What was it? Dilfer? Uh, Dilborn. I think if Dilborn has come down this far, they might be dead. And... Hey, Thrud, can you... Can you swim? I'm going to save the game uh, before we do this, because I have a terrible feeling Thrud might not be able to swim. Okay, Thrud. Thrud go glug. Thrud, we're going to rush, man. We're going to see if you can follow me down here and then up. It's not far. Just got to get from there to there. There's there's water to breathe. In fact, we can even do... Oh, good. Thrud, you're there, mate. I'm really hoping he doesn't drown. Like, really hoping he doesn't drown. Okay, let's go back up here. Okay, cool. We can just... You can hit the top and you can get some breath going on. Thrud's still there. He's alive still. He's still alive. However, I do know that NPCs in this game do have, I think, underwater limits. Oh god, more goblins. I'm about to die. And Thrud legit just saved me. Thrud, get out of the water, mate. Come on. Oh, thank god. I was genuinely a bit worried that he was about to, uh, to die. It's also very, very exposed down here. Like, really exposed. Where are the... Where the heck is Dilborn? Like, we went down to the sewers. Have we gone to the wrong part of the sewers? To where Dilborn should be? Because the sewers is huge. The contrast is really low on this. It's very strange. You can cure... You can cure Rotbone at a Sorcon. That's one of my least favorite conventions to go to, to be honest, mate. I did not enjoy it the last time I went there. I'm probably not going to enjoy it now. What is this thing down here? That is the Bizarre Sewers. Okay. Oh, God, there's fish. I don't like that at all. Could somebody just tell me, at the end of the sewers, you talk to... Could somebody just tell me, which sewers do I need to be in for this quest? Because the sewers are huge, and otherwise we are going to end up running around all the wrong ones. Was it back that way? I don't think we need to be this way, do we? I think that we... I don't think we should have taken the underwater bit. You were in the right place, you missed a turn. Oh, do you mean the, the place originally? Gotcha, let's have a look. We'll find out. We'll go all the way back here. I don't know if we need to take this dude under the water. Thrud. When you first run into the goblins. Okay, cool. So we, we didn't actually need to take him underwater. We just did. We, we did that. That was the thing that happened. But we don't need to. So are we going this way? Dilborn is right near the entrance of the God's Reach sewers. Okay, we'll find out. That's probably this way, then. Now, thankfully, I now know that Thrud can survive underwater for at least a little bit. And I can keep getting my breath back as well and diving back down. Knowing Thrud can survive makes me a lot happier. So this is the residential sewers. We didn't need to be here. We needed to be in the God's Reach sewers. So we'll go this way. It's, see, this is better. This is what it should look like. It's no longer super-duper foggy. I will, however, keep saving. Maybe that was... This is the right zone. This is the right way. Right now, we're in the residential sewers. I think we are, anyway. Yeah, right now, we are in the residential sewers. Where is Thrud? 
Throw it, mate. Um, you know, I'll just, I'll have a nap. And... Throd? I think he's dead. He's there. He just, he can't get, he can't swim down. Hang on, Throd, I appreciate you being here, mate, but you've got to swim down. Go sewers now, Lusty. All right, cool. Come on, this way, this way, Thread. The, oh God, the, come on. Come on, AI. I truly believe, let's just go and find the other person. He's getting his exercise. Oh no, have we, have we bugged out Thread? Let's change maps and see if he still follows us. He might do. He is trying. He truly is trying. But we'll find out. Throd does not understand the concept of down. You know why? Because he's always on the up and up. That's what it is. He's always focused. The concept of fail is not in Throd's dictionary. And this is because Throd does not own a dictionary. Because we went that way. Oh, hang on. It's Is it the person that's over there? It might be the person that's over here that we kind of missed. Hey! Welcome to my world, where we do things my way. Hello! Right, where are... It's... I let the boss do all the talking. Dilborn! My man! My buddy! My home slice! My sweet cheese! I'm gonna be real, this looks very dodgy. It's just kind of... Kind of standing there. Hey, Dilborn. Help, help me. All right, cool. Um, hey, man. Hey, bro. We've got a chat. Well, look what the scrib rigged in. I suppose you're here to rescue little Dilborn, eh? Then I suggest you don't make any sudden moves. You see, when people owe me money, I get a bit touchy. Attack me and my men have orders to kill Dilborn first. Poor, naked, defenseless Dilborn. But if you're here to settle Dilborn's debt, we may be able to work something out. Okay. How much do they owe you? That's right, Argonian. We indulge in a bit of gambling down here from time to time. Away from the prying eyes of the guards, you know. Dilborn, one of our best customers. He currently owes, if my memory serves me right, yes, Dilborn owes me the sum of 3,000 septims, and he's not leaving here until he pays his debts. Question in the chat, what's the best way to support content, Twitch sub or Patreon? I've got a Patreon, Patreon's easier, Twitch sub's good as well. Honestly, whatever's easier for you. Patreon's great because it allows me to turn Raid Shadow Legends down, and there's nothing funnier than saying no to those guys repeatedly. Hey, maybe you could lower this dude's ransom. Not for you, my little Argonian friend. If they owe me money, even my closest associates have trouble persuading me to back off a debt. Uh, okay, wait here. I'm going to come back with an angry man. Just, ooh, just you wait. Just you wait when I come back with an angry man. I'm really hoping that when I leave... Oh, no. Oh, no. Have we legitimately actually lost Throg? He might be stuck under the water. Rip Throg? Throd? Where is he? Is he this way? Throg, where the hell are you, mate? We are Okay, we arrived this way. We came this way. We went this way. Now, we should have gone that way, but ah, got you. We're this way. He's doing his best. Can the lad teleport to you? The lad can barely think. He's using all of his intelligence just to keep breathing. He is not going to know any teleportation spells, all right? He is, he's two brain cells in search of a fourth. He's not exactly all there, you know? He's a few cards short of a domino set. That's the problem. He is a strong man, not a wise man. Now, what we could do 
is I can cast water breathing on myself. He's still alive. I mean, look at him. He's, he's still there. Just... You gonna follow me this way, mate? We're gonna go this way? Alright, cool. Follow me this way. Yeah, you got it. You got it. And right, now follow me this way. Because we got him through here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh my god, I feel like a proud parent. I have never been happier. Oh, you absolute beauty! You gem thrud. Thrud, come with me. I'm gonna find your friend. I do have to warn you, he is in his pants. And he has gambling debts. And they are gonna kill him. But beyond that, everything is A-OK. -okay. I mean, to be fair, that is quite bad. It's just, uh... Is that your name? No, you, you've only got... You've only got one D. But that's okay, Thrud. You don't need to. Let's... Quick save, full save, get ready, shield on, just in case, because I have a feeling that I am going to die. Let's see what's happening. Welcome to my world, where we do things my way. I the the boss. Boss. The it's a... Yo, help me. Hey, Thrud! Go sue us now. See Dilborn go there. Yeah, Thrud, he's there, mate. Like, he's... He's right here. Look. I haven't much time, so be quick about this. Be quick? Dilborn, how much... What? Do you not understand the situation? Oh, my God. 2002 AI is fantastic. Right. Save. Weapon. Chat. Owe me money. Let him go now or feel my wrath. There is no escape. Boys, get rid of the Breton monkey. I'll take care of the hero and his witless man-child over here. Oh, goddamn. Okay, I am paralyzed. I am very paralyzed. Oh, can we keep the dude alive? Is he dead? Is... Okay, he's dead. So, I've... goddamn, so am I. Wow, okay. That was... That was dangerous. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. Hang on. How good am I with short blades? Six. That is not going to help. Can I? Quick save. Lover's kiss. Paralyze. Gun. Resisted magic. Okay. And then those dudes attack him and kill him, like, immediately. And he has got... Oh, he's got slave bracers on. Interesting. That's kind of... That's kind of cool. Right, so we... I'm not happy. I'm not happy to let this dude die. I do not want... This guy to die. Do we just pay the 3,000 septums? We could just pay three grand. Keep him alive. Are we willing to pay? Just pay them. You know what? You owe me three grand. Hey, man. I'll pay you. All right. You can go. Alarm, remove his braces. Dillborn, never show your face to me again or I'll slice it off with a rusty spoon. You hear me? Goodbye. Ah, say your piece or stand aside. Hey, man. Is it necessary that you speak with me? Thank you, Argonian. I'm in your debt. Alas, in my present financially embarrassed condition, it is a debt I cannot repay. I hope that under the circumstances, your own virtue will be sufficient reward. I assure you, I'm everlastingly grateful to be reunited with my faithful friend, Thrud. Welcome to my world. Dilborn well, we back. Dilborn back! Right. Thrud says Dilborn never go sewers again. Here, Argonian, take Thrud's favorite book. It's very good. Many words on both 
sides of pages. Trap has been added to your inventory. Well met. Shall we read Trap? I think we should read Trap. There is no way this would go wrong. Where is Trap? Trap. You have gained knowledge from the book. Your sneak skill has increased to 10. This is just an entire book about... It's a full story about a thief sneaking around. All right. It's a cool little... Cool little thing. I want my gold back. Oh, good. They all follow me. Oh, 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 good. They all follow me. Thrud, you did nothing. Thrud just stood there. Right, how do we win this? This is an incredibly tough encounter. How do we win this encounter? How do we prevent these guys killing this dude? Okay. Bound spear. Summon. We've got the spear. Quick save. Kill you first. You're dead. Kill you second. Okay, this is going well. Kill you third. Okay, hang on. Boom, son! We've just... I have killed Dilborn's captors and Thrud and Dilborn are happily reunited. Let's chat to these dudes. How's it going, man? Thank you, Argonian. Not a problem. Thrud, favorite book. Thank you very much. I'm going to read your book and I'm going to learn about Sneak. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the game and loot all these people. What you got on you? Jink Blade of the Aegis. Fortify attack and paralyze. That is powerful. I want that. That is mine now. Glass boots, glass greaves. Don't think I can wear any of those things because I'm a beast race. What else we got going on? We've got Amulet of Health. Restore health 10 points. Always useful to have more restore health things. What about you? Silver Spark Axe. Don't need that. Doesn't do anything that I haven't already got the ability to do. And you are just a regular gambler. Orc Warhammer, though, is good. Wouldn't need it. But no, we've got the um, the blades that paralyze. They are powerful. So we've got an Adamantium Jink Blade that paralyzes for 10 seconds. And we've got a Steel Jink Blade, which paralyzes and fortifies my own attack. The thing is, that is terrible because it only does 5 damage. But the thing with daggers is, you just absolutely spam attacks. Daggers are not designed to do lots of damage. You just, you don't even charge it up. You literally just spam as much as you can. Yeah, let's steal the glass stuff because it's worth money, isn't it? The glass stuff, 8,000 of the boots, and 17,000 of that. That's decent. I'm going to sell stuff now. Right, thank you. You guys enjoy being in the sewer. I'm going to head back and solve other problems. So I think we should go and speak to... Where did we come in? How did we get in here? We came down from somewhere, didn't we? Was it from over here? I think it was from over here. I want to go and speak to Baron Zaya. Because I feel that Baron Zaya, if she is in the palace, might know something. Let's go back to God's Reach. Save the game. Go speak to Baron Zaya. Because the quest that I'm on right now, speak to the people. Speak to the people. King Lathan's death. I've not got any information from anyone yet. Hey, who are you? You seem all glowy. 
How's it going? Identify I yourself. Can't talk. I'm waiting for someone. All right, cool. Alanda, you have a good day. Who? Drathus Reyas in the Great Bazaar. I'll go and speak to Drathus Reyas in the Great Bazaar. So while I'm not using Wikipedia to tell me what to do, I am using you guys. You guys are guiding me through Morrowind. Now, I've played Morrowind before many, many years ago, but I definitely can't remember. Was that a thing? No, that was just a... Uh, just a graphic. I thought there was actually something down there. I've played Morrowind many years ago, but I cannot remember the expansion packs at all. We're currently in the Tribunal expansion pack. Perhaps read a copy of The Common Tongue while in the bazaar. So, there was that book, The Common Tongue, in the building. Hang on. Let's... So the dude gave me the key to the building via effectively sacrificing himself. I was able to get into this building. How nice. And that means that inside this building, there is a book here. And where was the common tongue book? I'm sure I saw it. Maybe I'm thinking of the other vacant property. Yes, I might be. I might be thinking of the vacant property one, the vacant manor. Let's see what's going on over there, shall we? Because, I mean, all these don't think anything really going on with these books. Nothing super rare. That looks interesting. Sherim's Heart of Aquina. Never heard of that one before. The Yellow Book of Riddles. Interesting. Possibly a plot point for the future. Have I done the Thieves' Guild? Not yet. Not yet. We're very much going one by one. Josh, what are my thoughts about yogurt? Thank you for finally asking the deep questions that people want to know more about. Uh, the Common Tongue. This broadsheet is a newsletter copied on cheap paper, featuring sensational events in the city of Mournhold. One article describes a list of individuals who died under suspicious circumstances when their interests conflicted with a former Prince of the West. The reference is clearly King Helseth, King of Morrowind, formerly Prince Helseth of the Kingdom of Wayrest in the province of High Rock. A poet can have no higher purpose than to tell the truth about the human condition, Lord Vivek. Mysteries of the West. I have a little list. They never would be missed. Appearing at the top, three names. Anhar Kajit Male. Matrias Arintus, Imperial Male. Jusol Asiel, Breton Male. What do these three names have in common? All three, at one time or another, represented an inconvenience to a Western noble prince named Helseth. Anhar was an agent for Eastern Ebony Merchants. There was an unfortunate scandal concerning improper contracts offered to Helseth as compensation for his assistance in obtaining Ebony imports, import remits from the Imperial Board of Census and Excise. Luckily for Prince Helseth, this scandal blew over when no one could be found to testify. Is it just a coincidence that Anhar's health went into a steep decline just as he was to testify before the Imperial Magistrates? He died a natural death, according to the Imperial coroners. Convenient and timely, perhaps, but natural. Matrius Arinitius was a city alderman of Wayrest. Prince Helseth's liaison with the alderman's married daughter was potentially embarrassing to the prince, especially when Matrius Arinitius forcefully pressed his suit for predatory adultery in Wayrest's courts. Many thought it strange that Martrius Arintius should suddenly fall ill and die of exhaustion on the eve of the trial. The suit was settled out of court and charges dismissed. The imperial coroners ruled that Martrius had died a natural death. Convenient and timely, admittedly, but natural. You saw Asieli. I'm trying my hardest with these names, guys. I'm really trying. You haul Asieli was a diplomatic attaché in the High Rock Embassy in Wayrest. Widely rumoured to be an intelligence officer, Yusol Aliseli was often seen in court, taking great interest in the affairs of Queen Baron Zaya and her family. It is said that Wayrest can be a beastly uncomfortable place in the high summer. Perhaps the Breton's constitution was ill-suited to the relentless heat of 
pestilent swarms of the southern lilac, or iliac. You saw Asieli sudden, took suddenly ill one evening, and within three days he was dead. Once again, imperial coroners ruled that you saw had died a natural death. Convenient and timely, yes, but natural. And these, the common tongue notes significantly, are only the A's on the list. Some have quietly suggested that Prince Helseth was the most accomplished and subtle poisoner in the West, but the common tongue has never seen a single scrap of evidence that would prove such an indictment. Admittedly, the absence of such proof could count as qualifying toward the title of a most accomplished and subtle poisoner. And furthermore, the common tongue does not wish to suggest that King Helseth is a poisoner, or that the recent death of King Athen Lathans was a poisoning, and not a natural death. The common tongue has never seen a single scrap of evidence that would prove such an indictment, and the imperial coroners have ruled that Athen Lathan died a natural death. I'm going to take that bit of uh, paper. Can we all agree that Helseth is, without a doubt, 100% just straight up murdering people just that's what that's it that's what's happening yo Justice never tell oh you're 13 out of 100 that's fine what about baron zaya can we go and talk to baron zaya i think we should talk maybe to someone in they died of natural causes i'm sure they did they were all natural deaths unlikely coincidence but totally natural one of you in the chat said that you would suggest that I start my search at the the place outside, was it? Speak to a wizard that exists at the the bazaar? Because I can happily just wander all the way around Mournhold, but that would take a long time. So, like a little hint. This is the DLC. This is the Tribunal DLC. Did one of you guys say that I should probably talk to somebody in Mournhold? In the... This place. The Bazaar. See what Tinius has to... Who was Tinius? That was the dude we... He asked us. Oh yeah, that was the guy, wasn't it? Oh yeah, you know what? Tinius. My man. My bro. Let's recall and have a quick chat, shall we? See what he's all about now. See where reception is again. Hey, Tinius, my man. I want to have a chat with you about the fact that all the people I've spoken to and this pamphlet, which looks rather damning, very much thinks that these deaths are linked and there may be poison somewhere royal palace throne room let's pop inside hey tinius let's have a chat my bro is this an official matter yes it is have you learned the source of the rumors about king lathan's death thank you for bringing me this copy of the common tongue i believe this is indeed the source of the rumors I see no source or evidence for its speculation, just vague falsehoods. Thank you. Well done. I'll mention your loyal services and exceptional qualities to King Helseth, and I think we might find you further employment. For example, we lack sources of information in Almalexia's temple. Could you help me find a temple informant? the goddess of the temple, Elmalexia. She is surrounded by her hands, tough fighters, from what I hear. Okay, yeah, temple informant. We need a source of information to come from inside of Elmalexia's temple. There are rumors of discontent in the temple. Go to the temple, look for someone discontented, listen sympathetically, and find out whether the temple is willing to accept King Helseth, or whatever. The temple plans to act against him. Okay, is King Helseth a supporter of the temple? King Helseth is a faithful member of both the temple and the imperial cult. Now, will you help us find a temple informant? Yeah, okay, I'll take care of it. That's fine. Good, go find a temple informant. I, 
I don't like this. Helseth tried to have me killed because I know something. He's only tried to have people killed who know things about him. So what's interesting is when they say she's surrounded by her hands, they're the name of her soldiers, her hands. Mournhold's royal palace, Helseth's chambers. The door is locked from the inside and cannot be opened by any means. Okay, cool. So you definitely cannot go in there whatsoever. Let's... Yeah. I, was it just... Him Him killing me was just... It was just for fun. It was just a joke. It was just a prank, bro. Where is... Justice yo, where's the temple? Uh, Royal Guard, what do you think about discontent in the temple? Of course there's discontent. There's discontent everywhere. Why shouldn't there be? I like you. I like your attitude. Straight to the point. Where the hell is the temple? Oh, that means we've got to go back to the... I know where the temple is. Quick save. There he is. There he is. For those of you who aren't aware of what's about to happen, let me show you. Remember this dude we gave loads of gold to? You should run now. Well, 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 look who it is, my dear friend Lusty. Just my look, you should stumble in. <laughs> Indeed, it seems my good fortune knows no bounds. Despite my mistreatment at your hands, I've found riches. Been able to influence just about anyone I talk to. And can you believe I've never lost a fight? Never even gotten a scratch. Somehow, I don't think I'll have a problem continuing that streak, and I owe you. This is going to be fun. So, this dude has now insanely high luck. One of the reasons this fight is so bloody difficult is because his luck stat is maxed out. It's almost impossible to hit him. It's almost impossible to avoid him. His magicka resistance is super high. His everything resistance is super high. He's faster than you, luckier than you, and resistant to everything you throw at him. It is possible to kill him. However, it's very, very difficult. Like, extremely difficult. He has 770, but with all his passive buffs, they tried to make it 777, but failed. He's got a 500 luck buff. Just type slash kill when I aim at him. I could do that. He is, I think he's the most powerful guy in the game. So we need to very much do this and avoid him. We, we will come back for Gaynor at the end of the game. But right now... I am nowhere near capable of even scratching this guy. Right. Into the temple reception. Let's go and find... Hey! You! This temple is as clean as our Malexia's conscience, Sarah. And may you keep it that way. What about the discontent? These are difficult times, with much suffering. There are enemies all around us, yes, there is discontent. But our faith in El Malexia, mother of all, heals us and it's another sustains us. Day now, I'm pretty sure you can actually go and speak to El Malexia. Like, you can just... None may enter the High Chapel unless summoned by El Malexia herself. Uh, that's Al a... Knows and sees. So that's a High Ordinator. El Malexia's personal soldiers, her hands wear similar looking armor but it's all enchanted with passive buffs all of it hey hey uh Alexia be praised. hey fedris how's it going bro ah you're the one who recently arrived in mournhold from vardenfell i was told of your arrival i understand you've had some problems with the dark brotherhood An interesting group and usually rather effective i'm surprised you're still alive perhaps you have potential or they sent incompetence. I believe you might be of service to Our Lady. Tell me about the Dark Brotherhood. Fear and mystery. Powerful tools. There have been kings that have been rumoured to utilise their service, but that's only a rumour. 
Of course. Oh, you mean like the king that, you know, tried to kill me, King Helseth? Our new young king. He is ruthless and not foolish, as some would have you believe. He has some of his mother's political savvy and all of his father's ruthlessness. Well, tell me about Baron Zaya. Ah, that one has ears everywhere. The people love her, always have, and she's seemingly stayed out of politics since her return to Mournhold. Make no mistake, though, she knows the score in this town. A savvy old woman, to be sure. Maybe we should just, you know... Yeah, our three chief weapons are surprise. <laughs> she, no one expects, no one expects the Dark Brotherhood. Maybe I can be of service to Almalexia. I am always aware of those who might be able to serve Our Lady Almalexia. Few are worthy to do so. The temple in the city is guarded by high ordinators, and the hands fulfill other duties for the lady. I am her chief steward. Now, if you wish to be of use to us, we have some matters to discuss. Maybe I could work for Almalexia instead. She hasn't tried to kill me. Perhaps you have already met young King Hlaalu Helseth. Foul man, unworthy to sit on a throne. Still, he holds the right of succession. The lady must keep an ever-watchful eye on this king, though, lest he do something that would be detrimental to the temple, our fair city, or perhaps all of Morrowind. Currently, there are some concerns about new recruits that Helseth seems to be training. A standing army is nothing new in the city, though it is largely unnecessary. Mournhold is protected by her walls from the outside and Elmalexia from within. None would dare mount an attack here. Still, tradition dictates the king maintain an army. We believe that Helseth is raising quite a different sort of army. A goblin army. Foul, vicious creatures. No wonder Helseth chose them to be his foot soldiers. I know the goblins are being trained nearby, but not where exactly. Ask around the city about goblins. Someone will know. I wish for you to find the location of the goblin training area, and when you do, kill the war chiefs. There should be two. Sever the head of the army, and the rest will shatter like a scrib. You might rid the city of the two Ultima trainers as well. Complete this task, and the lady will be pleased. Ultima trainers? Traditionally, the Ultima have used the goblins to reinforce their armies. Why, I do not know. Rumor has it that Helseth has contracted two Ultima to train this goblin army. If you find these Ultima, it would be wise to kill them. Okay, so Almalexia protects the city from within. She seems cool. So far, I'm not really a big fan of Helseth seeing as he's tried to kill me and has so far killed all of his political opponents, including potentially silencing his mother, uh, Baron Zaya. Should we... Yeah, I'm going to go and search for this goblin army. You know, I'm going to... I'm going to do that. Hey, you. It's another perfect... Uh, persuasion. Let me give you a hundred gold and now be nice to me. Tell me about this goblin army. Goblins in Mournhold? I've heard some old, old stories of creatures beneath the sewers in God's Reach, but I never thought there might be goblins. Terrible creatures. Well, you know what? That's convenient, because I know how to get to God's Reach, and I'm pretty sure... Right, let's go this way, away from gate. I'm, I'm going to teleport. I'm not even going to risk walking past him. I don't like it. That scares me. We're just going this way. You don't think they might be the ones you killed in the sewers? Oh, I very much think they're the ones I killed in the sewers. So what I need to do is work out this way. Work out the best way to go back to the sewers and hunt some goblins down. Gaynor is the final boss, without a doubt. Just straight up. He is the toughest character in the game. Kind of funny, the Ultima use goblins for foot soldiers. The practice seems to have fallen out of favour by the time Skyrim happens. Let's... Oh, you know what I can do if I'm in the Great Bazaar? I can go and chat to the lovely lady that buys all of my junk from me. Let's just fortify my own speed to do a zoom. Good evening, Big Bang. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. You join us in Mournhold as we play through the Tribunal expansion of Morrowind. And I'm going to go and chat now to the one merchant that I know has several thousand gold on her and will, without a doubt, buy my stuff. Barter. Right. 
That's these are worth a thousand. Why are you not giving me more? What the heck? Come on. Let's just oh take away those. Go for a couple more hundred offer. Beautiful stuff. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, but you need to get cured of that disease. I think it's just a common disease, and if you go to an imperial cult or a temple shrine or see a healer or apothecary, I'm sure they can take care of it. Thank you, game, for reminding me that I am still infected with rot bone from being bitten in the sewers. That's a very good point. I like that. Even the the NPCs are like, yeah, you should get that looked at. In fact, if we talk to these guys, you're unclean, Outlander. Get away from me and go get cured or stay away from me. All right, I'll, I'll leave. I appreciate that. The fact that even the game is like, yeah, you should, uh, you should go and get that dealt with. Um, I need an apothecary. Is there an apothecary here somewhere? There must be. Bookseller, armor, and magic shop, clothier. Oh God, where? If I were an apothecary, where would I be? That's irritating that there isn't one over here somewhere. Get rid of the lurgy lad. Where do we go? Hang on, can we just use on civi intervention? That should take me to the temple. All right, cool. Temple. This is great. I now need to get cured. Office of the Lord Arch Cannon. That seems a bit too extreme for what I need. Infirmary. That's good. Infirmary seems great. I need you guys to cure me. There's got to be someone here who's capable of curing me. Almalexia knows. Hey, how's it going? You're afflicted with a common disease. I am a healer. Among other services, I sell a potion that cures all common diseases. You can also receive the blessing of a cure by visiting a temple shrine and making an offering. A blessing costs less than a potion, but a potion can be carried. Barter. Bargain disease resistance. Right, I want cure disease, don't I? Where would cure... Exclusive disease resistance? Which one would cure disease be? Potion of cure disease. I'm going to buy two of them. Offer. Done. Quick chug of the old chug jug. And we should be good to go. Potion of cure. That was potion of cure poison. Walk in the light no, in Nobody space. type anything. Everyone shut up. It's just, it's not going to be a clip. Potion of Cure Common Disease. That's by ten of them. Off, except less. Oh my god, except more. There we go. Shut up. All, already typing. Shh. It's not what we need. Let's just, let's take ten. Let's, there we go. I am cured. Did I leave that lamp on the desk burning? I am cured. I'd look pretty cool, by the way. Look at me. Look at me and my angry little tiny stabby dagger. I need to level up my short blade so I can use this, because this dagger is so goddamn good. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the Deidric Wakizashi is also a short blade. Oh, that chops. It's not as fast. The Jink blade is the one that we need, but for now, the Deidric Spear. Almalexia knows. We have a choice of working for King Helseth, who was the guy that was trying to kill us, or working for Almalexia, who is the person right now protecting the city. I think working for Almalexia seems to be a better choice. Let's work for Almalexia. She seems lovely. Good to see you again, friend. Run over this way. Just use my belt of iron will to go zoomies faster. There we go. Wakizashi has a better enchantment capacity. Goblin Sword is better in raw damage. The Goblin Sword is so goddamn good for what it does. It's ridiculous. So that was the bazaar. Didn't we need to go to God's Reach? I'm sure God's Reach was where they told us we should go to. So that's the temple. This is Brindisi. I'm sure you can get to God's Reach from Brindisi. Let me just double check something. Yes, straight across the courtyard in kind of that direction. Oh, no. The museum is also in God's Reach. Oh, so we can go and sell the boots. There we go. I've been pronouncing Deodric. Hey, if 
You know, someone told me something once that was interesting, is if, if someone is mispronouncing a word, it's often because they tried to learn that word through reading it, not through hearing it. And that is a very difficult thing to do. So if someone does mispronounce a word, it's best just to let them know and be like, hey, just so you know, I think it's pronounced like this, or that is pronounced like this. It's always embarrassing when you've been reading complicated words, putting the letters together in your head, working out the sound they might make, and then, you know, trying your best to imitate it. But ultimately, if, if you notice someone doing it, never mock someone for it. I mean, never mock someone for pronouncing a word wrong. So if they learn by reading it, god damn, well done to you, man. Ah, there's a, and a great example in the chat. I mispronounced epitome for the longest time. So did I. I thought it was epitome. Because in my mind, it's just, it's epitome, isn't it? That's how it is spelled. And break fast, as in breakfast. But break fast is the kind of, if you were to break down the syllables of that word, that's how you would pronounce it. So I totally get it. There's actually an interesting word for this. It's called a shibboleth. And a shibboleth is a word that is pronounced differently by the in-group to the out-group. And it's a way of knowing that when you talk to someone and they pronounce the word the same way that you do, you and them have the same level of knowledge. It's really interesting. So yeah, shibboleths are are strange words for it. Oh, Museum of Artifacts. Here we go. Let's pop in here. Are you sure you pronounced that correctly? It might have been shiboleth, or shiboleth, or shiboleth. Who knows? Yo, Toras, how's it going? Museum of Artifacts, you say? The museum is privately funded and is an effort to collect and display many of the artifacts from this part of the world. Should you want to sell something... You can access its value. Be warned, however, that theft is a serious matter and will equal a death warrant for anyone foolish enough. Would you sell it? If you have anything we might be interested in, uh, we can discuss the specifics. I can tell you up the front. Okay, we have a limited budget. Boots of the Apostle. Worn by Tiber Septim. Supposedly a gift to Talos Stormcrown from the Greybeards. Wondrous, Lusty. Simply wonderful. Are you willing to sell them to the museum? I can offer you 27,500 gold as compensation. Now, you know what's incredible is I cannot wear them. I'm a beast race. I cannot wear these boots. And they still smell like Tiber Septim's feet. So have them. I'm truly honoured, Lusty. Thank you. Tell me about goblins. Goblins in Mournhold, beneath the sewers in God's Reach. Now, you said that theft is punished by death. But what have you got that's even worth stealing? You've got the boots of the Apostle. I just sold you those. You've got nothing else over here. You've got a famed artifacts of Tamriel. Oh, cool. Lord's Mail, sometimes called the Armour of Mori House or the Gift of Kinnereth, is an ancient cuirass of unsurpassable quality. Very cool. Ebony Mail. Spellbreaker, the Chrysomere, Staff of the Magnus, Warlock's Ring. Oh, so these are all the things you can actually find. The Mace of Molag Baal, Merun's Razor, the Mask of Clavicus Vile. So is this like the actual stuff you can find in the game? That's really cool. And by the way, guys, I has a, has a raid happened? Am I looking at some kind of raid? I appreciate it if a raid has happened. Who has raided? Welcome, everyone who's new. I'm Josh. This is Morrowind. You're caught up on the stream right now. I found all these items in uh, in Skyrim. Well, the great thing is that The Elder Scrolls is so well written to connect together. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm raiding your fridge. How dare you? How? No, no one will mention uniforms. I am out of uniform. I am remaining out of uniform. But no, I'm afraid that I wasn't looking at the chat. I'm, hang on. I'm just going to go and have a look at the chat for the raid notification so I can say hi to some people. And you'll regret it. That dude was angry. It scared me for a second. Let me just uh, scroll back up in this chat here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to thank this properly. If you've just joined... This is a proper, professional, official, real stream, and we all know what we're doing, and you can't prove otherwise. You, you can't. You can try. My God, you can try. 
but you will not be able to. But no, in all seriousness, not a raider, just joined at the same time. You're a raider now. You're part of it. That's exactly what's happened. That's how people get inundated into these raids. Even if you weren't there, it's like a huge crowd rushes along and you're like, I'm just here for the, for the fun. No, no, you're part of this now. Come and get involved. My, uh, my mini feed does not seem to have picked up the raid, which is actually very annoying. But thank you very much. Let me scroll all the way back up and see what the hell just happened. I will work this out. We will <laughs> stop the stream. I need to work things out. We're scrolling back up until this works. Okay, I can't find it. It's it's on the chat somewhere, but it's gone. Anyway, let's go back to all of you. Can you imagine if you've just joined and this is the level of stream that you come to? Fantastic. Real streamer. 100% real, genuine streamer. I could be playing anything. But no. No, I'm playing Morrowind. Oh, is it Forzen? Oh, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Who played Morrowind as a child? Oh my god, that's such that hurts to say. Who played this as a kid? I was 12 when this came out. Oh, that hurts me. That's... I don't like that at all. I want to take that back. We've all got old. We used to play this as children, and now we're all angry and old and sad. Hey, you look on your own. How's it going? Saran? What do you want? Tell me about goblins. All right, they're under the, under the ground. Let's go and find some, shall we? So... Let me just, uh, let me catch you up with this. You live through Xbox loading times. Who played Morrowind on the Xbox? Because you guys get a, a senior citizen discount now. You do. If you played Morrowind on the Xbox, I think you qualify for a bus pass. Sadly me, I mean, the, the loading times for it were just, oh my goodness, without a doubt, they were terrible. Okay, we're looking for some goblins. Morrowind. We are the Nerevar, or the Nerevarine. We are the reincarnation of uh, Lord Inderil Nerevar, and we will effectively free... Oh, what's that? Oh, the common tongue. It's the same thing. It's more of them. Thank you very much for all the, uh, the subs. That's remarkably kind of you. Oh, I see. So this is the same thing, and you pick up the common tongue wherever you are. We are the reincarnation of Lord Inderil Nerevar, and we will effectively unite all of the peoples of Morrowind. There's a prophecy that will happen and stuff like that. But for now, more importantly... We have been targeted by the Dark Brotherhood. We have come to Mournhold to work out why the hell we have been targeted. And it turns out that King Helseth has been sending people after us to kill us. Oh, these were our friends, weren't they? Oh, they've left. Okay, cool. Good old Thrud. However, we don't want to work for King Helseth because the dude seems you know, full-on demented. But Almalexia, Queen Immortal Almalexia keeps the city safe, so instead we are working for her. Is he just playing through or got a specific objective? I'm just playing through the game. I have finished Morrowind as a kid, but I cannot remember the ins and outs of it. I've got like specific memories of bits that I can remember. Like as a child playing this game, I remember trying to fight her hands, as in the extremely tough soldiers that make up her, uh, her guard, and I remember getting absolutely wrecked. Then I remember managing to kill some of her hands just about. And it turns out that you can take their armor and it's super powerful. Like, really good. You can kill Vivek and you can kill Almalexia. You can actually kill almost anyone in this game. It's, uh, it's a very violent game. So we need to work out where the goblins have come from. And they might be coming from this way. This... Just go to the palace sewers. I is this the right way though? Because it just seems that was from God's Reach. That's the West Sewers. And this is the old Palace Sewers. I feel that the West Sewers are probably more likely to be the continuation of this quest path than the Palace Sewers are. Although King Helseth, he is training stuff. So it might have been the Palace Sewers. Never realized Mournhold was supposed to be endgame. I haven't done the main quest yet, and I'm level 10. So we are not we are not super close yet. I found this stream from a poem. I told you that poem was the greatest thing I've ever written. 
millions of words written over my career, hundreds of thousands of pages written, and it's six words. Saturdays at seven, Sundays at four. My greatest achievement. Listening to Josh being calm as opposed to how he's usually mad is very jarring, not going to lie. I can be mad if you want me to be mad. Ooh, goodness me, that cheeky King Helseth. Ooh, what's that ragamuffin up to now? Oh, he's, he's training a goblin army. What a little scamp. There we go. You're welcome. I have fulfilled my... That's just fake mad. I'm sorry, are you saying that my acting's not very good? Because I've already had my acting insulted once in this stream by the the man who I filled in as an actor for, in fact. What is down here? Hello? Hang on. Hang on. You wouldn't... There wouldn't just be a random selection of water unless there was actually something in it. And if there isn't, I hate it. Oh, there actually isn't. That's rubbish. Is there anything up there? Behind... Behind the rocks? Can we swim this way? I want to get up on the rocks. I feel there should be something up there. I, I I don't like the fact that I can't get up there. I mean, I could always... I could always just levitate up. I'll levitate up later. I want to see what's through these sewers, first of all. Objective, find the gab... Find, find the Gablin army. Find the Goblin army. Hey, Josh from YouTube, big fan. Uh, heard you did a playthrough of Guild Wars 1. I didn't finish it, but I will definitely do a playthrough at some point. Maybe once we've finished Morrowind, we'll do Guild Wars 1. Because I love old RPGs. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. You must be one of the people training. So I'm going to have a nap. Tactical nap. Save the game. In we go. Hey. Say something or move on. Plogar the Bloody. How's it going, bro? I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Have some gold. Suitable, Lusty. Thank you. Tell me about Soul's Thyme. Terrible place. There's a boat from Cool. You have any reason to go? All right, cool. That that was it. That's the whole thing. You've you've got a skull on your bet, mate. Live your best life. As long as you ain't upsetting me. Do whatever you think's right. I'll trust you with that. He's just having a good time. We don't need... We don't need to bother him. He's having a great time. And no, I have not yet severed the thread of prophecy. I've not yet created a doomed world to continue in. However, I am about to be poisoned again. Oh god, these... Oh, oh god, these goblins are way tougher. Oh, that's not great. Uh, I need my incredibly powerful shield. And I'm dead. Oh, okay. Right. Okie dokie. Let's try this again. Bound spear. Summon. Thank you. Now, the reason that I summon a bound spear is because with a bound spear, you get an extra 10 bonus points to it. Which means, much more likely to be able to hit things and stunlock things. Oh, leave my sir. There's my Eidolon's ward. Hey, dude! You don't know me, I don't know you, but I would really appreciate a bit of help right now. Goblin handler. Can't handle. My spear! Oh god, the war, Derzog. Hey, where's the... What the hell? God damn, these guys are tough. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do this. I am gonna do this. Not using a quick slot for the shield. I have not used any quick slots for anything. At all. Your other spear needs a repair. Damn. Damn, you might be right, because that's currently... No, it's got 606. That's fine. That's totally fine. That's okay. You know what I could do, though? Oh, I've just realized I'm an idiot. I could have done this way before. Uh, I can use my special sneaky boy ring. Amulet of Shadows. 60% chameleon. 
Sorry, 80% chameleon. All right, there we go. Little chameleon boy. Now we run forward. No one can see me, which means... Killed by a shadow. Killed by a goddamn shadow. Like the ninja I am. Loot you. Flynn. I'm going to drink it. Oh! What did we get from Flynn? Hang on. I want to see what drinking Flynn has given me. Where's my Flynn? Willpower and strength. Excellent. Good old Flynny boy. You can enchant a weapon with Calm 100 and Chameleon 100 and do infinite stealth strikes. Let's cast this again and run forward. Right. Now, Chameleon 80 obviously doesn't mean that you're fully invisible to everything ever. It just means most things won't be able to see you. I'm using a spear, by the way, because the range is longer. And that, to me, is extremely valuable. Goblin Buckler. Single gold coin. We need to search these sewers for... Oh, hang on. This looks like a little bit of a camp going on. Hello, Goblin. Sit down, you. What's up? Oh, Goblin Officer. Easy. Like a ninja. Angry ninja with a spear. I was talking to a friend a few days ago. Who remembers that old Ask a Ninja series? I think it was from Ask.com or Ask Jeeves. Remember Ask a Ninja? That was one of the kind of oldest original internet kind of meme things. I enjoyed that. I thought it was funny. I enjoyed it. That was a fun show. That's got to take you back. That's got to take you back quite a bit. Anything special over here I can steal? No, I'm good. I don't need your stuff. Oh. Let's just go invisible again. I think I am out of stamina, so I'm just going to rest here for a bit. It's going to hang around for a moment. The green bar to your bottom left is your stamina, and when your stamina is low, your accuracy hugely decreases. So hit detection is bad in this game. Kind of, but also not really, because hit, de hit chance is very much based on a couple of things. So... There are no weapon levels in Morrowind. If you find the best weapon in the game at level 1, you can equip it. However, you get better with items the longer you use them. Right now, my spear skill is 64, which means if I attack with a spear, I have a higher chance of hitting. However, my stamina is... my fatigue is incredibly low. Stabbing, running, moving, that takes fatigue. When your fatigue is low, your chance of hitting is lower. So, as you get tired, you miss more. Morrowind is one of those games where if you use a weapon that you're not good with, you will never hit with it. If you use a weapon that you are good with, even if it's a worse weapon, you will do a ton more damage. So what I'm going to do is find... There we go, Chameleon. Now I've got stamina. Oh god, one spot me. Okay, now we hang around for a bit. Maybe I use my Eidolon's Ward to heal back up. Then we get back. I can even summon a better spear. So even though it'll summon the spear that looks exactly the same, because it's bound, it has a 10-point a accuracy bonus. And does very slightly more damage. Now, 
enemies that you kill in this game don't give you experience. You get experience for every successful hit of anything. Now that is a Warder Zog, which I think are way more powerful. So I'm going to hang around with this dude and hope my Chameleon remains long enough. Nope, oh, no, Chameleon's gone. Let's just recast that. Give me a sec, my Amulet of Shadows. Sweet, back on the Amulet of Shadows. Back we go. How strong is the community? 80%. Eighty percent chameleon. Oh god damn, there's loads of them. However, hey, we spear increased to seventy-five and we've gained a level. You know, I'm gonna ignore those guys for the time being and I'm gonna go this way. Have we been this way yet? Cause that way to me looks like a load of goblins are coming from this way. And what's my opinion on Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance? So I re I personally like it. I know that it's not the strongest Baldur's Gate game, but personally, I had a lot of fun with Dark Alliance. I enjoyed it. I can't rest here, enemies are nearby. Not being able to rest is very irritating. Very irritating. Because I need to be able to rest to regain all of my strength and to level up. You only level up on rests. Are we going back the way we... Yeah, we might be going back the way we came with this one. Okay, cool. So I think that was where the the tunnel split and we would have come this way anyway. Now, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, those of you who haven't played, was a top-down hack-and-slash game very similar to... I suppose kind of similar to Diablo, wasn't it, at the time? Similar to Diablo. That was kind of their attempt at Diablo, if you will. It was made, this is a random fact, it was made using the Snowblind engine. And the Snowblind engine also made Champions of Norath. And the, the quirk with the Snowblind engine is it's really hard to emulate. Like, really hard to emulate. God damn, I can't hit them at all. So when you're trying to emulate the Snowblind engine on an emulator, it's, it pushes your PC to an absolute limit. Even though you're trying to play like a PlayStation 2 game, it's still really, really tough to do. I'm trying to kill these guys just so they don't come back. Cool, and give me your shield, because your shields are weirdly valuable. Can I have a nap yet? I still can't sleep. There's so many bloody goblins in this sewer. I emulated a PS2 with no issues. If you can work out the way to kind of force the emulator to render stuff you know, slightly more efficiently, it's fine. But I had to switch it from using the graphics card to emulate to using the CPU, which of course limits what the emulator can do. Can we have a nap yet? I still can't sleep. You only level up when you sleep. I've not been this way yet in the in the sewers. But God, we are far away from enemies. Okay. This is the palace sewers. The palace sewers are there. The battlefield. The only place that we haven't yet fully explored is this way and left to here. And that seems to be where all the goblins are. Inju, I am not wearing my uniform. You cannot make me. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, I've not got anything that can beat these guys. Right. Um, fortify speed and then just book it. No, hang on. I've got to... I'll arm civvy intervention. I've got to leave. Oh, okay. Your items restore slowly. Your enchanted items restore slowly. But I had to leave then. I was... Good to see you again. Friend. What do you want? You I always want stuff. I love you, but no. I had, I had to go then. I had to go. You're the first person to exist to spare me from those legs. What do you mean that? If I keep jumping, I'll... Uh, Acrobatics increase. There we go. See? We gained. We improved. Oh, that's cool. The statue of Armalexia in Merun's Dagon glows at night time. That's really cool. I did not know that. 
Am Alexia seems decent. I'm, I like her so far. I'm, I'm happy to serve her. Your accuracy does lower with fatigue. It does. I just, at the minute, don't have... I can sell a load of stuff, though. Get back up to... What are we on right now? We're 107k. I can sell some stuff. Oh my god, my athletics increased. That's Both those skills are now effectively wasted. Let's... Let's have a nap in the sewers. You can only rest on solid ground. What? Okay, let's go over here and have a nap in the sewers. You have ascended to level 11. Being smart doesn't hurt, and a little luck now and then is nice. But the key is patience and hard work. When it pays off, it is sweet. Right, endurance, very important we go for. Speed, also important we go for. And I'm going to go for strength again. Now, I am not power leveling. I did power level earlier. It's suboptimal leveling, but we're just playing the game. I power leveled earlier. We do suboptimal now. I am absolutely fine with that. So we're not... Uh, I'm not worrying about being super duper efficient with the leveling. Yeah, like you say, the gameplay is whelming. The gameplay, I aim to whelm, and my god, do I succeed. Uh, Divine Intervention takes us back here, and then from here we should be able to go to the temple, and then is God's Reach from the temple? Can we get to the God's Reach area from the temple? What's the fastest way to get to God's Reach? I need that paper map that comes with it. I really need that paper map. What would this way be? Let's go this way again. Repair the spear. Oh, okay, hang on. I've got some repair hammers on me, I think. Repair tongues. I am out of everything. Right, you know what? I'll just use the summon spear way more. From now on, all all items are just summon spear. That was God's reach. This way. I know where we're going now. I know where we're going. Do I intend to travel by super jump later in the game? Oh yeah, you can fortify your jump and jump all the way across the map, can't you? Because most of Morrowind is loaded in in one go. Because that's just the way that Todd Howard wanted to do things. So yeah, you can fortify your jump and just absolutely leap all the way across. You don't even need the scroll. I mean, you can have the scroll if you want to, but you can just fortify jump enough. So yeah, you know what? I think it could be fun. We get a bit of fortify jump going on, just leap all the way there. It'd be funny to do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, before we, before we stop playing, I will at some point fortify jump. Right, residential sewers. And then from here... West sewers. I think it was the west sewers. Because we don't want the palace sewers. West sewers had more goblins in them. Oh, by the way, you gain athletics or acrobatics every time you jump, which is why occasionally you'll see me just jumping all the way around as we go. It's because it's one of the most efficient ways to train. But, so the west sewers are this way. Let's have a quick rest until healed. No one's there. We go up. This was, yes, this was the way with the goblins. And I stick on my Amulet of Shadows. Ooh, that's low on charge. That's not great. Can I even use it? Okay, so it's got Amulet of Shadows. It costs 80, oh, cost 201, charge 82. Let me just go and have a quick power nap to let this charge back up. Stand here and do nothing for 24 hours. And... Yeah, we're, we're almost charged. And then the Nerevar stood in the sewer, doing nothing for a week as he watched his magical amulet slowly recharge so he could sneak past the goblins. Stood there menacingly. Kind of random, but I haven't played the Dragon Age games. I have played Dragon Age Origins. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good game. Now, do I have a soul gem? I 
don't, and I'm not going to use a Winged Twilight or a Dremora to recharge this. So, first question, first skill, if you will. Get past these goblins. How do I do that efficiently? In here, turn left, run straight down. Go to Old Mournhold Battlefield. I haven't played Dragon Age 2 and I've not played Dragon Age Inquisition yet. Okay, so I've successfully snuck past you. Sprint down here and go to the Old Mournhold Battlefield. Not bothered about fighting you guys. Would the battlefield be where you would raise an army of goblins? Sounds like it. Okay, not been here before, so exciting times. Oh god, okay. Recast this. Kill you guys. See when I've got fatigue. Combat. Super easy. Super easy. Moon sugar. Eat it. What did I get from moon sugar? Fortify agility. 25. Uh, fortify speed. Sweet. Sugar rush going on right now. See, when you've got fatigue back, fighting, super easy. No problem at all. Easy peasy stuff. Skooma. Drink it. Oh no. Drain agility and intelligence, but boost. What are we boosting? Okay, we're boosting speed and strength. Brilliant. So we're faster and stronger, but we're dumber. Right. Let's go be fast, strong, and dumb. Invisibly fast, strong, and dumb. I'm invisible. I'm a zoomy boy. And I've got my spear. However, one more hit. There we go. Took you down. And now I can have a nap and the skooma can wear off. We're doing it. We're, we're doing really well. People are like, are you smart now? No, I'm stupid. Faster. Alright, let's see what's going on down here. Is this... Oh, good God. Okay, this is a bigger open area. I don't like this at all. That's just... That's a lot of goblins. This is the old Mournhold battlefield. Here's what I want to do. One, make myself invisible. Two, summon a spear. Three, go and stab everyone. That's my plan. So, one. Summon spears are so much more accurate. Oh, spear skill increased. Fantastic. How do we get up here? Gonna have to levitate? No, possibly. Can we jump it? No, we can't jump. Kill two goblins, that's good. Anything on you worth it? Single gold coin. Thanks. What about you? Oh, your shield, which is crazy valuable, so I'll have that. Ah, there we go. Some steps. Now I'm still invisible, which should make killing you a bit easier. Critical damage, because I'm sneaking! Sneaky boy. What you got on you? Bargain, restore health. I don't need that. None of your weak potions. Potion seller. What's back here? I want to get up there. Up on this little plinth might be important. Oh, there's a temple over there. Right. Time to levitate. Up we go. Levitation. Successful. Reward. Nothing. Oh, oh, god damn, hang on. 
there is a bridge all the way up there. Should we levitate all the way to the bridge? I think the answer is yes. Unfortunately, I need to wait for the levitation spell to wear off and then be able to use it again. First time chat from Raider. Hello, Rose. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Is this modded or pure Morrowind? There's a graphical mod, but apart from that, mechanically, exactly the same. Right. Levitation spell might get me up there, but I don't know. So. Old Mournhold Abandoned Passageway. There's... It's not this way, is it? Was it below me? Above me? It's got to be below me, hasn't it? Maybe it's above me. Maybe that's what that is. Interesting. Because where did I come from? I came from that way, but I've not yet been this way. Let's go this way and see what there is. If I can climb up these rocks. Jump all the way around the edge. I cannot remember what is where. Old Mournhold City Gate. So the abandoned passageway must be that place up there. It's got to be. Ah, oh, I just don't know if I'm going to have the levitation to get all the way up there. Because I can only levitate for 30 seconds. And I don't know if I move fast enough. Hell. Let's find out. Failed. Quick, tactical nap. Let's find out. Go. Right, I'm just... I'm. This is as fast as I can move, guys. I'm moving straight up. This is as fast as I can go. When I talk about vertical design, I think the reason I like vertical design so much is because Morrowind did it so damn well. Okay, so we're going up. And we are up and over. Right, cool, we're on. We're on the bridge. What's over there? Oh, there's so much vertical space. There's so much stuff all the way around here. Do we, do we go up there or do we go in here first? I do not know. We are searching. It's an abandoned passageway. Let's have a look. What's in the abandoned passageway? I love... Oh, goddamn. I love vertical design. Let's use my Amulet of Shadows. Then let's get my spear out. The War Derzag is much less scary when it can't see you. However, it will run away. But it can't run through its own allies. But I can kill these goblins while I'm here. That's one goblin down. I don't know what's going to be in this abandoned passageway, but my god, I'm going to find out. I am worried that I'm about to become visible again. And visible to a word, a war, Derzog, is a bad place to be. Yes, taken down. A goblin I can kill, no problem at all. And a rat. Yeah, you're sorted as well. God, there's so many goblins. God damn. Now, back here in this cave, I saw a separate route to the right. Up here. What's up here? There wouldn't be a route unless there was something worth getting. But I'm struggling to jump because I'm currently completely out of fatigue. So, uh... We're just going to stand here for a bit. We're going to stand here for a minute, not do anything, it's fine. I just binged watch a whole bunch of your videos. Now I get the stream suggested. The AI overlords know what they like. My bribes are clearly getting to the right people. So while we all wait for my stamina to recharge, let's enjoy a crisp. Jolly good stuff. Now we can jump around. Okay, I'm... I'm not going to... Do I need to use friggin' levitate to get up here? What? what? Why? Why is this difficult? Why can I not make this jump? Do I need to levitate up here? Maybe use drugs. Ah, uh, hang on. What have I got, if anything? 
Do I have any kind of enhance enhance jump? Fortify speed? Right. Speed fortified. No. This this rock is so far the most difficult thing about this whole thing. I'm going to need to run away until I can rest simply to cast levitate to get up a rock. Right, levitate. This is the most over-engineered solution to this problem. This is so dumb. Up we go. Now we fly. I swear to God, there best be something good up here. Right, what have we got? We have got a treasure chest with a bowl peach glass pot, peach glass bowl, and chests with nothing in them. Oh, quality rising force potion and a ruby. I'll actually, I'll take that. That's not terrible. What's that? Fire petal. I'll, oh, hang on. Small chest behind it. 89 gold. I'll take it. Oh, hang on, no. Yeah, sweet. So we got a little bit of gold. Rising Force, if I remember correctly, is a flying potion. So we might be on the right track to be able to use even more flying. Right, what's down here? Two goblins, not a problem. Two goblins wouldn't be a problem if they stopped hitting me. Problem. Big problem. Uh, I'm dead. That will teach me to underestimate goblins. That will teach me to not use... Stop it. I will not have any slander. The item has not enough charge. God damn it. Fine. Bound spear. Summon the bound spear. Quick save. The bound spear has more chance of stun locking these guys. There we go. Way better. Still, they're bucklers, because their bucklers are really good for what they are, and I can sell them for a pretty penny. And then carry on. Oh, this uh, this looks very old-worldy. See, part of me is wondering if I've done this backwards. I think I might have done. Old Mournhold, the Terran Hall. Interesting. What's in? Stand here so they can't get me. I'm just gonna, gonna have a quick nap through here. Pop back over to here. No enemies around. Have a quick nap. Tactical nap. Summon the spear. Then go back this way. See, what I think has happened is I meant to have done this the other way. You get the rising force potion. Oh my god, that dude just dropped me. Oh, that was a... Whoa, more of them. Ooh, god damn. You get the Rising Force Potion and then you fly even higher. Let's see if that was the case. I I think you fight through from that way to this way. Because I used Levitate in the main room, didn't I? I used Levitate in the main room and I only got halfway up. But what if you were meant to fight this way, you... Grab the Rising Force Potion from there. You continue to fight through this way, going much, much higher. And then you use the Rising Force Potion to go up more. That might be it. Yeah, I know what I'm doing now. So you're meant to have gone from here up to there. Easy. I'm so clever. So smart. Up we go. I'm hoping I can reach there in 30 seconds, otherwise I'm going to fall to my death and die. What's on here? Um, oh. Nothing. Right. I, I really thought this would be something. 
This is not what I expected it to be at all. Uh, I am now needing to tactically rest to cast Levitate again to get off this rock and go this way. I mean, we don't even know if this is the right way. Because there was a door on the floor as well. Which, I'm going to be real, would have been much easier to go through. So, maybe I'm just making this really difficult for myself. Fortify speed to do a zoom. Yeah, maybe I... You can only rest. I'm still... I'm still levitating. Yeah, bro, why are you playing as a slave? Oh, do you mean, uh... The Argonian. There's nothing... I mean, she is the hero. The great thing about the Nerevar, or the Nerevarine, is that they obviously... They're here to free the Dunmer. So I thought it would be quite ironic if I played as an Argonian, who most of the Dunmer seem to hate. Uh, we're also playing as the true hero of Morrowind. This is, for those of you who have not seen the character sheet, this is Lust T, the Argonian maid. Now, some of you will say, oh, no, the Argonian maid was actually written based on a character called Lifts Her Tail. No, no, that is a fictionalized version of history. This is the real, original Lust T. She was just straight up an actual Argonian maid. This character needs to die. Oh my god, their shields are so good! Come on. Give me your buckler. You have nothing on you. Oh god, warp thing. Back through. Tactical nap. Most of this game is just me having tactical naps. Also using the Amulet of Shadows to basically cheese these fights. Because otherwise, I would never be able to survive these fights. Okay, cool, we're in. What is that? The Book of Life and Service. The ranks of the blessed. Blessed are the bone men. Focus. For they serve without self in spirit forever. Blessed are the mist men, for they blend in the glory of the translute of the transcendent spirit. Blessed are the wrath men. Okay, cool. So find some bone men. What do we do with the bone men? Doesn't matter. Who knows? Let's find the bone men. Who's around here? Oh, god damn, I just opened... I just opened this box. Aram Native Aramun Bone Mold Helm. That's decent armor. That's actually quite good armor that I just randomly found in a box. Armor rating 27 for the helm. Now, my armor rating is 105, so I'm going to keep that, but it's not the worst armor in the world. I j what the hell? Why is there a hole there? I need to leave. Okay. Didn't expect to fall into a trap. Was not expecting the pit. Nobody expects the pit. The pit was there. It happened. We're going to deal with it. I would like everyone in chat to be supportive. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lock level 100? What the hell? Okay. Okay. So, that's a trap. Gotch. Oh my god. Whew. Was able to survive the trap. Got it. Because I'm just... Pure skill, my friends. Pure skill. Jump over the trap. What's... Adamantium Spear. I'll take it. What's through there, if anything? Doesn't seem to be anything through there. You can't even... You can't even duck through there. Like, you, you just... You straight up can't go this way. So I'm guessing the adamantium spear left on the floor, bone mold shield, is designed for you to fall through into there. 
Okay. Now, you will remember that when we when we fell down and we went through that door, there was some Altmer that attacked us. They are going to be the people training the goblins. They're going to be the goblin trainers that we effectively have been sent to kill. Okay, you've just killed me with a spell. Oh, God. I feel that we're in trouble now. Have I still got the spear? I've got the elemental spear. 10 to 30. That was 6 to 40. Spear's good, though. I feel that I need to take this slower. But it is also half past midnight, and I've been streaming for five and a half hours. So, ladies and gents, we will continue this adventure tomorrow at four o'clock UK time. And if you've never been to these streams before, I stream twice a week, Saturdays and Sundays. I stream at seven o'clock on Saturdays and four o'clock on Sundays. And if you can't remember those times, it's okay. I've invented a rhyme to help you remember them. All you have to do is remember the rhyme, and you will remember the time. The rhyme goes like this. Saturdays at 7, and Sundays at 4. Remember the rhyme? You'll have no problem at all. Thank you for joining me for some Morrowind. I will see, hopefully, a lot of you tomorrow as we finish pushing through Tribunal, maybe even finish the expansion. We won't finish the expansion, but I will hopefully see a few of you tomorrow. Take care. Good night.